Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cornhole fans of the world, are you ready? It's Singles Sunday here in Tridelphia, West Virginia. We're at the Highland Sports Complex. Live feeds brought to you by Bust You Up, Cornhole and Beard Guys, Wally, K9, Kassler, and Jake Brandon on the mic today doing the calls. Eight brackets in total. We're starting off with a banger. Haymakers will be thrown. Caleb Batson, Gavin Cano. Let's get it, Jake. Good morning, my man. Good morning, Wally. Dude, I am happy to be here. Single Sunday, one of my favorite days of the weekend, final day here in Tridelphia, and what a way to kick things off. Two of Texas's best. Man, I'm torn on this one, not going to lie. We did our fantasy picks yesterday. KB on my squad, but you know my guy, my MVP of the season so far, Gavin Cano. See him there rocking the pro jersey with the BG and K9 logo on it. He is coming to do some work. My man's been taking down brackets all season long. Deb Odom making her way over to the court to support Texas. She's kind of torn, too. Chat, let it be known. Who are you guys taking in this one to start things off? Important day for us, Jake. We got some important picks to make, man, because we have ourselves a little friendly wager on the line. If you guys are just tuning in, Jake Brandon and myself, we're going to pick two players in singles to take down the entire tournament as Jake Brandon was absolutely stellar in Ohio, taking Jaden Ellis in that stacked field. Jaden Ellis ultimately comes out winning, and I was like, all right, man, put your money, or actually your body, where your mouth is, the loser. If there is a loser, keep in mind we could both be wrong, but if there is a loser, has to sit in an ice bath for 60 seconds. That'll be some content for us and punishment and enjoyment for the other. So... We'll go through brackets after this matchup here. Gavin makes his way to the court, and then he disappeared just for Where'd just a second. There he is. He's coming back. He's coming back now. I think he had three bags. Only three? It was, it was bold, bold strategy. I cotton. mean, KB is hard enough to beat with four bags. Going at it with three, that's a little rough, man. I don't know if I like that strategy. But, yeah, man, tough first-round matchup. We had a couple tough ones right off the bat. We got Ryan Hart taking on Steve Schrader. That's a tough first-round matchup. Hunter Thorne taking on Damon Dennis is another one. I mean, look at this. We got Jordan Power versus Cameron Belvin first-round matchup. A lot, of, a lot of stacked brackets. Eight, eight, count them, eight open singles brackets. Well, it does not get easy. If Jacob Trzinski is going to win today, it is going to be well-earned. He's in the A bracket. His first matchup is Landon Bass. He's in the lead right now, 18-7. to seven. He wins that one, he gets Joe Neestead. If he wins that one, he probably gets Ryan Trader. Shoo. And after that, it, he might have a little break, to be honest with you. <laughs> the battle to go to the King seat might be his easiest matchup, but yeah. A-Bracket's got some hitters in it as well. Again, we'll go through the brackets. Tony Smith and Jake Drzinski in the same bracket again. This time they're on the other side, though. So he's, he's at least got a little bit of room to breathe, but, man, that's just unfortunate to continue about, to be uh, in that bracket. How about Trey Birchfield going down early, losing to Josh Holland 21-4. So in the third round in bracket E, it will be a father-son duo, Josh Holland versus Derek Holland. Man. That'll be a fun one. The winner of that will most likely get Blaine Rozier. Mark says, it must be a rough morning with a time change. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it we are is, struggling. Uh, it is. Uh, I mean, it's actually been a struggle weekend for me. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, we, uh, Wally and I made the, uh, the very great decision of staying up to watch the UFC pay-per-view last night. And so when that ended around, what, a little, a little before 1 a.m.? Yeah. That was, before, it was after 1 a.m., probably close to 1.30 a.m. local time. It was um, it was a long day, but man, I'll tell you what that fight was worth. That was a good fight. It was a good, good fight. Good. It was entertaining. Actually, we got to watch two fights, and both of them were pretty entertaining yeah. for us. So Dustin Poirier getting the dub, and yeah, glad we were Sean able to Amel pull it off. The dub too. Can anyone see me, Dexter Kane? I sure can. How you doing? How you doing? TikTok chat cooking this morning already up to close to a thousand viewers way better than yesterday let's go welcome in everybody tiktok knows what's tic -tac. up tiktok we tiktok tiktok getting tiktok with it 
Players continuing their down and backs. This is a star-studded match to start things off. And I was telling the directors, I was like, man, it's going to be hard to beat the first match we brought you in Mesa between Tony Smith and Jacob Trzinski. But if there are two players that are going to that are going to compete with that matchup, it is this one. Bag on the board has been spun. Knuckles have been bumped. It is on single Sunday here in Tridelphia, West Virginia. Gavin Cano, Kayla Batson, here we go. Meow, 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 meow. We're definitely downloading that. Corey, get on it. We'll, we'll lose a music track. I'm fine with it. We need the air horns. Need the air horns. I'm going to have to rely on you a little bit, though, as far as bag colors go, Jake. Yeah, Wally with that color blindness. Both players, <laughs> both players throwing the same colored base of a bag. The only difference is the uh, the logo. A 2-0 start for Caleb Batson after Gavin leaks one right. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, I, 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 less than probably less than four hours of sleep last night. I got a lot of energy, man. I'm ready. I love I love singles. I'm one of the rare people who. Prefers watching singles over doubles. I'm ready to go. I like singles, too. I mean, it's just very unfortunate that we can't play the championship match in the middle of the day when everybody's right. still here because yeah, it's it's an exciting finish, and, and I wish we had more of a crowd for the finale. I love the fact. I'm not sure if most of you are aware yet, but I love the fact that we're going to play these pro events, and then the broadcast will be held for the next Open. So that is going to be an awesome opportunity for you guys. There's going to be a post coming soon to explain a little bit more in detail, but an awesome opportunity for you guys to see the conclusion of these pro events for live, sure. in person, sitting front row if you can on broadcast. It's just an event like none other, and I'm glad that they are opening it up more to the public because it, it, it is fun to see, man. And whenever you have a crowd that is getting into it, dude, you can't beat the environment. So KB off to a 2 nothing start. A social, the second round of the match. It's a good thing, good way to get things started. But now we got a little bit of a pileup on the board. KB going to go roll. Beautifully done. Gavin answers with one of his own. Let's see if Caleb goes up here. He is. Rims out. And now Gavin can go in to tie the game. And he does. Good rolls. Let's take a look at them both real quick as we are started. Replays underway. KB hits the first one. Gavin, no hesitation on the other side. Gets his to go as well. Finishes off for a couple. That round was awesome to watch on the TikTok stream. Deuces. Just a reminder for those watching on YouTube, Facebook, or ACLCornhole.tv, you have a different viewing experience over on TikTok. Shout out everybody on TikTok. I like watching them those angles as well. Can we just keep calling it Tic Tac? Tic Tac. I like Tic Tac. That sounds like an old sound like an old head. <laughs> that was cool though. <laughs> Austin, what up? Welcome in. The Ellies are in the chat. That's what I'm talking about. How's Kate Allen doing? Just started, Brandon. Everyone is left alive. Kate Allen comes in, I believe, as the one seed. Yeah, he is the one seed. He's up fifteen to nothing right now over Landon Yao. That's in the C bracket. You can follow along in all the brackets in the ACL fan zone. Or go to iPlayACL.com. You should be able to see all the brackets there under the news and bracket links. Players are 8 for 8 from that side of the board. Now we come back over here where things get more interesting. Matt says coffee and cornhole and watching two Texas boys go at it. Is it, is it cornhole coffee or is it just regular coffee? Yeah, let what, let what me you know, doing? Matt. What are you, what are you drinking? Over I, I'm missing my cornhole coffee. And uh, Sticky the, bones. the hotel coffee that I had today wasn't bad. It was just it got cold quick for some Very reason. Very quick, yeah. Not insulated cups. What up, Sticky Bones Barbecue? What is the distance? It is 27 feet from front of the board to front of the board. Oh, no. Missed fourth bag as it kind of rolls right over the hole. That's going to give Gavin the lead for the first time today. Yeah, I've been telling you all weekend, Jake. I got I got a feeling somebody's going to break out this weekend. Both of these players here on the court have a little case of the second place finishes. Yeah. Gavin Cano and KB. Any name that you don't want to see on the other side of the bracket until it gets to the finals, they just can't finish. Tony Smith in attendance. Devin Harbaugh. Jake Gore. Jeremiah Ellis. Jeremiah Ellis. I mean, we got 
ridiculous. ridiculous amount of talent that is just waiting to break through. I, I think, well, the directors gave us a number. I think they said 300 players in open singles. Just over 100 of them are pros. So you got a third of the field are professional cornhole players. So you know all eight brackets are going to be stacked as we see another double four-bagger wash. Players are was that a was that a social? Was I missed? No, it was a ten ten. Ten ten. I'm sorry. I don't sorry. know why I thought it was a social. Hey, bonus points. Bonus points for showing up early, Chad. Again, we went live an extra hour early for you guys because yeah. we did not want to miss this match. No. So it's gonna be a long day for us. Make sure you guys show us some love. Hit the thumbs up, hit the shares, hit the likes. We want some record numbers here. I really do. I think I think we can break the record. With how stacked the singles bracket is, there's gonna be a lot of people tuning in. I really do think we can break the record. Social, ooh, I was, I like that move from KB. He went to give Gavin that fist, but before that bag even went in the hole. That's how confident he is. I love it. Round eight, they've only scored six points. Are they both throwing Wizard L's? Yes, they are. Different colored variations of Wizard L's. They both have the same base color, but the BG logo on that slick side is a bright, hot pink for uh, Gavin. And a, uh, and a baby, kind of like a Carolina blue for Caleb Batson. Dan Alexander says Brady Foster is going to win it. So there you go. There's some advice for you if you want to make your that's pick. A, that's bold. Dayton Will in our fantasy chat says, or actually in real chat in our fantasy as well, says Jeremiah Ellis is going to win it. Invested the number one pick on it. A.J. Sims, good morning, my dude. This is going to be a long game. Oh, I yeah. hate playing both and you ain't lying. Somebody's got a couple points coming here at least, though. I can't yeah, I see can't, who. can't even see because the back <laughs> on the flip side. And it's going to be KB. He's going to tie the game at four. Let's keep track of how many ties we've had. It's already three ties if you're counting the zeros. There is no round limit. Nope. We played a 21, so we may be here for oh, quite man. a while. Round limit on Sunday would be amazing. As much as I love the right. content, do getting out of here at a certain time. Yeah, when's the last time you've seen sunlight during one of these opens? It's been a while. I guess the sunrise counts. No, I'm actually thinking about when sunlight because of the, the rain we've had here yeah, this weekend. Right? Same thing in Canada. Social. Then we had the snow in Ohio. I'm going to say Australia. <laughs> <laughs> December was the last time I saw sunlight in the tournament. Back when you were down under. Still at over 1,000 on TikTok. Thank you all for... Clicking in, make sure you like the sh like and share. We're not begging you for roses or anything like that. Just likes. Just likes and views. How do you see? Yeah, how do you see likes on uh, this little monitor here? I don't think you can. I think you. Ah. Just, I think you got to go on your phone. Yeah, look at TikTok. See if we can get some likes. What was the record you guys got? A hundred thousand? Oh, we got way more than a hundred thousand. I okay. think we got over. And it was uh, it was two hundred thousand to get Corey and I to play after singles on the TikTok stream. All right, well, let's do two fifty well for us that. to play. Whoa! Already starting it off with a bang. If you guys want to see Wally and I play on the TikTok feed after singles, two hundred and fifty thousand likes in the TikTok stream. We are already at two point three thousand, so we only need two hundred forty thousand. We we got an extra hour here. We went early. Yeah, we got plenty of time. Jaden Ellis in the TikTok chat. If I could roll and cut like these boys do, I would actually be great at this game. Jaden Ellis. That's a scary is my thought, dog. as good as he already is. Right. Dayton knows what's up. Appreciate you, buddy. Those likes are climbing fast. We're already at 4,000 likes, bud. Let's go. 250 ain't nothing. Good back block from KB. Yeah, there's not, not much strategy in this game to talk about. Not much really happening. Players are just running bags. Gavin went airmail, lands short, knocks in both bags. Kind of shocked to see that airmail there. His bag was actually on the right side in a good defensive position. KB almost rolls over the hole again. It's going to make it 9-4 to four now. I'm damn go at this. I won't miss any, yeah. I agree, Joe exacts. Yeah. Watch out for Ryan Hart today. He is going to make a run. I wonder how much Ryan paid that guy to comment that. I got faith in Ryan today. Ryan, Ryan's due for one good one a year. <laughs> this could be it. You never know. 
I'm digging that uh, canine jersey sweatshirt thing you're wearing there, Wally. Thank you, man. Where Thank can you. I get one of those? Oh, it's not on the website. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's on caninecornhole.com. Oh, there yeah. you go. Yeah. I still want to get fined. Nice. Airmail. <laughs> Airmail for Cap. Oh. And and one. I'm not sure if that's his own. <laughs> no, Gavin and one himself. Did he? Okay. I was like, I have no idea whose bag is which. And they missed again. Oh, man. That's a six spot for Caleb Batson. It's really hard for me to tell which bag is yeah, which. Yeah, he and one himself. And then Mitch the airmail, and that's a six-piece chicken McNugget for Caleb Bats and make it 15-4. He's got to keep his composure, though. AJ guess he's got to use restroom break. Oh, for sure, man. Just, I mean, we actually got a little set up here. Just don't ever look under our table. Got troughs and buckets yep. holding down. Man, love to see all the scammers in the chat as well. Welcome in to TikTok. I'm go ahead and block hey, most of hey, you. Hey, views, reviews, man. Yeah. Views, reviews. Good morning, Emily. How you doing? We are on American Cornhole League on TikTok. Nice cut around. Hit the follow. Hit the thumbs up. Gavin slick side down, went after it, missed it way right. Oh, man, this game has come unhinged. It's now 18-4. What has happened? Another good matchup underway. We're going to say this a lot today, guys. I apologize in advance for being a broken record. Brady Foster on court 43 against Justin Burton Jr. Jeff Reynolds is going to take on Ryan Smith. I mean, when we tell you this field is stacked, we ain't lying. Somebody was talking about Ryan Hart. He's in the lead right now over Steve Schrader, 9-6. to six. Wally, you know what's coming up next? Oh, match game? I probably should look at that, huh? That's your job. <laughs> I was too busy watching this one. I'm enjoying it. Nice airmail drag from Gavin, but that creates a pretty simple push shot for Caleb Batson. Slick side down. Count it. In for the social. I guess I should go get beverage of choice, right? I would like beverage of choice. Alex Rawls, twenty-two nothing over Mikey Hall. Wally, you coming to the? Uh, you coming to Iowa for the clash in September? Um, I don't know. I don't. I think I've been booked for one gig in September, and that's Bags, Bites, and Brews again out in Colorado. That's a fun tournament out there. Um, but I don't know about the clash yet. I haven't heard anything. Hey, if you need help running that, you let me know. Clash is a good time, man. Gavin can go in to get off of four, and he does. That will end a big scoring drought for Caleb Batson. I'm sorry, for Gavin. I believe it was 16 unanswered points until Gavin scored that, too. Just picked up some ACL boards and got a free koozie. Let's go. Got Time upset, to get out here. Upset watch already. Jennifer Robinson in the lead over Colby Shearer, the number one seed. It's only six to one, but let's go. Jen Robb's a shooter. And I'm having a hard time finding a match that I want because I want so many of them. Right. <laughs> I want them all. They better hurry. Gavin may be in some trouble here. He's going to have to roll over this. Oh, and he collects it. Great shot. Caleb going to go slick side, try to grab his blue bag on that right side. Gets it. Beautiful bag by Caleb Batson to take two. I think I found one, though. Alex Hicks versus Austin Cameron. Ooh, how'd be going? This game is played to 21. Let's do a PPR check. You're right. Caleb Batson, a 10-8-8. Absolutely ridiculous right now. Gavin Cano an even 10 and has only scored six points. Raul Cano in the lead, 14 to 12 over Mike Hoffman. Hunter Thorne up 15 13 over Damon Dennis. Quinn Reeves and Deb Odom both were in the background watching this match. They got to go play each other now on court 85. See if Caleb can push it out of the way. He doesn't. Gavin has to get this bag in the hole. 
to stay alive. Slick side down, and he gets it. Beautiful bag to stay in the game. These dudes are hitting every shot. Again, guys, whenever we come back from break, we'll go through the brackets. We'll give you guys our two picks to win the entire tournament. And then our bet will be official at that stage. i got to say, the loser of this match, I still have faith in winning this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for <laughs> like real, I, dude. Like, I'm really not worried about either one of these guys going to lose his brackets. I still nuts. expect a deep run out of them. Gavin really pretty much has to be perfect. I mean, this is a level of Caleb Batson we have not seen since the since the the Nationals last year. I mean, I got no I got no worries about Caleb Batson throughout the entire match, game, tournament, anything. I mean, uh, it's the finals. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm worried about. KB is the finals. I mean, it's, it's really it feels like ever since he w he started that weight loss journey and has slimmed down quite a bit, his cornhole game has gotten even better. Well, that too, and school. You know, yep. gra graduating, having time to practice. Now he said he was going to practice. Not sure if he's actually practicing. Haven't had a chance to really talk to him since we interviewed him. But, I mean, pro season's right around the corner. I know him and Eddie are going to be geared up, ready to go. All it, it almost feels like they're getting neglected. All eyes are elsewhere. Every time. You Nobody I mean? talks about them. Dude, they won three straight nationals last year. They have not lost since the kickoff battle last year. It's insane, and we all just kind of like, all right, who's going to win? Oh, Kyle and Devin. Got to oh, go up. Jeremiah and Ryan. It. Oh, Gavin and Fish. It's like, you know, show them some love, people, including myself. And I'll tell you right now, I'm still not going to do it. <laughs> I don't like going chalk, and I think they are chalk. <laughs> that was weird. I, the, over here to my right, got a baby and then a puppy being held by the same lady. <laughs> it was like a, a puppy between the baby's legs. I was trying to figure out what was going What's on there. What's happening there? I thought it was a stuffed animal at first. What up, what up? 20 to 6, though, man. KB, I mean, 20 rounds of dominance right look now. Look and see how many washes we've had in a row. It's been it's been a while since anybody scored. Yeah, I don't even know what bracket we're in. Hold on. This is D. You have Gavin can slide around that and maybe take a couple of points. Oh, we went up and get it. Hit that, hit that replay button. What a bag. And, again, it's got to be in. It's another social... That just goes to show you how good Caleb Batson is feeling right now. Going up to get it. All right, what were you wanting me to check over here? How many washes has there been in a row? It was only three. Oh, never mind. Nonetheless, Caleb unless Batson. That, unless they got one there, like four. Throwing an 11 compared to Gavin Cano. Imagine throwing a 10-3 over 20 rounds, and you've only scored six points. Doesn't get easier after this for either one of these guys. Cody Henderson next. After that, possibly Shibner or C Tyler Cobb. And again, another round. This bag has to be in by Gavin to stay in it, and it is. That's five consecutive washes in a row. That's five consecutive fourth bags that Gavin has had to make to stay in the game. Somebody said Logan Chamberlain already lost as well. Whoa. Is Jimmy Human still in? Yes, he is. What is the prize money? Um, it always fluctuates based on how many people are in, but we're looking somewhere be around the around the little over thousand dollars, fifteen hundred range. Gavin got, again got to go in and again say he hits an airmail to stay in it. If you say fifteen hundred, maybe it's I don't usually know. like four thousand, five thousand for first place. I'm pretty sure. Or is that doubles? I don't know. Yeah, it's up there. Over 20000 in payouts in today's, or th today. You're right. This is a pretty stacked weekend, so I'm pretty sure it's uh, big money on the line. Anytime you go into eight brackets. Six consecutive rounds where Gavin's final bag has had to be in, whether he's slide or airmail, and he has nailed it every time.
and again, got to be in, and it is. <laughs> Dude, I mean, this is nuts. Yeah, Logan Chamberlain lost his first matchup to Riley Schaff, 21-2. Wow. wow. Riley threw an 11.13 in that game. Let's go, girl. Absolute gas. Another tough match. Man, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be bracket giddy all day. Yeah. Noel Almanza taking on Jacob Gore right now in court 27. Sheesh. Almanza in the lead there. 2 nothing. whenever that one gets Riley. As Riley continues her next match, 21-3 to over Anthony D'Ambrosio. Threw an 11.08 in that one. Riley's thrown over an 11 so far in this tournament. Here we go. Got to get it again and again. <laughs> again. Dude. <laughs> Back against the wall. My man's hitting Dude, them. I lost track. Is that eight in a row? He's had to put the fourth bag in, and for the eighth consecutive time, I believe. Yeah, going back to round 17, 12-12, 12-12, 10-10, 12-12, 12-12, 10-10, 12-12, 10-10. Let's keep it going. Good God. Nice cut around for Gavin. KB pushes through again. Got to be in. I mean, there's just no quit. There is no quit, Wally. KB is throwing an 11.04. Gavin, a 10.48. A 10.48 through 25 rounds, and you've scored six points. Yeah, Jalen over in the chat Cornell. has the same point. He says... I feel like this is a two-point game. It, it does have it that feel, vibe. Right, it feels like it, but dude. There's a couple haymakers earlier in the rounds, but, yeah, other than that, man, it's it's skill level starting to shine through. I mean, you had that 10 on four and that 10 on seven. It felt like there was those three rounds in the middle where Gavin kind of fell off, but other than that, man, these guys have been battling. Here we go. Let's see if KB goes up here. He is. <laughs> he does it, it again. again. <laughs> oh, my God. Gavin again has to be in. This is not <laughs> – Gavin can't do anything but smile and laugh. Dude, what is happening? This is how we're starting, chat. 26 <laughs> rounds in. This back-to-back -back opens absolutely nuts game ones. Oh, my gosh. You say, what, they've been watching since, what, round 17? Is that uh, what you said? Yeah, I believe we're so. In, we're in round 27. Nice get around from KB. See if Gavin can push it in. Uh-oh, this may be a little interesting. Brian Hart defeats Steve Schrader. Gavin stepping out. Oh, he's saying sticky. I would like to go slick here. Oh, why? wow. Why? He rolled why? over you gotta it. Rock. You got to roll like that. Why not? KB going to roll it two, and he does it. Now he's going to go slick side, try to collect everything. Got to get a bag in, and he gets them all. Oh, what a bag. Huge and that will shots. finally end the streak of washes. All right, let's watch the first one here. Roll bag from Gavin. And then the huge push here at the end to collect everything. Big shots there for Gavin. 20 to 8. The needle finally moves. And, and you everything notice in here. kept that back foot planted, Wally. I'm not starting live feeds like that, Jake. We got our red flags here. The players have seen the red flags. They <laughs> know we mean business. Uh-oh. This is Oh, this is in for the win. He's out of bags. That's it. Finally, Finally. Done. oh my gosh! Holy man, it felt like it was never going to end. Twenty to eight, going into that round, cannot afford to miss. Absolutely nuts. Left one hanging on the side, but that's how we're going to start the live feeds. If that's any indication how the rest of the day is going to go, sign me up, chat. We're going to take our first break. When we come back, all the pressure is on Jake Brandon. He has first pick. He's got to pick a winner. 
here in Tridelphia, West Virginia, That's right good. after that. All right, Cornell fans, welcome back here to Tridelphia, West Virginia. Next match should be another good one. Alex Hicks against Austin Cameron, two of the great young talents in the game. But first, we got some business chat. Here we go. The loser of this little friendly wager has to sit in an ice bath for 60 seconds. And if you hop out, you got to get right back in it, Jake. I'm so ready, man. I'm so ready. We're getting two picks. The way this is going to work, we get two picks. If one of our two picks wins the entire tournament, then the other person wins. If nobody wins, then, hey, we're off the hook. But, Jake Brandon, with your first pick, who do you think is taking down singles today? I had a talk with him earlier. Okay. I said, hey, man, I'm doing a bet with Wally. What do you think about me taking you? And he straight up said with a, with a stone-cold face, he said, that would be a good pick. First overall pick. Give me Devin Harbaugh to win open <laughs> singles you today. absolutely suck. <laughs> that is my pick of who I was going to go with. You know he's on my fantasy team. I said someone's going to break through. All right, I'm going to do it. My man's been close. My man's been close. He's, he's, he's got it in him. I'm going with Jeremiah Ellis as my pick. That was going to be my pick, but then I looked at his bracket. Yeah. And the, uh, he is, Dude, is that's what you uh, need, though. Against him. You need to get that blood going. You need to get the competitive juices flowing in order to be ready to win a tournament of the size with this much talent. All right, Jake, who is your second pick? Man, I had it lined up, but then after, I mean, after what I just witnessed, I think, I think, I think I'm going to call an audible, especially with looking how this his bracket is playing out. My second pick Caleb Batson. All right, I wish I would have picked first now because those are both mine. <laughs> but I'm going to stick to what I said. I think it's going to be a breakout for some player this week. I'm, I'm going with somebody. I mean, you're kind of doing the same thing. Yeah. You actually said it was going to be the usual suspects, but no, this is you're, you're going the same lines of thinking that somebody's going to break out this weekend. I'm going to take – oh, I almost, I almost said it, and then I, I don't really like what I saw yesterday. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to go ahead and take Tony Smith, taking down. Okay. So, Tony okay. Smith and Jeremiah Ellis for me. You got Devin Harbaugh and Caleb Batson. 
I, I like where you're at, though, man. I'm not going to lie, man. Those are my first two picks. We'll see. We will see. AB throwing gas, though. All right, Chad, so there it is. Again, if anybody else in the field wins, then it's, it's a wash. So we, we got either to root for our own players or for the field. But uh, it'll be fun. This match is underway. Baby Goat off to a commanding one nothing start. It Austin misses the airmail just a little bit. He's going to pick up a couple. Man, how did we miss Adam Hissner, Hissner versus Ellis, yeah. Jeremiah Ellis? Well, that would have been an awesome match to show. There's a, when, in my defense, there's a lot of brackets to go through. There are. So let's go through some of these brackets real quick before we get too far into this one. Number one seed, check up here. We got Ryan Trader against Drake Jake Trzinski, so he advances. Jacob Gore pulled off... Uh, the first victory now he's taking on Noah Monza up six to four in B bracket. He's still alive. C bracket though, different story. Kaylee Hunter defeats Caden Allen very quickly. She threw a 10.6 Caden with a 6.2, a little bit of a stinker to get his matchup started. So number one seed in C bracket falls. Number one seed in D bracket also falls. Adam Hisner pulls off the upset over Ben Brown, taking him down 21 to 16. Chad Mayberry. Pulls off the upset over Blaine Rozier in E bracket, 21 to four. So the number one seed has fallen in three brackets. And then again, Jennifer Robinson pulls off the upset over Colby Shearer, taking him down 22 to 15. She will now take on Fisher Hamilton. G bracket, Jackson Gore up, continuing right now. He's tied four for with Sean, Sean White, the uh, snowboarder. Yep, yep, he's Let's here. Let's go. <laughs> Carter Bennett, the number one seed. He advances, will take on Caleb Ward, so. Half the brackets, the number one seed already falling. Back here in this match, this is what I like to call a redemption game for Austin Cameron on your left-hand side. Played, uh, was it yesterday? Or the day, no, the day before on Friday during the Pro Teams event. And uh, safe to say it was not his best performance. So I'm really looking him to make a comeback here. Let's see what he wants to do. He's going to go airmail, rims out, and gives up a point. An early 4 nothing lead. Man, he's only, for Alex Six. he's only off by like Six a half of an inch on his airmails yeah. right now. If he can get that honed in, this could be a different story. I mean, I want to see both of these guys right here just kind of get things going as they head into the pro season. Austin, with his rookie season, has a lot you know, on his head. He's trying to make sure that he can – compete with these guys. He definitely has the skill to do it. Just got to oh, yeah. get the mind game where it needs to be. Baby Goat kind of in the same boat. For His sure. partner, Ryan Trader, having a lot of success. All eyes are on Ryan. That's a that's a, that's a turn for him, not to mention him. Mean, he's a teenager, man. He's starting to enjoy life a little bit. Ooh, Austin way off the back here. A lot of people are like, what happened to Alex Hicks? I'm like, man, he's a kid. Leave him alone. He's growing. <laughs> he's, he's fine. Looks like he's grown about nine inches since the last time I've seen him. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm kind of looking at this Jacob Gore, Noel Almanza against Riley Schaaf matchup, and if she's throwing 11s, man, I want to see it. Yeah. I can't believe that you picked Devin Harbaugh right in front of me. Dude, I had to, man. And then you KB, let me. You let you, me have, you have first pick. You have two guys on my fantasy team that are now. I have to root against. You let me have two picks. I mean, you let me have the first pick. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I guess. Look, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna. I mean, I'm grateful, but that's right, dude. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so stoked when Jeremiah Ellis gets his first up, his first ACL title. I think. I think he's gonna be a little more stoked than you will. No, so will all the Ellies. Dude, we're gonna we're gonna aggressively hug it out. Jeremiah Ellis in the lead right now, two to nothing over Adam Hisner. They're in round number three. Only one four backer, but I'm sure a whole lot of trash talk happening already. Frank Verona taking on Eric Davis. Frank Verona, man, just having continued bracket success. And look at this, Jake. D bracket. We're already in the match to go to the semifinals. Good God. Let's get this thing underway. Hopefully get out of here by 12 o'clock. <laughs> no chance. I mean, 80 courts, though. We're going to fly. KB taking on Cody Henderson next. I 
How about this upset alert? Austin Schlobaum, 23 to five over Mark Richards. Whoa, taking him down early. Nice cut around for Austin Cameron. He's gonna get a couple more points. Sean Latham in the chat. Where at? Sean Latham over Jake Brandon and takes this open down. I Ooh. heard Sean Latham and Jake Brandon are playing Spencer McKenzie together. Dude, that'd be pretty sick, man. I would run it with him. Yeah, he's got his RV parked in the parking lot, man. Sean Latham's Sean Latham is the jam for Spencer McKenzie. I had a blast running with him last year. Oh, that's right. You do you two played together. How'd yeah. you guys do? We did pretty good. We made uh, mid top tier. Um, I can't remember if we won a game in bracket or went one and two or either way. Had an absolute blast. Sean Sean's roll game at Spencer's was sick, dude. Don't talk about don't talk about Spencer McKenzie's with AJ Simmons in the chat. I'm still oh, mad at him. Dude. Still mad at him. Sean Latham says the best 7.2 PPR in the world, baby. That's why he doesn't play. He doesn't want to increase it. It's fair. I don't blame him. Damn, you, went, you guys went 5-0 and to start, and you're discrediting each other. It's right of 5-0 and in rounders. Dude, let's keep these upset alerts going. How about this? Peyton Haynes over Ryan Windsor, 26-14. to 14. Whoa. Brackets getting shook up early. March Madness happening. Alex McDonald, what up, my dude? Yeah, we did. We went 5-0 and to start until we ran into an absolute hot Justin Stranger and Jeff Reynolds. Justin Stranger, Spencer McKenzie's. Hitting 10 out of 10 airmails against me, dude. In the wind. Like it's nothing. I love the Actually, wind. no, I threw against Jeff. He hit him against Sean. Sean let me down. <laughs> but, no, I mean, dude, Sh Justin Stranger was ridiculous in that one. Ooh. Austin Cameron climbing back into this one. Make it 8-7. Look who's behind you, Wally. I know. I was going to ask him why he likes to play in Tony Smith's bracket every time. Every time. I was tweaking. What the final the <laughs> Travel across the country to play the same dude. Hey, uh, AJ, you're good, brother. I'm used to it. Five opens. Yeah, you're playing local tournaments Five for regional, or open points. It's eight to seven here. Good roll there from Alex. Five opens in a row, yeah, Austin. I mean, uh, Jacob Trzinski, Tony Who was it last year that played with Matt Guys in Matt Guy's Logan bracket? Logan Chamberlain. Was it Logan Chamberlain yeah. and Matt Guy every single time? That was crazy. And then it was Jordan Power, too, for a while. Pretty sure it was Jordan Power against yep. Matt Guy. Awesome going up. Rims out on the airmail. This bag has nothing but points for Alex Hicks. See how he wants to play. He's got that high pop on his roll shot, trying it again. Gets the – oh, that one's kind of skid on him. Stays on the board, though. Hit the lane where he wanted to. Uh, Noah just walked away, Sean. Sean, what are you what are you cooking up this morning? I know it's a Sunday morning over your neck of the woods. What are you, what are you making for breakfast? Again, if you're just tuning in, in the TikTok chat, we have another challenge issued to you guys. Two hundred and fifty thousand likes on TikTok. Myself and Jake will play a. 1v1 match at the end of the broadcast on TikTok. Ryan Trader making his way over here as well. He'll take on Trzinski next. I don't think we're going to have a bad matchup today. No. I think I think every matchup on paper is going to be banger after banger after banger. Big time roll coming from Alex. No. But his front bag falls. Let's go. Alex McDonald. Ooh, bad shot. That's going to be an eight on four, four for Alex Hicks. Somebody wants us to check the PPRs on the Jake Gore Noah Almanza match. Uh, real quick, Adam Hister in the lead over Jeremiah Ellis right now, nine to eight. Jake Gore throwing 11.53 against God. Noah Almanza's 11.3, and they are in round 30. Holy crap, dude. What's the score? 13 to 6. Jeezy peasy.
How about 19 socials in that match? 19, 12 That's on gross. 12. Let's take a look at this here. Round 10 through 16. All four baggers. How come we didn't pick that one, Jake? I don't know. It's your, it's your job. You're in charge. Wow. Wally is my hero, says Dan Nelson in the TikTok chat. What up, Dan? Let's how go, how old is Alex? Somebody wants to know. 42, I think. <laughs> no, he's in, I think it's 14 or 15. Oh, no. Another bag off the back for Austin Cameron. Do not down. miss Going right here. Collect. Yeah. Able Beautifully done. That time. Alex can collect here for three more points, and he does. Let's take a look at this collect again from Austin Cameron. Nice job getting skinny, taking his bag and avoiding it. He wanted the shot before, unfortunately, off the back of the board on that one, 16 to 9. Austin Cameron teaming up with Vincent Frisch. I cannot wait to see that pairing together. It's a good team. Living on different coasts, hard for them to pair up and get into the season. But once the pro season begins, they'll be getting at it. Alex is on the right-hand side right now wearing the all-black. Austin Cameron is in the ACL Pro Bushes Beans jersey. Uh-oh. Lane created for Alex. Going at the ball. Oh, wow, great bag to collect all three. Austin collects the bag on that right side. And Alex misses. So now Austin can go in for the wash, which he does. Doug Neal, what up, man? Chilling at the gate, ready to watch singles the entire flight. Sunday flights for the win. Let's go. Safe travels, Doug. That's one of the rare times where I will I would buy the Wi-Fi that they oh have yeah. on the flight. Oh yeah. During a live stream, absolutely. Dude, Mark Richards was on cloud nine. He was able to watch Cornhole the entire flight to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> awesome going up. With Jake Gore Good in shoot. the lead now, 19 to 8 over on Monza. That one's kind of Turned a little bit. Both players still throwing well over an 11. It's going to be interesting to see how those two kind of play the rest of the day. Yeah. You know, using all the energy early on. Austin going to take a timeout, figure out what he wants to do. He has a bag off the board. We're looking at a 6-4 round. I'm not sure what the goal is going to be here. Gavin Cano interacting with some fans in the chat. I love it. Doug Neal rooting for Nico. Hey, I wouldn't mind that. Nico's my fourth pick for fantasy as well. Isner and Ellis, round 15, 13 to 10 over there for all you Ellies in the chat. Give you guys some bracket updates in a little bit. Probably after this commercial break. Wally, my phone says it's snowing outside. Fun fact. Yeah, you're going to have to throw that phone in the trash. It's not working. It is snowing. My dad just texted me, too. He's went outside. It says it's snowing. It is 30 degrees outside right now, so. Good thing I wore short sleeves today. You're yeah, good thing a, I'm in shorts. You getting a buzz on your headset? Yeah, I'm hearing it. Yeah, a little bit. I only hear it back here. It's only back here. When it's up here, it's fine. Weird. Carson Getty just beat Tony Smith. Oh, so it's not the actual headset. It's something out here. I think we feel a little bit better. Big time round. Oh, my gosh. It's a big time round for Austin Cameron. 
He needed that too. It 18. goes from 18 to 9 to 18 to 17. 17. Wow. 10 on 2. Square says, I told you. Austin's going to make a comeback. That's the thing in this pro division, man. You just kind of have to ride the waves, wait for your opportunity. Ryan Windsor makes his way over to sit next to Ryan Trader to watch this one. Bagger for Austin. Staying hot. Social. She is. Let's see if I can get uh, Ricky over here. Uh oh, time to check in. Got to check in. What happened? Got to check in from the flight. Just got serious. Can you guys hear the buzzing in the chat, or is it just in our headphones? That's a, another thing, too. Yeah, they hear it. Sounds like a fan, somebody says. Another social... Put Noah Wooten on the case. Somebody's razor. Sounds like somebody's razor might be going off <laughs> in their weird. bag. I thought it was like an electrical thing. Noah's checking the bag. Nice cut around. Austin can't get that roll over. What was it? Razor? Somebody's razor. <laughs> we thought it was an electrical problem. We thought something was going to blow up. I did. I called I called building maintenance over here. I thought we were going to have a fire. That's <laughs> so funny. Somebody's razor in their backpack. Let's Ooh. see what we do here. We got perfect I, bar of soap I was opportunity. Say, I see the wheels turning, the smile on his face, <laughs> on both their faces. Uh, no, welcome to the rescue. How about that? Thank you, Noah. Let's see, now uh, he's staying sticky. And he's not going to do it. At least we think. It. Oh, I don't know what that was. A layout. <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> he's smiling. What was he trying to do there? Interesting. He's just trying to get the bag out of the way because he doesn't want it to affect his next shot. Now Austin's going to take a timeout. Why don't you ask him what we trying to do? Alex, what was that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what up, Chris? It, we were going to see if somebody, I thought it was the bu electric buzz, but I guess somebody's vibrator or razor or something was going off. <laughs> Jesus. This could, yeah, it was in that bag. <laughs> Chris is getting summoned everywhere. Now security's talking to him. <laughs> All right. So what are we going to see here, man? I'm going hard at this pile, I think. <laughs> he took the time out, went and looked at it, came back, picked up the bag, still doesn't have his answer what he wants to do. Oh, that's not what I think he was going to try to yeah, do. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done that. Now we five got on five as it for sits. The win. Yeah. Backside airmail for the win. Just goes to show when you're indecisive, sometimes it does not pay off. He gets out of that one with a five on five. Less thinky, more throwy there from Austin. Push into the pile, you never yeah, that know. Was, that was 3D action on the on the TikTok chat. If you're checking out TikTok, you saw that coming right at you. Make sure you're wearing your 3D glasses. Jacob Gore takes it down 20 to 3 to 8 over Noah Almanza. 51 total four baggers in that one. Good battle, bud. That's Holy. disgusting. That is disgusting. He's lucky he didn't play me. He would have been over a lot quicker. <laughs> 
Hey, if that doesn't get you ready for the games, man, I don't know what will. Tristan Dietz in the TikTok chat. What's up, brother? Hey, good job yesterday, Tristan. So now, yeah, Jacob Gore, he needed to throw like that. Riley Shaw, she's throwing the 11s as well. That was pretty much it for that bracket on that side. I mean, it's got to be in by Alex Hicks, and it is. Jeremiah Hector and Devin Harbaugh tied 11 to 11, nine oh, rounds in. Come on, Devin. Adam Hessner up 18 to 11 over my pick, Jeremiah Ellis. I'm, Jack in, I'm in trouble. Jackson Gore is 2-0 and in his bracket. His next match will be against either Matt Raymond or Shannon Sheehan. The winner of this will get Peyton Haynes. Fisher Hamilton is going to play Chris Kingsbury after Chris Kingsbury takes down Matt Guy. 21-12. Derek Holland beat his son, Josh Holland, 26 to four. Derek Holland throws an 11.06 over 17 rounds. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm not feeling confident about this ice bath thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm liking your picks. Who are, what, are your picks still alive? It? Yeah, but I'm, I'm in trouble losing uh, Jeremiah early. You on fire. You don't me? A little bit. <laughs> yeah, Maureen, sometimes I talk without thinking. Hey, it was so funny, though. <laughs> it was. It was a good moment. <laughs> Let's see what Austin per does personal here. Personal massages are important, you know. You need yeah, to massage yeah, yeah. your back and your, your legs, you know. And your other areas. Long yeah. days. Long days here. Alan, I will definitely be there for Minnesota, man. I, wanna, I actually want to... I want to get with you before that to try and work something oh. out with the Hamon Cornhole people. Well, hold on. It's going back to this game, this Austin hits his airmail. It's eight on two. Alex is going to have to rodeo. Yeah, got to hit a big push here. Either a rodeo or a hard push where he gets everything. He's going hard at the pile. One, oh. two. In the hole. And it's, it's going to work. He's only going to get one. No, that's two, right? Is it nine on eight? Alex got two on the ground. Does he have two on the ground? Is it eight on six? It is, yeah. Nine on uh, eight on six. I thought it was wow. nine on eight. I second. thought he pulled it off. Oh, my gosh. All right, that's going to wow. do it. Wow. What a comeback from Austin Cameron to take down Alex Hicks. How about that? So one half of the Hicks Trader team falls to the loser's bracket. We're going to bring on Ryan Trader. He's going to take on Jake Trzinski. Austin Cameron will now take on Peyton Haynes. We're going to take a break. We'll be back here in Tridelphia, West Virginia, right after this.
Perfect time. And just as the music stops, welcome back in, everybody. Philadelphia, West Virginia, we are already underway in our next match between Jacob Trzinski and Ryan Trader. It's going to be a messy game, to say the least. The jersey, though. Yeah, that shirt Trzinski's wearing, yeah. Pretty cool. I miss Sparky. Hope you're doing well, Sparky, if you're watching. Man, what a battle over there on court 45. Hisner and Ellis 29 rounds in now, 20 to 17. Winner of that oh, one. I just heard a boom. Eric Davis. I just heard a boom. As he defeats Frank Verona 22 to 20. Wait a couple seconds for them to input the score. Trader going hard push, nice bag. I mean, you, you act like Jeremiah Ellis when it boom Adam Hisner. That's true. Did he boom him? We'll find out. No. Uh oh. Adam Hisner takes it down, twenty-two to seventeen. Ooh. That was one of your picks, right? Yeah. So Hisner, just uh -oh, right what? now, running through K9 players. Ben Brown rocking the K9 logo this year on live feeds. Now takes down Jeremiah Ellis. So Adam Hisner will take on Eric Davis for a D-bracket opportunity to go to the king seat match. Oh, no. A triple bar. A soap trader just hit on himself. And now Trzinski is going to wash out the round. That was looking like it could have been big points for trader. Look at this. A triple bar of soap. And knocked in Jake's back in the process. Not something you see every day. It will stay one nothing. Again, chat, 250,000 likes is all we need on TikTok to see your boy put it on Jake Brandon after the live feeds. It, it'll be a better competition than what Corey gave me in Mesa. That was a... Uh, yeah, no floor baggers here, I'll tell I, you that much. I felt bad. I felt bad. That's what I'm talking about. That's why, that's why I like Peyton. That's why I like Peyton. All right, let's go through the brackets real quick before we get too far into this match. So left on the winner's side. I'm only going to go through the winner's side if you guys want to check around, see who, who's doing what. You know, don't ask me. Just go to a fan zone, check it out yourself. But on the winner's side in the A bracket, Ryan Trader, Jake Krasinski doing battle Ooh. here. Pat Sim, Jay Pato on the left side. Right-hand side, Travis Jello, Charles Aggie, Adrian Johnson, and Carson Getty. B bracket on the left side, we got Jacob Gore, Riley Schaff, Ronnie Heilman, Mike Butler. Right-hand side, Steve Bernisset, Devin Harbaugh, Jeremiah Hector, Jeremy Shermerhorn, and Tubby Cobb. The C bracket, Kaylee Hunter, Justin Burton Jr., Nate Long, Ryan Smith. On the right-hand side, Ryan Hart, Alex Rawls, Michael Allen, Brandon Patterson, and Matt Wilson. Adam Hisner, Eric Davis on the left side of D bracket. On the right-hand side, Logan Dupler. Alan Rawls, Philip Lopez Jr., Zach Scheibner, Caleb Batson, and Cody Henderson. 19 to 17 over there. Caleb Batson in the lead. E bracket, Chad Mayberry, Derek Holland, Zach Smith, and Austin Schlobaum. Right side, David Brown, Angel Camarena, Ethan Walker, and Aiden Big Perm Brown. Fisher. Well, Wally, sorry, I didn't mean to stop you real quick. I did it for the first time today. I didn't put the board camera up. Oh, all good. Around. All good. F bracket, left side, Fisher Hamilton, Chris Kingsbury, Josh Doty, and Gage Landis. Right side, Kevin Marsh, Austin Kippel, Kimberly Glass, and Terry Mathis. G bracket, Jackson Gore, Matt Raymond, Austin Cameron, Peyton Haynes. Right side, Brandon Davis, Sebastian Schaefer Ford, Nico Morales, Forrest Glagowski, and Jordan Power. And then in, finally in H bracket, Carter Bennett against Colin Hodet, Hunter Thorne, Cameron D'Ambrosio, Jace, Jace Fisher. No, Jace Fleischer. Right side, Travis Purser, Tim Collins, Quinn Reeves, Steve Gray, Nathan Tott, Ian Chase, and Brian Arnett. So there you go. That's all that is left on the winner's side. I think I'm actually going to change my pick on what matchup I want. Oh, no. Yeah, I will. I'm going to do it. Nice push through. 
Trzinski is on the board, make it 5-3. I thought you said BG deleted their comment on Titan's post. I heard Titan delete the post, I don't know. No, it's still there. Is it? So is BG's comment. It has 107 likes on it. Let's go. Uh, also, no, Jimmy Graham did not make the trip this weekend. Couldn't make it work. Can we get Mike Butler on the feed? Dylan wants to know. Did I mention his name on the winner's side? Uh, Eric Davis is getting ready to play to the, for the semifinal, so we're going to probably hold off on that one for a little bit, Peyton. Nice rollover from Trader to wash out the round. Man, every match so far. Even the blowout with, you know, Caleb Batson and Gavin Kana was a banger. Most excited I've ever been for a 21-8 match. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> Ryan says, so embarrassing if you have to step two feet over the line in order to get it there. I don't think that's the case at all. Use your peepers. Yep. Kind of get an idea of what's going on, how the game is played. Stepping over the line, keeping that back foot planted. Foot is actually only landing one foot in front of the line. <laughs> not two. Not two. And these are a little baby Ryan Trader feet. They're not even real big boy feet yet. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'll tell you right now, Ryan Trader actually went back to the drawing board, fixed his throw from last year, and has done a phenomenal job of adjusting to the new rule. He's one of the few players. We keep using him as an example of how you can do it if you put your mind to it. And to be honest with you, I think it's elevated his game. Yeah, he's gotten real good real fast. Already two open singles titles this year, looking for a third. Yep, so to give you guys an idea, something the TikTok chat is asking, so I'll kind of get into it. What's the new rule for the foot foul? You're allowed to step over the line this year, same as last year, as long as you keep your back foot planted. If you keep a close eye on Ryan Trader's toe, it does not come off the ground. If he lifts that foot up, then it would become a violation. I've seen him probably throw five, six, seven hundred bags, maybe a thousand this year. It's only probably come up off the ground once or twice. Next matchup on the live feeds, we're going to get Fisher Hamilton against Chris Kingsbury. LMFAO, such a joke, watch it again. I mean, we're watching it four times around. You see it? Yeah, it's less than a, it's less than a foot. Drazinski, that bag looked low out of his hand, missed left. It'll stay 9-3. Jeez, is it still snowing? Stop. Nah, it stopped snowing. I'll tell you what, Ryan, if you would like to, man, you can sign up to be an ACL official. The program is live yeah. and ready to roll. Is and then you can room? come here in person and actually learn the rule, and then you'll be able to enforce it if you want. Those who complain about the throw aren't good enough to play at this level. Just saying. He's got a point. He's got a point. Oh, what a bag by Trader. To leave that other bag hanging, too, makes this push by Trzinski that much more difficult. And he throws it off the back. Trader can Let's see how he wants to collect grab this. Grab it again. Oh, my <laughs> God, he went clean. And he's fine with that. Like I said, it makes that push from Trzinski a little bit more difficult. And it ends up working out in his favor. I was going to say that might have stopped him right there. You use it as a little bumper. Stops all the momentum out of Trzinski's bag. That ends up being a big round with those air mails not dragging. And I don't know why I didn't push the replay button. I was just kind of watching. My bad, chat. <laughs> Way to go. No, what good. up, JD? Welcome in, man. Haven't seen you in a long time, bro. I hope you're doing well. I have to make it back out there to Granite City. 
The people that aren't good enough don't practice cheating. Good call, man. You, you, you gotta. You can't beat them. Cheat them. <laughs> I, I'm like I'm ready to go to war for this rule, man. You 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 want to you want to fight about it in the chat? I'll hey, fight about hey. it. Hey, he's getting. Leave, leave Ryan alone in the chat. Oh. Ryan's getting ready to go to church. He's gonna make sure he gets all his sinning out of the way before he <laughs> goes and asks for forgiveness. Yep, I like it. Oh, I forgot my round 10 PPR check. Trader throwing a 9-9-1. Trzyski throwing an 8-9-1. This is a perfect example of how you don't need to have a super high PPR to be successful. Trader has been slinging, and it. it's not even throwing over a 10. I'm not going to say I have a little bias towards Ryan Trader after the fantasy draft last night, but... Don't make fun of church. Who's making fun of church? Ain't nobody making fun of church. I'm making fun of Ryan. What's the difference? Matt Sorrell's in the chat. Always a fun time. What up, Matt? When Matt Sorrell's in the chat, I'm a big fan of the official program. I don't think the toe coming up or not makes a difference. And in the chat, the comment went away. Whatsoever, but from the aspect of the game, wanting to progress in the Air gambling man. world, it must be called if it's there. He's got a big point. Sixteen three. Devin Harbaugh did end up taking down Jeremiah Hector, twenty one fourteen. So he will now take on Steven Bernasette. Jeremy Schirmerhorn knocks off Jimmy Humans. Justin Burton Jr. took down Brady Foster. He will now play Kaylee Hunter. Jake. Why? It's over. Oh, the game's over. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say anything either. <laughs> I'm looking through brackets, man. What are you doing to me over here, huh? <laughs> Twitsy 3-3. Three to three. Trader takes that one down over Trzinski. <laughs> We're going to take a break. When we come back, chat, Fisher, Hamilton, Chris Kingsbury, we'll go through brackets and give you guys an update of where people stand. Be back right after this. This guy stinks.
What's up, ACL Nation and Cornhole fans? Welcome back in. Another good matchup assigned here. We're just going to keep them coming in Tridelphia, West Virginia. Live feeds brought to you this weekend by Bust You Up Cornhole. Check them out at bustyouupcornhole.com. Use discount code WVA for 15% off at checkout. Keeping an update on some Bust You Up Cornhole players. Nika Morales in quite a battle with Forrest Glogowski. They are in round 33. Forrest Glogowski in the lead, 19 to 16. Winner of that one will get Jordan Power. Kingsbury throwing the Viper R's. See if uh, you can tell what this looks like Wizards. Or are they Mercs? I can't tell. I, I assume they're Mercs. Fisher's okay, he a likes big advocate of the Merc yeah. Ls. Paul says, I'm just starting this cornhole journey. What would be considered an average player at PPR? I mean, if you're just starting out anywhere from a five to maybe a six and a half, and then after you get a little bit of skill and consistency underneath you, I'd probably say around a seven to an eight, something like that. You start getting to the higher skills, eight and a half to nine. And then once you're ready to compete at this stage, nines, tens, and as we just saw with Jacob Gordon, Riley Schaff, 11s. Both of these players, world championship runner-ups this past year, Fisher Hamilton with Gavin Cano in pro doubles, Chris Kingsbury in pro singles. Florida v. Florida. Who you got? Florida. Going out on a limb I'm gonna, there. I'm going to take Florida. Fisher Hamilton on Team K9 Fantasy Squad today. Let's go. Chris Kingsbury. This is the second time. <laughs> team what? Team K9 Fantasy versus Team K9 Real Life. <laughs> <laughs> Kingsbury rocked the K9 jersey yesterday. Had a good run. Looking forward to seeing what he can do this year in singles and doubles. It's weird. It's weird with Fisher in sweatpants. He's not wearing shorts that are yeah, tucked I'm into his underwear. Say, I'm expecting him to tuck that uh, right leg all the way up. <laughs> Could you, you know? imagine? <laughs> I'm still saying there, there's, a, there's an opportunity for a – wait till you sneeze. Bless you. I like how I took the headset off for you to cover me for a second, and then you just sit there and watch me <laughs> sneeze and don't say a single word. <laughs> I'm, I was getting ready to say there's an opportunity for canine-branded pants. However, one leg is a pant, and the other one is a really short short that you can tuck up, prevent you from – I actually, you, you know, I did the live feeds with Mark Pryor and Ultra a couple of years ago, and they were just starting their kind of uh, apparel venture, and we talked about it. You know, one leg bicycle shorts and the other leg, you know, gym shorts. Wow. And uh, it sounded like we were ready to do it, but uh, never pulled the trigger. Damn. Could have missed out on a million-dollar opportunity there. You get the shark tank and everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 2-0 start for Chris Kingsbury. I'd be like the worst person on Shark Take. They'd be like, all right, what's your profit margin? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know How much does it cost to make? Oh, I don't know. It's just an idea I had. <laughs> <laughs> sold. How many have you sold so far? I'm just uh, like five. Like, I've given away seven. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually negative a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually $37,000 in debt. I just want that paid back. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for $37,000 for a 100% investment in my <laughs> company. <laughs> that is guaranteed two more for Kingsbury. That's what it'll be. Again, TikTok, if you guys haven't already, hit the like button. We're trying to get to 250,000 likes. And then Jake, Brandon, and myself will battle it out. A little bit of a 
friendly wager on the line here as well. He's got Caleb Batson and Devin Harbaugh today. I have Jeremiah Ellis and I picked Tony Smith, I believe, right? Yep. I haven't even seen Tony Smith's name. Tony Smith is also in the loser's bracket. Jeez. Both of your players are in the loser's bracket, bud. Not feeling good. We're only at 38,000 likes. We're not looking good right now, Wally. That's right. Hey, I'm looking good for me. Tear down and go home. Get some food. Casino. Oh, you're, you're leaving, though, aren't you? Damn, don't. Uh, the one time you actually want to go to the casino is the day yeah. I leave. You stink. Well, we got more time today. Yesterday, <laughs> daylight savings time and everything, it was not a good idea. Now, I am very excited to sleep in my own bed tonight. I will say that. Get in here. Social double four bagger. I'm telling you, man, I'm gonna bring that I'm gonna bring that to the table this year. I'm gonna be the hundred and eighty guy for darts. One hundred and eighty. I'm gonna bring it into cornhole. Double, double four, four bagger. bagger. A little four zero lead. This is a slow paced game. Why'd you pick this one? Oh, Kingsbury. That's my dog, dude. It's a good idea to get an idea of how to not let the other player get into your mind, man. Play your own game. Control your pacing. I've seen a lot of good technique here. A lot of great shots. Damn, these uh, these YouTube and Facebook numbers are struggling. What are you doing, guys? What? What's going on? It's Sunday fun day. Sunday singles. Still Come early, on. man. Still early. It's church time. It is church time. Man, it's only 1045. It is only 1045. Sweatpants with zippers on the thighs. Let's go. I like it. I used to own a pair of those. I thought I, I, thought I was the coolest kid in school, man. I would, like, walk in in pants and I would, like, and go to the bathroom. I'd walk out in shorts and see if people would notice me. I mean, nobody did, but I thought it was pretty cool. Walking down the hallway with a smile on your face, looking around, and nobody even knew you existed. And for the record, I had a joke lined up, but I'm doing better today. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. That makes me, makes me feel better. Is this on a streaming service I can put on my TV? A lot of, a lot of TVs will have YouTube um, all connected to their TV, so if you can, if you can find YouTube and type it in, American Cornhole League. Yeah, I believe uh, Streamstack. You can go to aclcornhole.tv as that's well. True. Yep, stream, type in Streamstack. Why did Allison Baldwin send me a message? Yeah, aclcornhole.tv is pretty much the route to go um, if you can't get YouTube on the TV. Feels like we're in round 13, but we're only in round 5. <laughs> Scores only four to nothing. Yeah. At Kingsbury is definitely going to control the pacing of this game. I would say controlling is an understatement. Good back block right there. Let's see how Fisher wants to play this. Going up. Short air mail. No. Tried to peel it. Ends up knocking that bag in. Then the bag in hand goes off the back of the board. Kingsbury's going to get another point there, five to nothing. He tried to do what? He tried to banana feel? That's not the banana. So the banana, the banana, for those of you that can't keep up with my minion speak, the banana is where there's a bag sitting on top of another bag, and you want to peel that bag off the one. Uh, That's the banana. Landon Bass making his way over here. I'm watching this game. Jacob Trzynski. Oh, uh, 21 to like 5, I think. Jake Gore picking up exactly where he left off. 11.5 against Riley Schuff right now. 17 to 2. Trying to get to that king seat match. We got Mike Butler in the lead. 18 to 3 over Ronnie Heilman. Devin Harbaugh and Steven Bernasette getting ready to do battle on court 31. 
Ryan Hart in the lead over Alex Rawls, 4-2. to two. That's a match I was going to try and get, but they already assigned it. JBJ in the lead, 9-6 to six over Kaylee Hunter. Chris going to pick up another couple of points, make it 7 nothing. I'm not sure if Mish is watching yet, Mish, but if you're watching, let me know. I'll try and get that Eric Davis match for you. I know you always enjoy you some Eric Davis time. Brackets Fort moving along pretty nicely. If you're just tuning in, a lot of upsets already. Jeremiah Ellis, Tony Smith, Mark Richards, Matt Guy. Caden Allen. Caden Allen. All in the loser's bracket. Jacob Trzinski now as well. Yeah. Gavin Cano. Trzinski, Cano, Windsor. Alex Hicks. Mish is here, and she is ready. Where's she at? Let's go. All right, Mish, I'll put it in for you. Next match on the live feeds, hopefully Adam Hissner versus Eric Davis to go to the king seat. Oh, Logan Chamberlain, too. That's another one. Yep. <laughs> Man, Grant had, Grant had first pick in our fantasy. Jeremiah Ellis, Logan Chamberlain, Ryan Windsor, Alex Hicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All in the loser bracket. Oh, Fisher, I don't know. what it was a slick side. I thought it was going to go push. It looked like it was, ended up trying to be an air mail. Ends up giving up another point, making it eight zip. How's your team doing, Jake? You still holding on? I think everybody's in the winner's bracket except for Almanza. Is Alex Rawls still in the winner's bracket? Yeah, he's playing Ryan Hart right now. He's down. Yeah, he's um, yeah, three of my four guys are still in the winner's bracket. Alex Rawls, Ryan Trader, Noah Almanza, Jack Gore. I'm the only one sitting pretty, huh? Let's go. Got to get that update for Nico. Nico was able to pull off the comeback. So now Nico will take on Jordan Power on court 75. Let's go, Team K9 this week. Kingsbury going to go at the pile. Oh, no, he missed uh -oh. way left. This is a possible six, maybe four, if he can grab that. Could be more than that, too. Kingsbury still has a bag left. At least four right now. One bag left for each player here in round number eight. Yeehaw, this is a sport. Heck, yeah, it is. Let's go. Uh, Frank Verona l just lost a good battle, I believe, to Eric Davis, if I'm not mistaken. I know he lost like 22 to 20. I can't remember who he played. But you can always download the ACL Fan Zone app and follow along on your own. Yeah, I was against uh, Eric Davis, so 22 to 20. Frank Verona falls there in 28 rounds. Eric Davis, the winner of the long toss this weekend. 75 feet, taking it down. If I would have had more time, Jake, I'm pretty sure I could have pulled that one off. Yeah? Yep. Oh, we blame Mike Hoffman for that. Blame for not coming Mike to Hoffman. Live stream sooner. All right, there we go. Sent to court 11-11. Eric Davis, Adam Hissner. If you're following along in the brackets and you ever see court 11-11, that means they are on deck for the live feeds. Birchfield throwing well. Now Birchfield is in the loser's bracket as well, as far mm -hmm. as we know. Yep. Kaylee Hunter up 13 to 9 on Justin Burton Jr. Make it 14. What a mark. Man, I had a, I had a good time out there. 
Yeah, Massachusetts fun. Definitely don't like the uh, streets you guys got going out there. Those streets are crazy. But I, I like the vibes. Had a good time out there. Enjoyed the, the tournament. The streets? Oh, man, they're not on a grid. So it's like you're coming into an intersection. It's basically shaped like a K. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's everything's weird. Got to make like a 145-degree turn just to go Dude, right. It's just it's stupid. You right over there, bud? A little stiff? A little cold? You got a little cold coming? I thought I was getting ready to sneeze. Do it. Do it. It's gone. It's gone Do now. it. Fisher, oh, he tried to grab it, bounced over the hole. Uh, Dylan, I will try, my man. I will try. Nice collect. Finishes with the 10. Kingsbury can go in to wash out the round, which he does. It will stay 8 to 4. Crystal ball's working good today, Wally. Yeah, we were struggling a little bit yesterday. We couldn't predict anything. Our announcer jinx was hit or miss. Had a lot of game twos, of course, in typical K9 broadcast fashion. Yep. Got my man's over there about to fall asleep in the front row at this pacing. He's not used to it. Got to say, man, I'm digging all the black and red that I'm seeing this weekend from Ultra. All right. Those are my colors. I can see those colors pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you put that blue and purple, pink and light white, and all that stuff that we saw earlier today, man, I can't tell nothing. Uh-uh. No, no. No, no, <laughs> not doing that, man. <laughs> Sorry. Not doing that. It's 10.57, bro. Oh, I tried. You, we got a long day ahead of us here. It's going to be exciting. We got. It's the pacing, man. <laughs> it's the pacing. Uh, I, I enjoy this type of stuff. I like the, watching the little chess match and the strategy involved in it and just the mental part of the game. You really get that with Chris Kingsbury. A lot of people don't like the pacing, but. Making sure he has the same technique on every single throw. I love it. But yeah, next match up on the live field will be Adam Hisner against Eric Davis. Jacob Gore takes down Riley Schaff. So after the Hisner uh, Davis match, we will see Jacob Gore against Mike Butler. Whatever nope. that one. Yep, never mind. I got my Gores mixed up. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Wonder if that one will go to the King seat in bracket B. And then Pat Sim finishes off Jay Pateau. So Pat Sim will take on Ryan Trader to go to the King seat in the A bracket. I, I was really close to picking Pat Sim in fantasy, so I'm glad I didn't. They would have to play each other. <laughs> ben says you're alone in watching Kingsbury. <laughs> oh, come on now. Jack Gore already up 17-0 on Matt Raymond. If he wins that, he will either play Austin Cameron or Peyton Haynes. Some interesting loser bracket matchups. Joe Neistead will take on Adrian Johnson. Tony Smith now taking on Landon Bass on court three. Get this, winner of that one gets Jake Trzinski. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jake Trzinski, man. Wow, how about this one? Bracket F match to get to the King Seat game. It will be Kimberly Glass versus Austin Kipple. Let's go. I put Austin Kipple in my top five to look out for in open singles. Not letting you down. Ethan Walker up 19-11 on Aiden Brown. Winner of that will either get Angel Camarena or David Brown. Angel up 10-5. Kayla Batson up 10-2 on Zach Scheibner. Winner gets Alan Rawls, who beat Logan Dupler 21-zip, throwing an 11 to make it there. 
Ryan Smith up 16-5 on Nate Long. Winner either gets Kaylee Hunter or Justin Burton Jr. Kaylee up 16-13. Oh, good battle here. Gavin Cano, 20. Derek Fatiger, 19 on Ooh. court 46. That's a loser bracket match. Harbaugh up 4-2 on Steven Bernasset early in that one. Winner gets either Jeremy Shermerhorn or Tubby Cobb. Nine to eight here now. In round 34, oh wait, nope, round 14. Looks like all the big names that went to the loser's bracket are still alive. So all those early upsets really not affecting too much here. Damon Dennis taking on Jalen Jones. That's a tough loser's bracket match. Do a PPR check after this round here. Again, if you guys haven't already checked out Bust You Up Cornhole, make sure you check them out. Use the discount code 15% off using discount code WVA. If you're in the area here, we got some vendor booths set up. SIVA, local alien cornhole, AAR, cornhole chemistry with their Zookas in attendance. Caddyshack, as well as the ACL Merch Tent. Make sure you go check them out. Fisher Hamilton throwing a 10-4-3. Chris Kingsbury throwing a 10-5 through, through 14 rounds. Have you had a chance to ever play against Chris Kingsbury? Do you think it would bother you if you're in the match? No. Just because you're watching. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a pace of play type player as well. Like I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rush. So I, I'll take my time too. I will, I will slow so it I down guess, just as much as he does. I guess the one match that nobody wants to see this year would be Kingsbury against Landon Crabtree. Why? Because <laughs> Crabtree takes all twelve seconds too. Yeah. Damon Dennis wouldn't be fun to watch with him either. See Gavin Cano standing over there. He was able to finish off Derek. So Gavin Cano advancing on the loser side still. Zach Scheibner in the lead, 13 to 10 over Caleb Batson. Winner of that one gets Alan Rawls. Alan Rawls, 26 to nothing over Logan Dupler. Sheesh. Sheesh. Ethan Walker takes down Big Perm. Noah Almond is still in it, so my one fantasy player in the loser's bracket is still alive. That's a good sign for me. But we will see. Austin nice Cameron up 18-5 over Peyton Haynes, trying wow. to get to Jackson Gore. How about an all-Gore final today? Pretty cool. Pretty tight. When we played during the week, he speeds up. That makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, nice bully. Really nice bully. That pushed that bag six inches up the board. Upside alert over here. Jace Fleischer. Fleischer? Jace Fleischer in the lead 19-12 over Hunter Thorne. Fisher can cut around this for four and take the lead. No, he's still going no. to take the lead, though. Mm. 
Nope, taking a drink break. Still 11 to 10, round 17. We've been playing for quite some time. Jake, you want a beverage? Sure. Ultra? What are you getting? Ultra. Yeah, I'll take an ultra. The energy drink of champions. Yes, sir. Yeah, business expense. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Is, yeah. How's the TikTok like count looking? Are we gonna play each other later on today, or are we, we struggle busting over there with the likes? Well, the good thing is we got a lot of we got a lot of time left, but we are at two hundred and fifty thousand is the goal, and we are at fifty-seven thousand. Hey. We're getting there. Twenty percent of the way there. I'm getting. I'm putting some likes in too. I think we're gonna hit it. Is he losing? No. -uh. To who? Wow, Zach Scheibner has come all the way back to take a nineteen to ten lead, and Gavin Cano plays the loser of that. So we're going to see Cat. We don't usually show losers bracket matches until we get to the very end, but we have to make an exception. Throw those next. Dude, they're an 11 on the slow side. Yeah, feels like it. Dylan says, I'm going to try and get good enough to come here next year. Let's go, Dylan. That's what I'm talking about, man. Put in the practice, put in the work. I think Ryan Hart may be my new favorite cornhole player. Big facts, big facts. Thank you, sir. Well, there would be my first, uh, one of my draft picks in the loser's bracket. While he, Shibby holds hey. on. He's on Team K-9 as well, man. Shibby ruins everything. I'm not going to lie, man. I, I, I do not want to do the ice bath. <laughs> no. <laughs> this, is, this is actually probably worse than I that. Got, well, we got a glimpse of it this morning with the showers in the hotel. Yeah. No hot water in the showers. I had to take a cold shower. It was not fun. Ice baths are no joke, man. There's actually uh, medical, I guess, Back up to saying cold showers are healthy for you? Yeah, when I was on the Big Ass podcast, Dane mm -hmm. was telling me how he takes cold showers and it helps him out a lot with, like, uh, anxiety and stuff like that. So it, It's just hard to get used to. Yeah, it takes a lot. That is for sure. I mean, the, the first crack when you open a bottle like that is just the best sound. A little ASMR, Jake. Yes, sir. I don't know why I like ASMR so much whenever I have the headphones on. Audio sound mouth revolver. Yep. Nailed it. What did the cornhole players say when they won the championship? <laughs> I'm feeling corntastic. <laughs> 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 Uh, appreciate that joke in the chat. That's a, is, um, that nailed it. Nailed the vibe. Travis Purser up 14 to 8 over Glenn Reeves. Here we go. We're about to ready for it. Ready? This bag is in for a social, Wally. Get ready. Oh, messed that one up, didn't exactly I? Exactly how it sounded. Messed that one up, didn't I? Jordan Power finishes off Nika Morales. Another member of Team K9 Unit Fantasy this week heading to the loser bracket. Jordan Power will now take on the winner of Brandon Davis or Sebastian Schaefer Ford. Seabass in the lead there, 16-7. Have you a weekend, Sebastian Schaefer Ford. 
Yeah, somebody also said in the comments that he's really good behind the mic, too, so we may need to get him on here for an interview one time. Maybe. This is a dull sport. You're a dull sport. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Nailed yeah. it. Dude, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of intrigued by this Ryan Trader versus Pat Sim matchup. I'm, I was thinking I'm about it. I'm trying to think of how it would play out. Because Ryan's going to block. Pat's going to hit air mails. Mm-hmm. It's going to be fun. It's going to come down to roll versus air mail percentage. We've got two fly guys sitting over there next to JBJ. Ryan Trader could actually face off against Carson Getty in the King Seat match. You know they're both talking about it. Rocking the same jersey. Fly on the front, canine on the back. They're having themselves a good time. Uh, Two again, more points. For yeah, some, somebody in the chat looking for a Jake Gore update. So we're going to get Adam Hisner versus Eric Davis next. And then after that, we're going to get Jake Gore against Mike Butler. Then we'll kind of see where the brackets are at. How about Tubby Cobb on my list of players to watch? He's on the semifinals. He'll take on either Devin Harbaugh or Stephen Burnisett. That match is getting ready to begin on court 31. Whoops. Whoopsie. How do you play? Spencer wants to know. You can go to iplaycornhole.com, press the join tab. Once you create an ACL account, you can find events near you. And then sign up for those events. Yes. Did you fall asleep in your own sentence? That was it. Oh. What events near you? And then play in those events. And then you can win. And then win those events and then make it to an open event. And then play on those and win those. Yeah. Trey Birchfield. 17 to 10 here, 20 rounds in. Or you can realize you're not good at cornhole and decide <laughs> to sit behind a desk and uh, talk about that. That happens more often time. than not, actually. That's the. That's what I how do. about this? Wow, what did I miss here? Oh, my goodness. It was 18 to 10, then 18 to 12. And then next thing you know, a 12 on four for Peyton Haynes. She comes back to take the lead and then wins it the very next round over Austin Cameron. Wow. <laughs> Look at her walking with some pep in her step over here now. Huge battle. So Peyton Haynes will take on Jackson Gore to get to the king seat in the G bracket. Zach Scheibner has finished off and taken down Caleb Batson. All right, so I get to breathe a little bit. Depends on what Harbaugh's doing. Well, they just they just started. Wow, Harbaugh's running ten nine four over Bernice. That's ten six three fourteen to nine. Well, that one's. Cut score on your thing? Holy crap. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32 consecutive bags in a row. What's, what's the score in that game? It's uh, 14 yeah. to fourteen yeah. to 9, Devin Harbaugh's in the lead. I got to refresh. I'm seeing 0, zero yeah, here. Mine said 0, zero also. You got to click on the score. This is why we can't have nice things. Another leaked bag. Irvin Thomas, I do want an orange crush. Do the orange crushes at uh, Myrtle Beach for New Year's? They're delicious. They, were, they were phenomenal. Dude, that was a uh, like, um You should have went, man. On the West Coast, I guess Corey, Corey and all of them never heard of an orange crush. So I had to, like, explain all of the mm -hmm. ingredients for an orange crush in the chat. And everybody was like, oh, my God, these sound so good. And I was like, you never heard of them? They're delicious and very dangerous. Fisher's first bag is in here. He's trying to finish it off real quick while we're on the drink, to drink topic. There's like a little Easter egg in Call of Duty. If you go behind the bar in Fortune's Keep, there's a recipe for, I believe it's called a dragon cocktail, or dragon something cocktail. Yeah. And uh, it, it just seems phenomenal. So Sounds that one's worth a Google. All right, all right. Uh-oh. That bag is off to the right now to play, and Fisher knows that a four-bagger is going to win it no matter what. The question is, can Kingsbury get a block down?
He does not. That one is pretty much out of play. Now he's got a lot of work and some finger crossing to and do. Yeah, now it's not even going to matter. Done Zo. How about that? A long one here, but it finds Fisher Hamilton take down his Florida brethren, Chris Kingsbury. All right, chat. We'll go through brackets and give you guys an update in a little bit, but somebody in the comments said there's an update where Trzinski's going to take on Tony Smith. We'll take a look at that when we come back, though. Adam Hisner. We'll take on Eric Davis right after this. All right, Chad, what up? Welcome back. They made their way to the court. They've gone down and back. I believe they are set and ready to go. Adam Hisner and Eric Davis making their way back to the court. They'll start things off over here on the right-hand side. And we are underway. Looks like we got some pro sniper elites, and I believe they were throwing the Talon 2.0s yesterday. Peyton wants JBJ after this one. Next one after this will be Jacob Gore against Mike Butler, and then we'll kind of see where we're at in the brackets after that. ATEM Auto 1. No, 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 no. no hold on. You got to actually, you got to hit this first and then that. Nope, didn't do it. Nope, didn't do it. 
There we go. Why are we on TikTok? We get our cam? There we go. We're good. Orange Crush is originated in Harborside in Ocean City, Maryland. Orange flavored vodka and triple sec with either Sprite or Club Soda. Man, that sounds so good, actually. Alan says, Davis and Sorrell is going to make some noise this year, you think? So I wasn't really a big fan of the pairing in the offseason, but we'll see how it actually plays itself out. Again, we cannot predict. So now you got to take the board off. Now hit the up, up, up. Yeah, whichever one the board is. Right here. So take that off. And then auto one. And then bring the board on. Mm-hmm. All right, so give you guys a bracket updates here. Pat Sim, in th this is A bracket. Pat Sim will take on Ryan Trader to go to the king seat. Carson Getty will take on Charles Aggie over on the right-hand side. In the B bracket, next up in the live feed courts, Jacob Gore will take on Mike Butler. Right-hand side, Tubby Cobb will take on Devin Harbaugh. In the C bracket, Justin Burton Jr., and take on Ryan Smith. Alex Rawls will take on Brandon Patterson. Over in the D bracket, Adam Hester and Eric Davis doing battle here. Zach Scheibner on the other side will take on Alan Rawls. Up top in the E bracket, Derek Holland will take on Austin Schlobon on the left. David Brown will take on Ethan Walker on the right. Fisher Hamilton taking on Gage Landis on the left of the F bracket. Kimberly Glass will take on Austin Kippel on the right-hand side there. In the G bracket, Jackson Gore will take on Peyton Haynes. Jordan Power will take on Sebastian Schaefer Ford. And then finally in the H bracket, Carter Bennett will take on Jason Fleischer. On the right-hand side, Travis Purser will take on Steve Gray. What time does Carter play? They're playing now. They're underway. I'm not sure exactly when their matchup will start or if we'll get them in the live feed or what. What I miss? Eric's got a little bit of a drama situation here to get himself out of. Up nine to nothing over Hisner. Good job collecting there. Hisner finishes off the final bag, but two more points for Eric Davis. <laughs> Let's take a look at uh, some of these loser bracket matchups, too, as we're trying to figure out who's going to be where. Jake Trzinski in the lead, 9-6 to six over Tony Smith. Joe Neistat has advanced in the A bracket loser side. Logan Chamberlain still alive after an early first loss. Riley Schaaf started man. fire, but she is now eliminated. Nice roll from Eric. This is a airmail drag for four. No, he hits it too clean. Gavin Cano, 18 to 8 now over Caleb Batson. Wow. Oh, that's not going to be good for me. <laughs> it would not be good for you fantasy wise either. I mean, I still got some hitters. I got Fisher Hamilton, Devin Harbaugh still alive on the winner's side. That's true. So. Mark Richards now taking on Josh Holland on court 68. That should be a pretty good one. Loser bracket match there. Matt Guy down 4-0 to Terry Mathis. 
Eric went air mail, missed it, and washes out the round. Austin Cameron up six to one over Ryan Windsor. Fourteen to two. Almost tempted to put that Ryan Trader Pat Sim matchup, but if Ryan Trader plays Carson Getty, I want to see that one too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go back to back Ryan Trader matchups. Yeah, I realized that was not a wash after I said it. I was hoping nobody noticed. Noticed. Ooh, good bully by Hisner. In for four. Got it. Adam Hitzer just happy he can throw a four-bagger. Hey, man. It's all about overcoming those small obstacles. In oh, way. yeah. Fisher Hamilton versus Gage Land. This could be a fun one. First bag out of play for Eric. Another four-bagger for Hissner. Give him two more. Is Hissner going to drink that or just hold it? No, he does both. He will do both. 14-8 to eight lead now for Eric Davis. Hissner coming back into it. Oh, wow, nice roll to gain hole control. Isner goes right through it, and now he has hole control. He's going to go. He's going to do something crazy here. Yep, he's doing something crazy. He's stepping into it. <laughs> he does this. Take, takes one behind the hole, one off the back of the board. Isner getting the drip, though, on the backside. Yeah, he was trying to sacrifice that entire pile to steal yep. three points out of it, and then it drips back in. Hissner in with a nine. This is in to wash out the round on nines, and it is not. He said that's an easy three if he hits that shot. I don't know about easy, man. He threw that thing about 30 miles an hour right into a pile of bags and didn't get the result he wanted. That's just unfortunate. Most people don't even put that on our radar, though, you know? Yeah, right? Friends don't let friends commentate at 9 a.m. after daylight savings and a late night. That's what I'm saying, Trey. That's what I'm saying. What are we doing? Is he just now waking up? Yeah, it must be nice. Get your Peloton in today, Trey. <laughs> Enjoy your cornhole coffee and just relax. Yeah. Going to put on a little golf this afternoon. Nice relaxing Sunday on a couch. This is interesting. Kind of pushing into the pile. Nothing moving just yet. We're going to get a timeout time here. Out. I feel like Eric this could be Davis a. Eric Davis thing's coming up. Yeah, this is Eric Davis. Off day. <laughs> what's, what's an off day? And what are you possibly thinking about if you're Eric? He's going to throw this as hard as he possibly can. That, that kid in the front row better watch out. He's about yeah, to get a black right. eye from a pro sniper hitting him right in the face. <laughs> May take out the TikTok camera. Look how, look how calm this kid is right now. And then whenever that bag comes at him in 3D, 30 miles an hour from Eric Davis, he's going to be shocked. Hard into the pile. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost good, halfway good up the thing, ramp. Good thing that uh, that beard guy saves yeah. the day. <laughs> 14 to 13. Eric Davis cost himself some points here. Tommy Slyker says maybe roll on top. Let's stop it. Eric Davis wouldn't roll on top. He's going to push through everything. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Whoa, the Patriots just traded Mac Jones. Nice. He's a good quarterback. Whoa. Good. Trey, how you feel about that? Yeah, Mac Jones to University of Michigan for a corn dog. <laughs> Jesus. Trey Ryder says, love it. He hates Mac Jones. Uh-oh. Wow, we have three straight comments from Trey, Cowboy Chase, and ACL Corn. Everybody's in the TikTok chat yeah, this morning. Yeah, they just got done having their trash talk meeting. Yep. <laughs> they just got 11 o'clock meeting about how much they hate Wally and Jake. Yeah, their Google Meet is over, and now they're here. Trade for Justin Fields and draft and, Harrison, he says. And Cat Halbert's in here. What is going on? Are we in trouble? Is this break. like a secret meeting? Yeah, that you, you guys can parsec in. You guys can handle this. We're going to get yeah. some food. Jake's got a calzone over here. He's dying to chomp Dude, into. I can, I'm hoping this game ends so quickly. I mean, it's Eric Davis matchup. You never know. He's either going to score 12 in one round or give up seven. Yep. Do a PPR check real quick. Somebody. Adam Hisser throwing a nine. Somebody called him yesterday, perfectly worded, the Harlem Globetrotter of Cornhole. Takes down mini boards, takes down long toss, does trick shots on the boards. Matthew Troxell says he knows he knew Wally before he was famous. Yeah, the boy, my dude. I knew Matt Troxell before he was good, too. This is what Hissner does. Oh, lands on top. He is perfectly okay with that. I mean, this is a patented Eric Davis crazy shot. Going to try to push mm -hmm. that back. The level two and a half block. This is even harder than the Tony Smith push. Oh. <laughs> he said, oh, my God, I'm actually terrible. Hisner does not get it. And now he says, I'm more terrible than you. <laughs> I'm going to miss two. <laughs> Yard sale behind the board. He can collect this bag on the right side for three points. How about no? No, they sit, and he's going to give up a point. <laughs> Jordan Power just in the background, listening to Hisner, <laughs> watching Eric Davis, enjoying every little bit of it. <laughs> Wish you could get a, you can barely see him on your screen there. He's yeah. just having a ball. First back block from... Davis, first bag cut around from Hitzner, goes over the hole. Roll, beautifully done. Cut, beautifully done. Side by side, I like a back block here. Yep, here we go. The question is, do you roll or shoot this? I like an airmail. You can either drag maybe and one, you never know. Gavin Cano Going. finishes off Caleb Batson. Caleb Batson eliminated. Cano will now take on Dupler. It's a good thing we got the board mics off. Holy foul <laughs> language on these two. Mac Jones signed with the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes to the Patriots. Let's do that. Oh, you heard it still? Rut row. Davis stepping out, slick side down. Going to try and go hard into this pile to get the collect. Beautiful. He does. Nice shot, driving through everything. Yes, they're still going to come away with two points. The lead change. The magician putting rabbits into the hat. Rabbits, I mean cornhole bags into the hole. Boom. Is he still the magician? I like the Globetrotter better. I haven't really seen him doing any like amazing shots in a while, you know? Do you uh do you see that? No. The baby? Yep. I like that back block. Hissner, a double back block. Roll. Yep. Oh, pretty from Eric Davis. 
He's going to retake the lead back 18-17. He didn't like my trick shot comment. He's starting to put some bangers in now. 18-17, retaking the lead as we enter round number 18. Bang. E-bracket matches are underway. Derek Holland taking on Austin Schlobaum on court 54. Ethan Walker on court 55 against David Brown. Adam taking a timeout. What are you looking at here if you're Adam Hissner? Are you, you, you going to try to fit that in? If he, if he can go backside, this is for the win. Backside for the win. I think he's going to do it. I was asking Jordan. I asked him if he was going to shoot. He said, no, no. Backside for the win. Go get it. He is no. Ooh, landed short. He's talking to Jordan Power saying, that's fine. <laughs> Jordan Power cares. Hey, you do you, boo-boo. Trey Ryder, if you're just tuning in, uh, we are going for 250,000 likes on TikTok today. We'll have a 1v1 Jake Brandon versus K9. Way more viewers than we had yesterday, that's for sure. Yeah, we took the we took the bots out yesterday. We're leaving them in today. Viewership is up. <laughs> hey, chat likes their bots. Apparently, chat likes to click on those uh, webcam links. I don't know. I don't recommend it. Fly monitor. Oh, it's back. Is Corey par second in or something? Yep. Corey, what's he doing now? What are you doing? What are you doing, uh -oh. Corey? Part of their meeting. Eric stepping out. Going to try to grab this bag. No, he misses left. If Adam can grab this, it's for the win. He's going up. Misses it again for the wash. Ricky says we need you guys to think about broadcasting Battle of the Boards in Bradley, Illinois. I'll tell you what, I'm in Illinois, and I've never even heard of that tournament, so let me know, man. I live in Illinois. It wouldn't be too hard of a challenge for me. If you uh, are interested in booking my services, caninecornhole.com, and I'll check it out as long as it doesn't coincide with an ACL tournament. Eric Davis with an 874, 884, excuse me, uh, Adam Hissner with an 879. I already forgot the next match on the live feed. What did I say we were getting? Was it Jake Gore? I don't know. I think it was Jake Gore and Mike Butler. Yeah, there it is. Jake Gore and Mike Butler up next after that. We're going to go There's with Jackson an Gore and Peyton Haynes. It's going to be a big time push coming from. Now he's going to cut around this. No, he's going push. He went sticky side push, throws it off the back. Adam on 17. He's going to go up for the win. And again, an airmail for the win. But he drags Eric's bag. It's only going to be three. It's going to put him on 20. I'm glad you were talking there because my math wasn't mathing. It took me a second. <laughs> I was like, he got it in my head, but no. Not yet. First bag off to the side. It's always hard to predict an Eric Davis match, too. I'm usually like, okay, we go side by side here. But no, but decides to roll over and go in. Oh, beautiful cut around to get whole control. I mean, we say it time and time again, Eric Davis could be one of the best players in the world if he just didn't get bored. Always trying, trying a little bit too much sometimes. What do you, oh, Eric's going to take a timeout. Eric is looking at going at this right side. There's not a scenario where you can win. I don't agree with you. How? You can go slick side down, bully Adams back out, hit the right side. If oh. he does that, I will take a nice bath. <laughs> no questions asked. Go. He does this. I'm taking a nice bath. Let's go. There's no way. I mean, he's going to try it. Slick side down at the side. No, it's worst case scenario. He goes off. And That's that going to be a one for way. Adam, and that is the ball game. Woo. Here it is. The boom from Adam Hisner. He takes down Eric Davis. 
I was wanting the ice bath. Threw a little bit too hard, though. All right, Chad, when we come back, Jacob Gore in his 11 PPRs will take on Mike Butler. Bracket E semifinals match. Right after this. ACL Nation, welcome back here. Court number one brought to you by Bust You Up Cornhole. These guys are ready to get at it. They've been waiting long enough. Jacob Gore taking on Mike Butler. Winner of this one goes to the king seat to take on either Tubby Cobb or Devin Harbaugh. Start things out with some zeros. First chance for me to get a look here at Mike Butler. Yeah, I was going to say, do you know anything about this guy? He's heavily wanted in the chat. So I have help obliged. Us out. Yeah, Mike Butler, let's take a look at his path to get here. Came in as the 28 seed, 21 to 14 over Fresh Scott, 22 to 7 over Justin Stranger, and then 24 to 7 over Ronnie Heilman. Got a bag on the ground and a bag behind the hole. Jake Gore up to this point, man, has just been absolute dominant. Comes in as the one seed in the B bracket. 23 to 1 over uh, Bud Chanter, throwing a 10.0 PPR, then an 11.5 in 35 rounds against Noah Almanz's 11.11. .11. 35 rounds is impressive. Took on Riley Schaff, throwing 11.12 in that one against her 10.12. Jacob Gore has been pretty much the most impressive thrower this weekend for me. I don't know about you, Jake. Yeah. I mean, right now he is the best player in the building. Yeah. Score updates that we got going on here. Ryan Trader taking on Pat Sim. Pat Sim in the lead, 10-2. to two. Wow. Carson Getty taking on Charles Aggie. Charles Aggie in the lead, 12-5. to five. Who had Pat Sim and Charles Aggie in the king seat match? Me. Just kidding. Tubby Cobb and Devin Harbaugh on hold. We'll see if we can get another match in there. Uh, Justin Burton Jr. tied 6-6 with Ryan Smith over on court number seven. Brandon Patterson and Alex Rawls getting ready to start. Adam Hisner has punched his ticket to the king seat matchup to take on either Alan Rawls or Zach Scheibner. They are just now getting underway. Derek Holland and Austin Schlobaum, 4-2. Derek in the lead there. And David Brown down 7-4 to, to Ethan Walker. Fisher Hamilton and Gage Landis starting up. Austin Kippel up 1-0 over Kimberly Glass. Up next on the live feeds, we're going to get Jackson Gore and Peyton Haynes. Sebastian Schaefer Ford and Jordan Power on the other side of that bracket. Carter Bennett and Jace Fleischer on hold. Travis Purser and Steve Gray waiting for courts to open up for their match as well. 
Those are all the winners that are left. Everybody else is over on the loser side. Five nothing start here for Jake Gore. Mike Butler has to get something going. So I heard Mike Butler out of the Cincinnati, Ohio area. Not too far from here at all. Throw slick side. Another slick side sticky bag thrower. I'll give you an update, by the way. Tony Smith has been eliminated. Jake Trzinski took him out 23-8. to eight. And uh, Trzinski up now 20-3. to three. So we both have one player eliminated and one player still in, right? Well, I'm going to find out where Ellis is at. Let me see. Nice bag from Mike Butler to wash out the round. Jeremy Schirmerhorn 20-16 to 16 over Noah Almanza right now. Oh, that bag short. And Jake's going to go pick it pick it up. Yeah, Jeremiah Ellis up 19 to 2 right now over Britton Atkinson. Winner of that match will get either Cody Henderson or Frank Verona. Henderson in the lead there 18 to 12. That uh, Josh Holland Mark Richards match is underway 18 to 12. Mark Richards in the lead there. That is a loser bracket match. Loser of that one is gone. Colby Shearer down 14 to 10 to Chris Kingsbury. Another four bagger for Gore, guaranteed five. That's what it will be, 10 zip. Good battle between John Belog and Nico Morales, 15 rounds in. They're tied 20 to 20. Fast side with a sticky bag makes me laugh. Here we go, Wally. Let's get it. How does a 11 point something PPR make you feel? Because that makes me feel pretty impressed. Yeah, I'd say pretty impressed. You're lucky I like you, Jeff. <laughs> oh, good get around. See if Jake goes after this bag in any way. Yep. Bang. Another airmail. Another four bagger. Another social. Cheers. I'll drink to that. I will too, buddy. Is it just me or is it every time I see Jake Gore throw an airmail going after a collect now, I expect him to get gored? I expect him to not drag it. Yeah, <laughs> hit the airmail but not drag it. It's the lights, Mike. Look straight ahead, LOL. <laughs> I know how it feels, Mike. Don't worry. Heck. Mike Butler cannot get on the board. Had an opportunity there to get started. Just misses too far to the right. Hey, appreciate the message there, Ricky. Ten zip lead for Gore. Looking to stay hot. I mentioned he's the hottest player in the room right now. Looking to prove it with shots like this. No. Ooh, we'll see if it goes airmail or roll. He's going up. Bang, another airmail. Hard push for the wash. No, he bounces over and somehow has a bag fall. It'll still be two. And Jake chuckles at it. Twelve nothing. Getting down to the end here in open singles. Close battle, but Nico able to take that one down. 
Nico will now take on Alex Hicks. Either way you look at it, if it, if Gore wins, it's elderly abuse, but if Butler wins, it's child abuse. Well, <laughs> big time four spot for Gore. And the clap to boot, it's 16 nothing. Let's do a little peeper check. An 11-2 for Gore, stays hot. Mike Butler throwing a 9-6. There you guys happy? Sticky side back. Look at that. No, but it's him, Mike Butler, throwing the slick side. Oh. Looks like Gore was throwing all slick side yesterday. Yeah, he told me he found faster bags, and he is running. He's loving them. Just not even trying to block, just running bags every time. And one. Go get it, Jake. Might as well, right? Nope, he's going to take his 12. Nope. He's just going to, okay, he's just going to throw it. Oh, and it ends up not working out. That's the game. Knocks himself off oh, the man. back. It's one of those things. <coughs> Jake Gore is going to walk down and rake it for him. Yeah. He decided not to. <laughs> it, he it didn't want to cross the line. He just waited. Yep. And he ended up throwing it, ended up bouncing off well, Mike and losing but the game because of it. Mike Butler's run is not over yet. He's going to head over to the loser's bracket. We're going to go from one Gore to the other. When we come back, Gore versus Haynes right after this. What is up, Cornhole Nation? Welcome back inside the Highland Sports Center in Tridelphia, West Virginia, as we continue coverage of Sunday singles. ACL Open number 11. We just watched Jake Gore take down Mike Butler. Now we're moving 
the other side of the family, let's talk about Jack Gore going up against Peyton Haynes. Both players having a really good run. This is a bracket G semifinal winner to the King Seat. To the King Seat game, I would I should say. To the King Seat. Just to look at it though. You don't get to sit in it yet. You just get to look at it. Well, how about uh one of your sponsor players, Ryan Trader, well, coming all the way back? You know. Always proud of my boys. Was down 13 to 2 to Pat Sem. Ended up taking him down 21-13. He will now face Charles Agi. A a you got Ryan Trader on fantasy, don't you? I do. Oh, my goodness. I do. Your team ain't looking too shabby. Devin Harbaugh versus Tubby Cobb just kicked off on court five. Winner gets Jake Gore for the King Seed of Bracket B. Justin Burton Jr. Oh, did they? Oh, Justin Burton Jr. ended up coming back on Kaylee Hunter, beating her 21-11, and is now up 13-12 on Ryan Smith. Alex Rawls up 11-9 on Brandon Patterson. So, man, I got I got three players on my fantasy team who are one win away from making to the king seat. Yeah, nobody cares, though. Nobody cares. I do. Not bad. What, you have sixth pick, seventh pick? Yeah. Well, I guess after people left, I ended up being the sixth pick. Yeah, that's true. Jack Gore starts things off with a four-bagger of his own. 4-0. Felt really good at the beginning with the KB victory over Gavin. Gavin got his revenge, though. I mean, it, it made me end up picking him, too. Wizard L's versus copycats, which is just the exact same thing. And another so two spot they're, for they're Jack Gore. They're different. Are they, though? No. There you go. Damn. You, you all right, bud? <laughs> the, the temperature in my hotel room is set to like 63, which is perfect. But every once in a while, I'll wake up with a little bit of a stuffy nose. And that ice cold shower this morning didn't help much either. Again, if you are tuning in on the TikTok chat, make sure you hit the like button. We're going for 250,000 likes is our goal today. Oh, nice push and replaced by Peyton. See if Jack can finish. He can. He is 12 for 12 to start things off. H bracket just getting ready to have their semifinals played on court 17 and 81. Travis Percy versus Steve Gray, Carter Bennett versus Jace Fleischer. Those matches are starting. And try and switch over to King seat matches. First one is set and ret to go on deck. Charles Aggie against Ryan Trader. Whoa, Jack with a bag off the board. As soon as I mentioned, he started 12 for 12. Love yep. to see it. You don't do those things. Whoa, okay. That bag got skinny at the last second and oh kind of yeah. rolled in. Coin plug? Question mark? No. She's, she's going to take her board. three and go home. Well, she's going to stay here. And well, play. go to the next round, actually. Ah. Say. Now I'm with you. Eight to three. Peyton Haynes, one of my. Getting started. One of my Maryland representatives. But Jack Gore's my boy. I don't know who to root for. Oh, man. When in doubt, go against the ugly flag. That's what Actually, they I'm say. Going again, I'm going against North Carolina then because Maryland has the prettiest flag in the history of ever. The history of ever. <laughs> Looking like a four spot from Peyton if she can finish here. Unless Jack wants to go aggressive and get it. And now he's going to take his eight. It's a one-point game, 8-7 now.
Bag off to the right, not necessarily out of play. Can't beat the palm tree on the SC flag. Oh, you most absolutely can. So, Doug, instead of going to open number 11, you go to the news tab, and the first news article is the open number 11 brackets. That's how you can find them. You can also download the ACL Fan Zone app. It's a lot easier. You can find all the brackets on there. Someone get this girl some Bluetooth headphones. Just kicking it back old school. Next week, she's going to wear a boombox on her shoulder while she throws. I won't be mad at it. Chucky Love style. Um, let's take a look at that, Peyton. I'll take a look now, see where JBJ is. So he is. Doug, you are welcome. Dot, 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 oh, wow. Brandon Patterson, 18-13 over Alex Rawls oh, right now. come on, Alex. Jack with another eight. Peyton with a 12. And again, it's a four spot to make it a one-point game. Yeah, we'll kind of see where the brackets are at as far as uh, the loser's brackets go. We want to make sure that you lost sound. Uh, no, I think it's just you need to just turn your turn your volume up, Bruce. Type S for sound. Type S for sound. But yeah, we want to make sure the loser's bracket doesn't uh, get hung up behind waiting for these matches. Jack off the back again. Peyton sits in front. He can cut around this for one. No, he's going to give up one. And we are all tied at 12. Two guys very familiar with each other. Jeremiah Ellis taking on Cody Henderson. Kyrie, we will do a PPR check after round 10, after round 10. Yeah, and if you want to sponsor the PPR checks, feel free to hit me up. We'd love to get some uh, sponsorships going on the PPR checks. Got some ideas for that that I would love to do. Who's winning? My stream is 240p. Can't read scores. I got to update that. Uh, hit that cog Larry. button, man. Yeah. Change it. Yeah. It is 12 to 12, though. Tie game. Oh, what a battle. Kingsbury takes it down, though. 22 to 20 over Colby Shear. Wow. Colb, I mean, uh, Jack rather picks up some big points. He's going to retake the lead 16 12. Alex Hicks eliminates Nico Morales 21 to 2. So there goes another one of my fantasy team's players. Who's your favorite pro? It's a good question. I don't know. Who is your favorite pro? Depends on who's in the chat. That's fair. See if Peyton goes after this. Got to be careful here. Oh, no. It's, it's going to be four more. That's eight points in two rounds. Landon hey. Crabtree's in the chat. It's definitely not him. 20 to 12. Oh, yeah, you're not. Oh, I forgot. It's yeah. gonna be on the, yep, that's right. My bad, Doug. Oh, I didn't do a peeper check. Jack throwing <laughs> a 9 8. Peyton throwing a 9. And this could be it if Peyton doesn't get this bag. Just got to get the collection Ooh. on top of the pile now. Bar soap for the win, bar soap for the win, bar soap for the win. <laughs> Staying sticky side. Nope, he's going to go really deep cut. Wow. Forcing her to make her own bag to stay alive. It is going to happen. Nice job collecting to stay alive. 12-12. Social. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aye, aye, aye. There you go. 
That's what I'm talking about. I feel like running a marathon over down here. You can do. You can go do that. Jack can sit behind. Perfect. That's all right if you're Jack. Peyton has to get a bag in the hole to stay in the game. Oh, and she does. Iron Beautiful Man bag. Stays alive with a wonderful drag. Some of the best shots come in this game when you have to have it. Big job up top. Nicely done. 20 to 14. Stays alive. And gets first throw for the rest of this game. First bag down the middle and in round number 13. Uh -oh. Pressure let off this game as Jackson misses too far to the left. Again, had that big comeback against Austin Cameron just to even get here. to 16 now. Don't call it a comeback. Sub driver says it's a comeback. Not afraid to call it. Carson Getty in the lead, 16-13 over Jake Trzinski. Logan Chamberlain and Zach Aiken tied 20-20. to 20. See what Jack does here. No. We're looking at a five-on-three round. Peyton going to take a timeout. Yeah, this, this is interesting. This could be huge. How much do you want? I kind of like the airmail, to be honest with you. She hits the airmail. Let's think of this. She misses the airmail. He's got an airmail for the win. She hits the airmail. It's eight on three. That's five. Oh, wow. how about a deep, long roll? Possibly for the win. Goes board to give up four. Now we're tied 20 to oh 20. Oh, my gosh. Let's look at this roll one more time. It had some distance on it. She took the time out to go look at it. Lands right above the sea. Hits it perfectly. Nicely done. 20 to 20. How about this? That one took a weird spin, but it goes in the hole. Doesn't have to be pretty. Bag barely fell in. Sheesh. That roll was disgusting by Peyton. Yeah, you have to be really accurate on that one, especially how low she threw that. Hit the perfect landing spot on it. Again, her first bag, when they land, they don't look that pretty. And they kind of do like a little bit of a tumble. Jackson could be in trouble here, or she clogs this. Threw it a little bit too soft for the clog. It ends up going off to the right-hand side. Now he can clean up, and he dies. Nice. Big shot, getting them all to fall. Peyton now has to do some collecting. See if she can grab this. This is to stay in the game. It is not, and now Jack doesn't even need to throw it. But that is going to do it. Jack wow. Gore survives. What, what a, a match. Battle. Look at this shot to basically seal the deal. She missed her landing spot on the block. He's able to get four bags in one shot to finish it off. Chat, when we come back, it's time for some king seed action. We're going to switch over to see Ryan Trader in the A bracket to take on Charles Aggie right after this.
that logo, though. Oh, my God. Welcome back go. to Try Up your West Virginia chat. I'm excited because we have some king seat action. A bracket on the line. Charles Aggie, Ryan Trader, both of them going to the same high school. Who's going to take this one down? <laughs> high school. Live feeds brought to you this weekend by Bust You Up Cornhole and Beard Guys. Check out bustyouupcornhole.com. Use discount code WVA for 15% off. Here we go. The drip on the wrong bag. See how Charles wants to play this here. It's a difficult situation. As I believe they are ready to go. Wow. wow nice. That was risky driving through that. 10 on 10 wash. Charles AG back from my area in Virginia AG. is one of those dudes who uh, who prefers to play advanced instead of open for some reason, but proven that he belongs in that open division with all these pros, making it to the king seat of his bracket. Well, I like this. I'll take a shoulder massage from Angel Camarena all day. This is awesome. And he wonders why he's not sponsored. Oh, yeah. I love it. Thank you, sir. All right, so we got some updates for you guys here. Let's go through all the brackets as we're early into this match. This match right here is for the king seat. On the loser side, Carson Getty eliminates Jake Trzinski. He's waiting for the winner of Pat Sim or Joe Neistead. Over in the B bracket, we just saw Jacob Gore advance. He's waiting for either Tubby Cobb or Devin Harbaugh. On the loser side of that bracket, we got Mike Butler. Fix the TikTok camera real quick. Thank you. Logan Chamberlain, Jeremy Schirmerhorn, and Steve Bernisette. In the C bracket, next match here on the live feeds, Justin Burton Jr. will take on Brandon Patterson. Over in the loser's bracket, Alex Rawls, Ryan Smith waiting. Caden Allen down right now 13-3 to, to Mason Trader. And Chris Wagner up 11-8 over Matt Wilson. D bracket king seat match is set. Adam Hisner will take on Zach Shibby Scheibner. Allen Rawls in the loser's bracket waiting for either Jeremiah oh, no. Ellis or Cody Henderson. They are tied 15-15. to 15. Winner of that one will get Logan Dupler as Logan Dupler eliminates Eric Davis. E bracket, Austin Schlobaum will take on Ethan Walker for the king seat. Loser's bracket, David Brown underway against Trey Birchfield down 4 to nothing. Mark Richards up 7 nothing over Derek Holland. F bracket, Fisher Hamilton to take on Kimberly Glass for the king seat. Gage Land is underway against Terry Mathis. Chris Kingsbury up 7 to nothing over Corey Morrison. Winner of that one gets Austin Kipple. G bracket, we just saw Jackson Gore defeat Peyton Haynes, waiting for either Jordan Power, Sebastian Schaefer Ford. Power in the lead there. Peyton Haynes underway on court 64 against Alex Hicks. Ryan Windsor on the other side taking on Forrest Lugogaski. And then H bracket, Carter Bennett down 12-7 to to Jace Fleischer. Have you even heard of Jace Fleischer? Nope. Not at all. He's having a run. Travis Purser up 15-7 to over Street Steve Gray. Ian Chase in the loser's bracket waiting for either Mike Van Dyke or Quinn Reeves. Quinn up 8 nothing there. And then Hunter Thorne down 13-8 to to Tyler Poitras. Nathan Metot waiting for the winner of that one. Any questions? All right. All right, Jake, trivia question. What high school do Ryan and Charles go to? Uh, Central High yep, School. That's it. Nailed it. You know your thing. You know your things. I want to push. That goes off the back. It's going to be one for Charles. 6-3. What up, Roll Tide? Throwing some fly magics. Two off to the side now. Stepping out, thinking about it for a second. See if a serpent's on a pretty friendly bag. Not sure that's collectible, though. I think it's too far gone. Uh-oh. Magnets on the right side of the board. That's All three bags over there. Big round coming. 
Back number four is in, but this one is in for a huge round from Ryan Trader, doubling it 12-3 now. Jaden Ellis says, I was telling you, Jace Fleischer is a dog. He's from the area first open he's ever been to. Okay. Well, if he wins this one, man, I will definitely get him on the live feeds. Jeremiah Ellis finishes off. Cody Henderson will now take on Allen Rawls. Connor says, Wally, don't ignore my comment if you read it. Okay. Or I know you read it. I know you, I don't know. That's all I see, Connor. It's the only one I see from you, bud. <laughs> oh, the neither Logan Dupler match? No. How about no? Eight brackets? Got to stay on the winner's side, man. We can't go to the loser's side until we're Not down yet. some loser finals. There's way too many people here. Far to the left, over the red zone. Does Charles usually throw a pretty fast pace, or does he? Take I don't his know. Time? I don't. I mean, yeah, I think so. I think he's just getting a little frustrated right now. Okay, not getting any love around the hole. Two bags on the red zone, one on the ground. Ryan Trader running away with this thing, 19 to four, a couple points away from taking it down. Again, next match up, Justin Burton Jr. will take on Brandon Patterson. bag off to that back side. This could be it. This is in for the win. And that's it. Tra uh, Charles cannot grab that bag. It is a dominating performance for Ryan Trader. He is into the king seat of bracket A. That was a quick one, but Ryan Trader is your first king seat holder when we come back. Justin Burton Jr. will take on Brandon Patterson. I think we might be able to get a couple more King Seat matches in now that that one uh, that went pretty quickly. One of them might be a banger, and I'm kind of following to see if it'll happen. Jacob Gore and Devin Harbaugh's got me interested. We'll be back in a little bit, chat, right after this.
Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. Philadelphia, West Virginia, open singles action. Another king seat game. This is bracket C. This is Justin Burton Jr. and Brandon Patterson. Another Texas versus Florida matchup here. I believe this is the second time we've seen a deep run from Brandon Patterson. Yeah. Can't remember where the other one. It actually might have been Ohio. I feel like he had a deep run in Ohio. Yeah, it was either Ohio or Myrtle Beach, one of the two. Yeah. I know we were together for that one. I feel like it was Ohio. He had a good run there. But tough matchup here, Justin Burton Jr. This is for the king seat. Update in bracket B, Jacob Gore will take on Devin Harbaugh for the king seat in bracket B. Players continuing the down and back. A BG versus Ultra. Got some Wizard L's versus some Psycho X's, I believe. First live round of the game coming at you. Just about halfway to 250. Uh oh. Here we go, first live round of the game. Where do we stand with the ice bath bet? It's not looking good for Wally right now. Hey, I got Jeremiah Ellis, he's up four nothing over Allen Rawls, he's still alive. He has to come back through the loser's bracket and double dip. We both have one player eliminated, Tony Smith is eliminated for him and Caleb Batson is eliminated for me. Uh, he has Jeremiah Ellis, who we just said is still alive. I have Devin Harbaugh, who is playing to get to the king seat match in his bracket. So we shall see. Patterson, a little bit of a step out, see if he can grab this bag. Patterson took down Alex Rawls to get here. Uh, Ellis lost to Adam Hisner. Ellis lost to Adam Hisner. He said it twice. Give me a second, Jake. I'm going to have to have you cover me, brother. I got you. I'm here. Brandon Patterson with a block after giving up five points in round number one. Back block misses left for JBJ. Patterson tries to go through it. He misses left as well. Matt Sorrell is a big Brandon Patterson guy. Nice airmail. He drags one of Brandon's bags. Nice push through that bag, hanging on the right lip of the hole. A jump, a bunch on that left side. Patterson side rails it and only gets one. What was that? It's a bold strategy. I guess those Texas players like their, I mean, uh, Florida players like their side rails. You can start his set scrubber. <laughs> <laughs> corrected, <laughs> it corrected Shibner to scrubber. <laughs> yeah, looking at these brackets, man. We're at uh, bracket final time. Yeah, we're getting close to it. We are getting close. Social. Maybe. It's not all the way in. 
Yes, gonna, I think they're going to count it. <laughs> Too far to the left. Burton Jr. can get a couple more here. Seven to one now. JBJ looking for his second open singles title of the year. He won it in San Diego. Brandon says, Brandon was the guy before Tanner or Kyle Malone. Okay. OG, oh, huh? It's a bold statement. A big win. Oh, did Jace come back and win that one? Oh, he did. Wow. Came back and defeated Carter Bennett. that we're looking I'm not 100% sure we'll be able to get that one on live feeds because we do want to make sure we get you as many bracket finals as possible we'll kind of play it out and see Jeremiah Ellis in the lead 12 to 2 over Alan Rawls Derek Davis what up we were just here a couple minutes ago how you doing, man? How you doing? I was feeling pretty good about my 80, 85 uh, feet toss. Yeah? Alec Ryan said that they have a guy down where they hit 105. Jesus Christ. I mean, Alec was chucking it, man. I was really impressed with how far Alec could throw. Eric Davis threw it. Well, I think we're going at 80 feet effortlessly. Uh-oh. What do you want, Southwest? Porting position A23. Let's there you go. I already knew that, but I get nervous when they send me a second message. I'm like, yeah, no, it gets, yeah, it's a little <laughs> nervous. You cancel on me, bro. Who's the biggest trash talker in the pro division? There's a couple of them. Jeremiah Ellis is a new candidate. Oh, man, battle of the bags winding down, huh? Didn't even know we were that far into it. JBJ finishes off there with a couple bags off to the side from Brandon. Adding to the lead now, making it 11 to 3. Pat Sim looking on over here to our right. Some of these other King Seat matches might get played off live feeds. As the loser brackets there are starting to kind of catch up. We got to make sure we get those matches underway. Wow, Derek Holland and Mark Richards tied 19-19. 22 wow. rounds in. Both players actually throwing the same PPR too, Jake. Wow, really? Oh, yeah. Dang it, you get me. I mean, <laughs> obviously. Shout out to Sean Latham. Taught me that wonderful math at Worlds. <laughs> Opportunity. 
opportunity here for Brandon to regain first throw. Collects the bag right there. Two left in hand now for points. In on bag number three. And failed to collect a couple points on bag number four. JBJ is going to get out of that with a 10 on 10 wash. Score update on court 69. Trey Birchfield down 17 to 16 to David Brown. Down and goes Derek Mark Richards. Holland. Yeah, 22 to 19. Did anybody pick Derek? I don't know. I don't think so. What are we getting next? Mm. Cheeseburger. French Pizza. Fries? Yeah. Good. Getting ready to start. Or actually, they already started uh, advanced competent intermediate. You want to switch to intermediate? Yeah, let's do it. Intermediate, Matt? All right, chat, we'll leave it up to you guys. You guys can decide. Would you like us to switch over to intermediate comp or advanced, or do you want to watch Devin Harbaugh versus Jacob Gore? <laughs> we'll let you guys decide. I'm going to leave it up to you. Whatever you guys put in the chat, we will do. Got one person wants to see Shibby. That's probably Shibby. <laughs> Who beat Mark? That would be Derek Holland. We got another Jace Fleischer comment. Want to see more Shibby intermediate action? Is the intermediate match Wally versus Jake? Wow. <laughs> Who said that? Corey. Mr. Floorbagger himself is here? <laughs> oh, what's up, Yard Sale? How you doing? Yard Sale. Wow. Got a lot of shibby love. Look at all this shibby. Jace, give it some intermediate light. Let's go, Lindy says. A lot of Gore Harbaugh, though. A lot of Gore Harbaugh. I think Gore Harbaugh's winning. Corey says, don't even... Don't even what? Put them on the board? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's funnier when they're not geared towards me. I'll tell you that right now. That's my problem. Hayden <laughs> Gonzalez in the chat. What up, Hayden? Got me in a lot of trouble when I was younger, my wittiness. I, yeah. can, I, can, I can come quick with it, if you know. Oh, a side rail from JBJ. And a collect. Just We're looking at trip. a possible five. Or more. We're looking at a possible nice. three. That's a great collect. I would say we saw the JBJ blow up around yesterday. Yeah. Does not happen today. 11-8 will be the score after this round. All right, I think three it's determined. Game. I think the poll has been decided. Harbaugh versus Gore. We're going to intermediate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie says, love to watch everyone. There you go. Welcome in, Bonnie. Love that. Jeremiah Ellis will now take on Logan Dupler. Wow, Logan Dupler making a big run. Should be in the lead, 5-0 over Hisner. Bang, backside for JBJ to score three. Are we going to see ACL Pro Chris Kingsbury? We already saw him. It took 45 minutes for his match. <laughs> you don't, don't want to go back to it? I'm good for right now. All right, so I have one of my fantasy players in the king's seat. Let's see, another one of my fantasy players. Well, one of my um, bet picks in the king seat game. I have two of my fantasy players in the king's seat. Jordan Power currently up 4 nothing on Jack Gore. Uh, 
Uh, Tony, I believe Seabass just got eliminated. I'll go through brackets here in a little bit. Oh, nice get around for the wash. All right, let's do it real quick now. Ryan Trader, Charles Aggie, Carson Getty, Joe Neistead left alive in A bracket. Jake Gore, Devin Harbaugh, Tubby Cobb, Mike Butler, Stephen Burnett left alive in B bracket. Ryan Smith, Mason Trader, Matt Wilson, Alex Rawls, JBJ, and Brandon Patterson here in C bracket. Hisner and Shibby, Ellis and Dupler in D bracket. David Brown, Derek Holland, Austin Schlobaum, Ethan Walker in E bracket. F bracket, Fisher Hamilton, Kimberly Glass, Gage Landis, Austin Kipple, and Chris Kingsbury. G bracket, Jackson Gore, Jordan Power. Oh, Seabass still alive. He's up 4 nothing over Windsor. Alex Hicks left alive there as well. And then H bracket, Jace Fleischer, Travis Purser, Steve Gray, Carter Bennett, Ian Chase, Mike Van Dyke, Tyler Poitras, and Nathan Metot. You're the one that I want. You ooh, are the ooh, one ooh. I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, if Brandon goes after that bag. He is... Oh, he brings it a little closer. JBJ kind of clogs the whole Patterson. Perfect bag. JBJ thinking of maybe a bar of soap. I don't like that, but maybe he'll try. He's going to take a timeout. He doesn't know what to do either. What would you do here, Wally? I'd probably front board it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Alicia wants me to sing more. Oh, man. Now, what should I sing? Taylor Swift, all day. Trying to think shake of it off. Let's go shake it off. And I'm just going to shake, 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 <laughs> shake, shake. Shake it off. Shake it off. That should, be, yeah, oh. that should be your intro. Shake it off. Shake it off. Oh, my God. That's a good one. Jake's takes. Wow. Here we go. Shake it off, baby. Yep, blocks behind. We're looking at a 6-6 six, six wash. Makes no sense for him to shoot this. And it will be a wash. Yeah, almost got a little bit too far of that right side. Say that five times fast. That, 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 that. Boom. Justin Burton Jr. currently throwing a 10-3-9. Brandon Patterson, a 10.06, very high PPR game. Bonnie checking says, love watching the twins, Ryan and Mason. Aunt Bonnie and Uncle Dave from California. Let's go. Welcome in. Glad we could bring you the coverage. Uh, I see what you did there, Corn. <laughs> Brandon Patterson trying to climb back into this thing. 14 10. Zach Scheibner in the lead, 12 to two over Adam Hissner in the King Seat match for bracket D. Bang, backside airmail. Sorry, but you announce better than you sing. Oh. Oh man. Stick to your day job, man. Dang it. Got your Kleenex right here for you, buddy. 
Wipe some tears away. Oh well, thank you. Patterson not going away. 21 rounds in. Hanging with JBJ here. That's true, Andy. We have not heard him rap yet. We cannot jump to conclusions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> what you know? That's another two spot. Chip, chip, chip it away. Two point game, 14 12. Still sing better than Travis Kelsey, though. You're dang right I do. Carson Getty in the lead, 20-10. to 10. Over who? Over Joe Neistead. Wow. Winner gets Charles, then Ryan Trader in the championship match after that for the A bracket. Mike Butler tied 7-7 with Steven Bernisette. Mason Trader up 9-6 over Ryan Smith. Nice cut around from JBJ. Patterson cuts around it as well. I wonder if he's going to go after that bag. Nope. Ethan Walker up four to nothing over Schlobaum. David Brown eight to four over Derek Holland. Hamilton 11 six over Kimberly Glass. How about the run for Kimberly Glass? Make it to the king seat match. Well, a roll from JBJ is off the side. That's a three spot. That's a lead change, Wally. L -l -l lead change. Brandon Patterson, 15-14. Another Florida versus Texas dogfight here in the ACL. Which one's from where? Um, I think you could look at the wardrobe and figure out which one's from where. Uh. Not much uh, salt life going on in Texas, huh? Brandon looks like he's got a fishing charter to catch right after this <laughs> tournament. <clears throat> Austin Kippel down 10-4 to four to Chris Kingsbury. Winner of that one gets Gage Landis. Jordan Power up 12-1 over Jackson Gore. Seabass 11-2 over Windsor. Purser 2-0 over Jason Fleischer. And Teapot Tyler Poitras zeros against Steve Gray. Mike Van Dyke up one nothing over Ian Chase. Uh oh, we are putting Lee Morton four two two Leroy to sleep in the TikTok chat, Wally. Say it again. So we are putting Lee Morton four two two Leroy to sleep in the TikTok chat. Oh, can't see this taking off anywhere other than the U.S. Us and the commentators yawn. Huh. I don't know what that means. The U.S. Us. I guess we're going to have to take all the boards back from Australia, Canada, Europe, everywhere. And I guess we're going to cancel our 12 Indonesia. stop yeah. ACL Europe tour this summer. I do see there he does have a badge next to his name, um, Mr. Know It All Badge. So uh -oh. we are wasting our time. Yeah. What up, Jamie Graham? How you doing, brother? Thanks for the follow, Wally. All right, what am I doing on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't logged into YouTube in a while, so okay. Brandon Patterson, six points away from a, I would say, an upset, putting him in the king seat of bracket C. You guys are tuning in. Pretty good matchup here, but... I'm excited for the next one as well. Jacob Gore will take on Devin Harbaugh for the king seat of that bracket. Good job driving through this. Money TikTok chat says 28 round JBJ wins. It's a bold statement. It's gonna it's gonna be hard. He's gonna need seven points in two rounds. These are the type of matches that JBJ usually ends up losing because he tries to do something with the game on the line, gives up a big five spot at some point. Give him his pro card, man. I love that. I would love to have the pro qualifier mid-season. Right. Like right before the pro season starts. You know what I mean? Uh, so what are we now? March? Like right now. It would be perfect. Do a pro qualifier event right now to determine like the final 16 spots or something. 
pretty cool. That would be cool. Have, like, a qualifier to get you a certain amount and then the final 16 here in March. Brandon Patterson would be in. Nice flop over from there. Alicia, write that down. I had a good idea, and I might forget it next time we talk. Kevin in the chat says, Brandon has been playing for 14 years. It's older than half the players here today. Right. JBJ with a backside airmail. Ollie says, are my comments disappearing? You're reading them all but mine. Pretty popular guy. <laughs> Pretty popular guy. Slick side push for four to take the lead back. Oh, no. Too far to the left. Oh, man. Catches too much of the psychos and stays on the board. Jordan Power, 20 to 1 right now over Jackson Gore. Wow. Fisher Hamilton does take down his king seat. JBJ finally gets a fourth bag to go and takes the lead back 16 15. Ooh, I have $5 in Kohl's cash in my wallet what? that expires on March 31st. We got to go, dude. It's right there in the parking lot. Let's go. Get you some socks. Heck, yeah. Another opportunity here for Brandon to retake the lead. Now this is interesting. This one's got to be in. Yeah. Well, there's an opportunity to finish it. Gets the collect. This is in to retake a lead back, and he does. Back and forth we go here in the late stages. Another bag out of play for a JBJ. He cannot afford another miss. And now this bag has to be in or it's over. And it is. Brandon Patterson moves up to 19. Teaser bag on the edge of the red zone. Gets a side-by-side -side out of Brain. I think all those bags are as good as in, though. Yep. That bag is in second straight round. Has to be in for JBJ. And it is. So. Zach Shibner takes down Adam Hisner. 23 to 5. Round 31. Let's do a round 30 PPR check. Brandon Patterson, a 10 2 3. JBJ, a 10 1 3. Uh-oh. What? 
That blue bag's out of play. Let's see if Brandon can somehow collect everything. Oh, my goodness. No. Went the other way. Now JBJ can go in to make it a one-point game, which he will. My, how the turntables have turned. Jeremiah Ellis finishes off Logan Dupler. He will now get a chance at revenge against Adam Hisner. What happens if you throw out of turn? So the bag that you throw would not count, and your opponent would throw two straight bags in a row to recorrect the order, and then you can throw again. Where is this being held? We are in Tridelphia, West Virginia, about a 50-minute drive outside of Pittsburgh. Oh, an airmail off the back, but it's not that bad because Brandon yeah. can't get both of these. Slick side at the pile. He Oof. only gets one and is going to give up another point. I was going to say he's got to be careful. If it doesn't knock one in, that would have been the other way, right? 9-6. So he's alive. 19-19. Both players down to their final mistake. Nate Mister is happy to hear you're taking showers. Not yet. We've got an ice bath on the line. That's true. Who's going to blink first? Round 33. Jake Gore making his way over here. He's getting ready. 19 to 19 here. A couple points away from getting that one done. 33 rounds here. Oh, man. I thought that was going to get hung up yeah, for a he, second. He did, too. He put the, <laughs> Brandon put the fist bump up and everything. He thought he lost. Premature knuckles. Yeah, Hisner and uh, Ellis already underway. 5 nothing over there. Again, we got Gore and Harbaugh lined up. Um, we'll probably switch to the D bracket finals after that, so Shibby will play the winner of that one. But uh, Gore Harbaugh has been on deck for quite a while. And, uh, again, we stay on the winner's side as much as possible. See if JBJ can sit behind here. Do not want to go in. Perfect. See, Brandon goes up immediately. He is. Oh, and it sits on the back lip. Plop. Just stays right there. Currently showing seven on three. I'm kind of thinking drive through this if yeah, I'm JBJ. Try to clog it up. Clog it or even collect everything. Who cares? Slick side down in hand. 19-19 game on the line. Bag is away and oh, it's no. off the board. But and now the question is what do you do if you're Brandon? You have a couple of options. You can either step out and go at that front bag. Or if you want to go really aggressive, you can try to shoot this. If you drag everything, you win the game. Heather, relax. We're chilling. We're chilling. Got a lot of exciting stuff happening here. Oh, man, what do you do if you're Brandon? Airmail for the win. If you miss, you lose. I'm shooting it. Oh, yeah, go on. I want the glory. He's going up. And he, he knocks in well. one of, and then goes off, and that's wow. going to be a two spot for the win for Justin Burton Jr. I mean, you got to shoot it. You got to shoot uh, it. Yeah, you got a chance to win the game. You take the shot right there. I mean, I thought he was at least going to get that one to stay on the board, but it does go off the side. So JBJ advances. Brandon Patterson, man, 33, no, 34 rounds to take Sheesh. that one down. I'm going to go ahead and put this out there, man. I was going to say over under 25 for this one. What do you think? Jake Gore versus Devin Harbaugh. I think you can go over. 30? I'll take the over. I think you can go 30 as well, chat. Let it be known what you guys say in the YouTube chat. Take the poll in the meantime. Check out bustyupcornhole.com. Use discount code WVA for 15% off. We'll be back right after this.
Welcome back in chat. Possibly match of the weekend coming up right now. Two of the hottest players in the room. Jake Gore, Devin Harbaugh doing battle to see who's going to sit in the king seat in bracket B. Take it through some brackets real quick. We already have a couple of other bracket king seats. Ryan Trader in the king seat of bracket A. Justin Burton Jr. in the king seat of bracket C. Zach Scheibner in the king seat of bracket D. Ethan Walker in the king seat of bracket E. Fisher Hamilton, king seat bracket F. Jordan Power, king seat bracket G. And Travis Purser in the king seat of bracket H. So all of those players that I just listed will need to be double dipped. I believe this is the first live round of the game. Jake Gore on your right throwing those gray BG Wizard L's. Devin Harbaugh on your left throwing those red Viper R's. And that is a 2-0 start for Devin Harbaugh. Let me know who you got in the chat. Who's winning this one? What's the score going to be? I believe we have a poll up in the YouTube chat. So if you want to go out over there, check it out. Tell all your friends about the match that is going down right now. It's going to be a good one. Harbaugh stepping out to the edge of the tape. Beautiful get around. Jake with a collect. Harbaugh, 8 4 8. And that is a social. I feel like we're going to get a lot of those this game. What up, buddy? What up, what up? And what I miss? Uh, eight in a row to start from Devin Harbaugh. You just kick on the air conditioner or something? I don't know. The breeze coming from somewhere. Yeah. I don't even know where it would come from. Am I tripping? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I you feel don't feel it? A little bit, yeah, a little bit, but not much. All right, man, I'm excited for this one. Three rounds in, two nothing start for Harbaugh. I'm torn here, man. Fantasy team versus oh God. Ice bath. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Let's take a look at these brackets here. We got uh, Carson getting up nineteen to two over Charles Aggie. Winner of that one plays Ryan Trader for a bracket championship. Stephen Burnus had up 10 to 6 over Tubby Cobb in B bracket. Ryan Smith falls to Mason Trader 27 to 20. He will now take on Matt Smith. Jeremiah Ellis up 14 to 8 over Hisner. Derek Holland 19 to 15 over David Brown right now. Alex Hicks 12 to 4 over Sebastian Schaefer Ford. Social. I guess I can't be upset if Ellis wins. He'll get back to the championship match. That's that's, <laughs> that's a good position to be in. Yeah. But you still got Harbaugh on the winner side. If he wins this one, you're in better shape than me, I think. What's with the head headsets? New focus training and head just keeps saying throw your four baggers. Probably. If it works, gets you to this point, makes you some money. The headsets pay for themselves if that's the case. Oh, no, audio is messed up again. No, how is it messed up? I don't know. Oh, Corey said he's going to fix it. 
It always happened. It happened in Mesa, too, on Sunday singles. We were fine all weekend. Rams for life. This trainer's about to take down his third open. Man, how exciting would that be? Checking in from Illinois. How's the weather there? Snowing. I think the snow has since succeeded, but it is still very windy and cold here in Tridelphia, West Virginia. Bag for Harbaugh, Gore can get on the board, no. Hello from Mesa, Arizona. Dude, we just had, we were just there a couple weekends ago. No, 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 no not we. Oh, I was, sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is a view in the background of Jake Gore. Mm -hmm. Harbaugh looking for a couple more here. I don't know, but I want to know. Oh, yeah. Six to nothing. Round number eight. Keeping my eye on a lot of scores. Hissner trying to come back a little bit now. 16 to 11. Jeremiah Ellis still in the lead. Carson Getty trying to finish off Charles Aggie. 20 to 7. Fix the mics. Good idea, Nick. Yep. Didn't think about that one. Didn't think about that at all. Other people said it was bad. Audio is real bad. Sweet. I had no idea. Thanks, guys. Nice bag from Harbaugh to push Gore's bag out of the way. Jake, whoa, off the back. Oh, no. Harbaugh in front with a 10. Oh, and Gore cannot get the airmail. That's a big five spot for Devin. 11 nothing. Got to get started. Are we good now? Nate Mister so, says we're good. Is good. Let's go. Tristan says, I'm just here for Wally's banter and trash talking to everyone in the comments. Let's go. Welcome Love in. See Welcome in. See Welcome in. See Everybody say shout out Corey Russell in the chat. That's how. Yeah, appreciate Corey for sabotaging it and then fixing it, making himself look like a hero. Yeah. Well done, sir. Appreciate you, ACL Corn. All right, does a great job of cutting around that. Gore does the same thing. Gore trying to get on here. And it might happen on this bag. Slick side down. Too far to oh the right. He just word. cannot get started. More bad luck. Thirteen zip. 
Who saw this coming? Corey must be married. I pull that same trick all the time. <laughs> I saw, saw a TikTok the other day of the uh, guys who were, he's like, I'm going to go upstairs and fix this the sink, and he's up there drinking a beer, just hitting the hammer on the pipe, making noise like he's actually <laughs> doing something. <laughs> All right, A bracket championship match is set to fly. K9 guys, Ryan Trader and Carson Getty will battle it out for the A bracket championship match. All right, PPR check. Harbaugh throwing an 11 2 7, 7 4 baggers through 11 rounds. Gore throwing a 10 0 9. Adam Hisner has taken the lead 20 to 19 over Ellis. Uh oh. No trash talking, you have more class than that. I graduated from class a long time ago. Time to have some fun. Harbaugh off to the side. I don't even want to say it. I'm just going to wait and see if Gore can actually do it. I think he will. Have class? Yep. Eventually? Yep. Or him. Oh, you think he will? Gotcha, gotcha. Harbaugh going to hug that right side, put a little bit of angle, slick side down. Perfect collect. Yeah, but it does take Gore with him, though. So in four, two. How about no again? Wow. Bad break after bad break after bad break for Jake Gore. It will remain 13 zip. Got a PPR check yet? Yeah, I just did one. What was it? What was it? I missed it. Uh, it's like an 11.27 to a 10.09. Back block from Jake. Back block from Harbaugh. Jake knocks in Devin's bag. Oh, when that roll misses right, this could this be the opportunity Gore needs? Going up, hits the airmail clean. It's another two points for Harbaugh. He is just escaping, escaping after round, after round. That was really bad words. <laughs> that was really <laughs> bad words. It's all right, all out. It's been a long weekend, Wally. We, I think Wally and I both got around four, maybe four mm -hmm. and a half hours of sleep last night. We stayed up to watch the the UFC pay-per-view, and then with daylight savings time, it went from 1.59 to 3 a.m., and then we're back here bright and early, 8 a.m. to get things set up for you guys. Man. Wouldn't want it any other way. What a battle, but Ellis pulls it out 22 to 20 over Adam Hisner. So Jeremiah Ellis for Zach Scheibner for the king seat. Next match on the broadcast court will be Ryan Trader versus Carson Getty. Ryan Trader, the overall number one seed in the king seat there. Gore going up. Off the back, I think that was a frustration airmail for Jake Gore right there. Another five spot. It, it is 20 to nothing. Raise your hand if you thought this is how this game was going to go. Not even close. I mean, I've seen a 21-point run comeback before. About time for another one. Right. It's been, what, 15 years? 15 years? How old is Shaving Graham now? <laughs> I don't know. 60. <laughs> Gore cannot afford another miss the rest of the game. This bag has to be in by Jake or it is over and it is in, not over. But it is in. <laughs> Heather says Devin is due. 
I agree. That's why I picked him first. Then Jake comes in and undercuts me, picks him in the ice bath challenge. I don't know. I don't know why he let me have the first pick. I was ready to like battle it out or something for the first pick. But you said, "Here, Jake, you have the first pick. Just hand me Devin Harbaugh on a silver platter." I don't know if he was on your radar yesterday, though, was he? Not at all. <laughs> but I, he became on my radar after the poor performance in doubles. And then I talked to him. I said, man, he said he was mad after how he played. He's ready to come back, and that is going to do it. Wow. Wow, what a performance. Devin Harbaugh, in convincing fashion, moves his way into the king seat of bracket B. Not over yet, though, for Jacob Gore. Jacob Gore was just absolutely on fire the entire way here, throwing over an 11s. Devin Harbaugh puts an 11.07 on him to take this one down. We are going to head to a commercial break. When we come back, a bracket championship match, Carson Getty versus Ryan Trader right after this. ACL Nation, what up? Welcome back. Tridelphia, West Virginia, court number one. Brought to you by Bust You Up Cornhole. Looking at these awesome, awesome jerseys by Onboard Apparel, though you might be a little confused. This is not a sponsored Fly K9 segment. This is just how the brackets happen to play themselves out. Ryan Trader sitting in the number one seed for the overall tournament. He's in the king seat. Carson Getty has to double dip. I'm excited to watch this one. Jake. What do you think? Who are you taking? Oh, God. I'm tired of this canine crap, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're just too good, man. Trader's on a good. tear this season. No, but He's going for his third title this year, man. And I'd be ups I wouldn't be upset if he were to win with him being my uh, fantasy pick. In a perfect world, we would have a, a uh, Ryan Trader, Devin Harbaugh overall final with Jack Gore finishing third. That would be absolutely perfect. Get the TikTok cam back to where it should be there, guys. I got you. My bad, Cody. Bonnie, you in there? There she is. Checking back in from California. Whoa, Carson off the back of the board. 
It's going to be a three spot to start things out for Ryan Trader. And I did not see that coming, though, with Harbaugh. I mean, Harbaugh is no. due, but Jake was just throwing absolute gas all day yesterday and then again today. Come, came out flat-footed in this one. Yeah. I mean, no effect to Harbaugh. I mean, he was slinging it. Albert Pacer wants us to explain the foot foul rule. Why don't you take care of that, Wally? I got you. So basically, you're allowed to cross over that white line in front as long as your back foot stays planted on the ground. If you raise your back foot, it then becomes a foot foul. So if you're looking here on the TikTok cam, you can see that their foot stays planted. They never release that toe. So these are all legal shots up to this point. Three to one on the score, round number four. We need a fly canine bag collab. Been trying, man. Been trying. Damn, Trader is not taking any time to throw that bag. This is going to be a fast paced game. Ryan Hart out. Be careful, my dude. Cassini dog. Are they really ever going to enforce it? Absolutely, yeah. We got the director's program starting underway, so you can check that out. Sign up, get paid to come in here and police as well. If you're ever at a tournament, might as well get paid to be there. I don't think there's a bar soap opportunity here, but there is a collect shot. And uh, yeah, with the pro season right around the corner, man, we're looking forward to getting into it. Officials will be on the courts later on today here once we get the, all the other brackets underway. Intermediate, comp, and advanced are right in the thick of theirs as the open division is starting to wind down a little bit. Getty trying to go after that black bag, misses it twice. Now Schrader with the back block. Getty going air mail, hits it. Trader rolls over to give up two and tie the game. Now, can you explain the social rule? Do I finish my beer on an eight-bagger or just take a drink? <laughs> You're just taking a sip. Just, just taking a, a sip. sip. Yeah, yeah. These guys are too good. Throwing so quickly, I barely get to move my cameras. Garson Getty with another two takes a 5-3 lead. Garson stepping out to the very edge of that mat. Going to try to get around it, maybe push it out of the way. Good bag. Trader goes up for the airmail, hits it clean, leaves the two bags in front. That's a four spot for Carson Getty. It is Social, take a sip. I need sippage. I have nothing. I'm chicken strips. They look pretty good. No, I'm good, though. Thank you, though. 
No, I'm good, thank you. All right, so again, if you're just tuning in, this is A bracket finals. Carson has to win two games in a row to take down the A bracket. B bracket, we have Devin Harbaugh sitting in the king seat. Oh, Jacob Gore whoa. taking on Steven Bernisset. Trader went for the push, blew it both off the back. This is a guaranteed six. And that's what it will be. It is all Carson Getty in game one. Three, wow. Matt Wilson up 14-7 to seven over Mason Trader. I mean, we talked about a Gore versus Gore final. We could actually have a Trader versus Trader final. Can you imagine that? Miss you, Jake. Who is this? Who's, who's Grayson? Next up will be Scheibner against Ellis. <gasps> Grayson Waller. What up, Derek Grayson? Hey, what up, Grayson? Miss you, too. Thanks for talking about me. Derek Holland up 12 to 8 <laughs> over Austin Schlobaum. Ethan Walker in the king seat there. Kimberly Glass will take on Chris Kingsbury. Alex Hicks, 11. Jackson Gore, 19. Winner of that one gets Jordan Power. Tyler Poitras up 2 0 over Mike Van Dyke. Where are we at on the TikTok like count? Are we up to 250,000 yet? I hope not. You don't feel like playing? We were at 156,000 likes. 100 more thousand with some of the best matchups coming down the stretch here. If you guys want to see Jake get a whooping on the live feeds on TikTok. Stop it. <clears throat> I usually win the first game, and then you talk me into playing again, and you win like the next four in a row. <laughs> Maybe that'll happen again. <laughs> no, I'm playing one. We're playing one and done. Are we got to tear sure? down. We got to tear down, dude. I'm not sticking around here to play cornhole. Muy interesante esta deporte lastima que aquí en Guatemala no hay. Yes, yes, absolutely. Appreciate you tuning in in Guatemala. You need to get it out there. All you need to do is uh, hit up iplaycornhole.com, click on the international tabs, and send a link to Todd Kasicki. We'll get the Guatemalan team going as we continue this push for the Olympics. Getty in with another two. What is going on? 17-7. Wally wins in 15 rounds. Mark, mm -hmm. what the heck, man? Hey, man. It's true. Checking in from the Philippines. Let's go. The Philippines going. I know they're underway as well. Would love to get the Olympics to happen, man. I don't know if they'll. I, actually, I'm pretty sure I can guarantee they will not want us on the Cornhole commentating team. But it'd be kind of cool. Dang, it would be pretty cool. Social, they're throwing so fast, dude. Sebastian Barger in the chat, acknowledging it. Nate Boyer in the TikTok chat. Held on to that one a little bit yeah. too long. There's a lane here for Trader. We he misses that lane. It's not the end of the world. Trader going to go slick side, hug that right side. And they all jam. It's a four spot, and that's it. That's game wow. one. We're quickly moving into game number two between Ryan Trader and Carson Getty. We should switch from this to Fisher Hamilton versus Chris Kingsbury again. No. Oh, you want to stay here? Dude, they just played 15 rounds in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's stay here. Game number two, chat. Again, Carson Getty has to win two in a row. That first one, 21 to 21-7. Next on the live feeds will be Jeremiah Ellis against Zach Scheibner. Jake Gore up 6-0 on Steven Bernicet, trying to make his way back to Devin Harbaugh in bracket B. Brandon Patterson getting ready to play Matt Wilson. Winner will try to double dip Justin Burton Jr. Like you said, Zach Scheibner, Jeremiah Ellis, bracket D. Derek Holland up 14 8 on Austin Schlobaum. Winner will try to double dip Ethan Walker. Chris Kingsbury up 5 2 on Kimberly Glass. Winner will try to double dip Fisher Hamilton. Jack Gore up 19-18 on Alex Hicks. Winner will try to double dip Jordan Power. Tyler Poitras up 8-2 on Michael Van Dyke. Winner will play Jays Fleischer. Winner will try to double dip Travis 
precursor, and that is everybody still in it. If you did not hear somebody's name, they are out. Don't ask. Ryan Trader thought he had no luck at all as that bag was hung up. Carson Getty's final shot stops a little bit short as well. So the score is going to stay 4 to nothing. Trader with first bag as we go left to right. Sun's kind of playing peekaboo with us behind, kind of creating some interesting lines yep. on our table. Be something to keep an eye on here in the next hour or two if those lines make their way out to the court. Nothing will ever be as bad as what happened in the Tiverton, Rhode Island Open mm -hmm. with that sunlight. Man. It was rough. That no stunk. You weren't, you weren't even there. It was there two years ago. It was worse. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Okay. Ask Cowboy Chase. Where's Chase Hunter? Eight sixty-five of y'all in TikTok. Twelve seventy-one on YouTube. Seven sixty on Facebook. We can get these numbers up. I'll these tell you are, what, if we don't get these numbers up, then I don't want to hear anything from the Ellies ever again. Ooh. Jeremiah Ellis is coming next. You all better share after this match here. Is this on Prize Picks? No, it is not. It's pretty cool though. Oh my goodness! Too far to the right, off the back of the board. Carson hits his lane. Oh man! Trader finish was with a three. In for a seven. In for a seven. A ten on three. Seven for Carson Getty. Got ourselves a lead change. Seven to four now. Carson takes the lead. What on earth? And it's really in like weird in these situations too, because you're like, he just needs to slow down a little bit. But that's not his game. Yeah. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyone else, I'd be like, he just needs to slow down and relax. I mean, he's in his throwing motion before Carson's bag stops moving. A wide open lane. This is a four spot to take the lead back. Book it. Good battle on court 65. Jackson Gore, 19. Alex Hicks, 18. Trying to get back to Jordan Power there. Social. Would you like a Powerade, sir? You have an extra one? Yes. How many extras do you have? Six. You can't take them on the plane, can you? No. I'll take one. It's not cold. There's 50% more electrolytes in it, though. And it has 130 calories. Not if you don't drink them all. It's not even cold. What are you doing? There's ice right there behind you. You lied you lie to me. Why would, no you, why would you look to see if there's ice behind you? Know, maybe like somebody dropped a cup of ice. random ice, ice on a turf. Maybe somebody on, dropped man. a cup of ice, man. I don't know. 1,000 messages today in Restream. Let's go. I mean, it's been more than that. You, more than that. It says 1,000. That's since you uh, turned it on. In Restream? Yeah. It was on at the beginning. I don't know. I don't have the 1,000 message on mine. Chris oh. Kingsbury up 10 to 2 over Kimberly Glass on court 67. Another lead change, 8 to 7. Another lead change in this one, and actually it's final. Alex Hicks takes down Jack Gore. Wow. Throwing a 10 4 4. So he will try to double dip Jordan Power. That's bracket G. G does not stand for Gore apparently today. Yeah, so no brother on brother finals as Mason Trader was eliminated by Matt Wilson and now Jackson Gore eliminated as well. All bags down the middle again for another social. Let's go. I feel like Carson is forced to walk faster down the court because Ryan Trader walks down and has already been there for 10 so seconds. I know, right? He walks so <laughs> fast. I'm telling you, I bet he would run a 100-yard dash pretty fast, too. I mean, I, I want to make it happen, man. I'm telling you, $500 prize pot just to see who can run the fastest 100-yard dash. I am in. Stepping way past the line. He may, but it's still legal. <laughs> he made eye contact with me after that bag didn't fall. Time out. Jinx.
See who's going to take the first shot Carson, here. Yeah, Carson's trying to bait Ryan into an air mail. Excuse me. He goes roll, and nothing moves. And another four-on-four four watch. Yeah, I mean, if, if anything. what up? Oh, there we go. Jackson Remick. Oh. He says, someone say 100-yard dash. Would be Let's good. go. Jackson, ask, answer this for me. Uh, how, how fast do you think you'd run a 100-yard dash? Like, honestly. $500 to the winner. Justin, those are not the rules. You are allowed to pass the line as long as that back foot stays planted. Getty misses a roll. Let's see if Ryan can get this over. No, he's going slick side push. Ooh, kind of almost a mini penguin. And now Karsten's going to take a timeout. Yeah, he just wants to make sure to see what has fallen and what has not. <laughs> Trader asking him to bar soap. Ryan Trader telling him to bar soap his own bag. <laughs> and then he's looking over at his dad and yeah. says, am I going to bar of soap your son right now? Do it. Do it. Always oh, staying sticky. Boo. Boo. What the heck? What the heck is that? Boo. <laughs> hey, if you got that doubt in your head, not reason to shoot it. <laughs> That's enough reason not to shoot it. Trader misses left. Carson Eddie. playing the long game here, 11 to 7. Did Angel bring that food over for us, or is that his? I don't, I don't know. There. I don't know where he went. <laughs> I'm about to take a chicken tender. I mean, it's probably cold by now. Yeah. Kind of hop over. Can Carson collect here for a couple? He does not. No. Knocks in the front bag, but the other one rolls over the hole. If the heel comes off the floor, that's considered planted. I mean, the heel can come off the floor as long as the toes are still touching the ground. Yeah. It's going to be ridiculously hard to keep your heel on the ground and raise your toe. Oh, wow. What a bag. Bloop. That slow motion drip. Carson answers. Trader does it again. And oh, Carson cannot get it over. bag doesn't have enough momentum on it. Stops a little bit short. Let's take a look at this one again. <laughs> slow motion, real time. It Rip. doesn't matter. Pretty cool no matter how you watch it. 17-7. to seven, Ryan Trader trying to take down another bracket, man. Just ridiculous. See Mason Trader making his way over now to join the family. Good run there by him. Uh-oh. Pushes into the pile. Ryan with the perfect block could win it right here. He's off to the side, though. There's a lane. Carson, Carson. could get out of those two. He's oh going to miss no, to the left, that's and that's going to do it. What a battle. These guys have played against each other quite a bit before. Oh, Ryan man. Trader's going to take it down. Carson forced him to game number two, but falls just a little bit short. All right, whatever numbers we are at right now, you guys are going to have to double it. Jeremiah Ellis and the Ellies coming to court number one here in Tridelphia, West Virginia, right after this.
All right, ACL Nation Cornhole fans, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all the fellies and the ellies, welcome in to court number one, brought to you by BustYouUpCornhole.com. Jeremiah Ellis finally on the broadcast this weekend. I've been trying to get him here all weekend. Jake is like, no, 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 no. We need everyone else except for Jeremiah Ellis. Makes sense. Who wants to watch him? Meanwhile, Shibby's gotten plenty of TV time this weekend. Playing on teams, doubles, and then again here in singles. Has the king seat. Jeremiah has to double dip. This should be a fun one. <laughs> I think it is. That was live, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You can turn the mics up for this one, too? Should be a talk back. I know, right? All right, so let's see. Where are these numbers at right now, Jake? What numbers we got? 778, it looks like, on TikTok. Yep, and then we got 1220 on YouTube and 631 on Facebook. All right, these numbers better be doubled by the time they finish this match. I want to see all you guys hit the share button. Share this to your favorite cornhole group. We are getting into it. This is my uh, one of my picks here for the ice bath. Yep. So Ellis takes this one down. I'll be feeling a little bit better about my position. Harbaugh sitting in the king seat. Actually, there's a lot of background noise. You can turn the boards down a little bit. <laughs> Can't concentrate, man. I know. It's a little bit hard. First bag is in. Shibner has not missed yet this entire game. Shibner's got a perfect game going right now. Oh, there it goes. Gone. Oh, he's back. Perfect. Good collect there from Jeremiah on the left. Double four-bagger to start this one. Raise your power aids. Social, let's get it on. Let go. Oh, fix the TikTok camera real quick. Pretty please. Fix the TikTok camera for me, please. Thank you. You got the same much. button over there. I got over here, dude. It don't work. Push it. See? See, don't work. Looks like it worked to me. Red on red. Red bags versus red bags. Jeremiah Ellis decked out in all red. A-Rod wants to know how do I become a commentator. Easy, man. All you got to do is just ask me, and I will replace Jake in a heartbeat. Especially if I have to take a nice bath. Who says you're in charge? I'm in charge. I'm pressing the buttons, man. I gave you first pick, and you, you did that to me. You could have very easily picked Carson Getty. <laughs> nah. Siege hangs up there on the back of the hole. Jeremiah is going to get on the board. Two to nothing. Matt Hardbarger says the Ellies are here. Let go. Hunter Thorson, Shibby's bag looking flattered by the day. We have a different camera angle for that? Because uh, <laughs> You can check it out on TikTok. Uh, what up, Connie? Welcome in. Ethan's doing very well today. Give you guys some updates. Haven't done bracket updates in a while. Everything's starting to wind down in Tier 1. Travis Purser in the king seat in the H bracket. Tyler Poitras in the lead 5 to nothing over Jace Fleischer. Jordan Power down 17 to 5 to Alex Hicks. That Side is rail. Come on, man. That is for the G bracket. Alex Hicks has to win twice. That's a big time five spot for Jeremiah. Let's take a look at this. Jeremiah up top hits it and excited. Come on, man, he says. 
There comes that sunlight on our back again, Jake. Keep an eye on it. Kingsbury and Fisher Hamilton starting on court 67. That is for the F bracket championship. Ethan Walker and Derek Holland underway. Holland in the lead six to four. Holland has to win two in a row. Ellis has to win two in a row here. Matt Wilson down 15 to six to Brandon Patterson. And then Ryan Trader takes down A bracket over Carson Getty. Chibi can go in to get on the board. And he does. <laughs> he said it's quiet in here. For now. Man, I cannot wait for him to win his first open event. The screams. It'll be today. You think so? <laughs> I, hope, <laughs> I hope not. It'll Do it in Michigan. Today. Do it in Michigan. This gets to be crazy if he does it there. It'll be a lot of people closer. Who's going to win the Wally and Jake game? I think we all know who that's who's going to happen. We're not even going to have a Wally and Jake game unless you guys start liking that's on true. TikTok. Okay, you need to get that li those likes up. 250,000 likes for us to do a game. Nice roll. Jeremiah wants to bunch them up. That's perfect. Yep, he wanted to plug it. What do you do if you're shibby? Going hard at it. Oh, my goodness. Tries to unplug him, but he cannot. Too far to the side. He's going to take a timeout to look at this. There's a whole lot of red on red, so don't, don't ask me for advice. I don't think he should throw it at all. I'm trying to throw one airmail? Backside? I think I heard him say backside. No shot. Oh, we got one. This is in front and off to the right and in the hole, right? So on the board here for Dang three. This is dangerous if he lays nah, up and they fall. He's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, gosh. All right, that was a lot worse than I thought. Plus three, making it ten to two. Yeah, I thought, like, maybe in front of the board, just relax, take your three points. Yeah, that right? man's no, thinking about should. rolling on top of the pile to hopefully make it four. No, JBJ's got the king seat. He's waiting for the winner of Matt Wilson and Brandon Patterson. All right, so where are the numbers at now? Have we doubled yet? We got 939 on TikTok. Not enough. Need 1,000. 1361 on YouTube. Need 15. 800 on Facebook. Need 1,000. Come on, y'all. It's Sunday. Single Sunday. Y'all should have already known. He liked segments times, getting everybody. Another two points for Scheibner. I'm um, for Ellis, excuse me. Next up on the broadcast will be Devin Harbaugh against Jacob Gore for the B bracket finals. And for those of you interested, if Ellis does not win and if Harbaugh does not win, neither one of us take an ice bath. Yep. Wouldn't it be fitting if they had to play each other in the first <laughs> round, man? I was thinking finals. Like, that would dude, be freaking. If we could lie <laughs> back, dude, I'd, I'd be so way. nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so nervous the entire time. They both got to finish their brackets, though. They both got to finish their brackets. I, I don't know if I could. I mean, I, I had Matt Guy and Baby Goat. That's the one that I really, really wanted to see in Virginia Beach. And yep. that finals did not disappoint. It, it's my all time favorite match. And if we can get Ellis and Harbaugh have the same vibes here that I had for that one. Like, you, you watch it the entire way, through the entire bracket. There's eight brackets. There were eight brackets there. Yep. And it's possible that they could line up on opposite sides. And you, it's it's going to be a tough chance because you got to 
see what the seating would look like, see if they'll be on opposite sides of the bracket. Not to mention the field is stacked. Yep. Also, yeah. don't count out Jake Gore to come back and double dip Devin Harbaugh either. Yeah. And then you got, uh, <laughs> I mean, Ryan Trader, because there's storylines everywhere. Ryan Trader trying to go for his third yeah. singles open title. Chance to break records with five opens left to go. That took a weird left turn, like 90 degrees almost. Should be going push, beautifully done. That's where that tilt comes into play. Should be going to get a first toss now. If they both play in the finals, y'all both take the ice bath together. Yeah. How about new? No? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> that literally is zoned out right now, thinking about how much it's going to suck. <laughs> oh, man. I could do it. I'm just going to have to, like, channel my inner sumo wrestler and send my mind somewhere else. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. First back side rail. And then Jeremiah lets him off the hook. Now that bag's going to come back. Maybe not. Oh, man, that would be interesting, too. Jeremiah and Devin both throw in the same color bags. Yeah, but they're different accents. These are the the MLB series. These are the Arizona Dude, bags. I do not want to see <laughs> red on red Viper R's uh, trying to determine a championship match. Ellis is all decked out in red. I say he gets the red. Harbaugh can, Harbaugh can switch. Another season of Harbaugh, bag gate, not allowed to throw on broadcast courts. Oh, my God. That's what I was thinking, too. I mean, the good news is he's already got it figured out this year. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if Ultra makes miscolored bottoms for their bags. I haven't seen any. It looks like it's dripping back in a little bit. Should fall after a couple more bags. There it goes. Ramp around. Anybody ever call you Maurice? Mm hmm. Derek Holland in the lead 10 to 9 over Ethan Walker over on court 69. Chris Ooh. Kingsbury, he got a piece of it, doesn't get it to fall. He got gored. Kingsbury up 6 to 2 over Fisher Hamilton. Jordan Power down 6-5 to five to Jordan Power. I believe that's game two with Power and Hicks, right? You said Jordan Power down 6-5 to five to Jordan Power. Yeah. He's losing the mental battle against himself. <laughs> Tyler Poitras up 16 to nothing over Jace Fleischer. Nice collect. Social. Hey, Ellis. Cheering up Scheibner. PPR check. Jeremiah Ellis only 10 7 3. Schabner a 9 5 5. I'm just going to start saying Shibby. Schabner sounds so weird. <laughs> That's why I, I go back and forth. If you notice, I call him Schabner, then Shibner sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I just go back and forth. He says he doesn't correct anybody. He knows. I know. I, I was so disappointed the first time I heard that his last name is pronounced Schabner and not Shibner. Right. Shibner <laughs> just makes so much more sense. My name is actually pronounced Case Lear. <laughs> The, the, it's a hard E at the end. Yeah. Got a oom loud above, <laughs> <laughs> above the E. Jake Renone. Hey, what's my name? <laughs> <laughs> Carson drops the foe. Oh, man. <laughs> Almost made him his <laughs> too. <laughs> God, I love it. There was a noise in the background yeah, in Jeremiah's Carson, backswing. Carson dropped his phone. <laughs> 
Uh, Connor says, Wally, will when you bring back the best shots during the breaks? Uh, oh, you're talking about that? I think they did that just because of bracket. You guys did that little stall because of bracket assignments, right? Huh? You like played replays and stuff after the matches. I mean, yeah. there's things that we could do like that. Corey is usually the one who has all these different tricks that he can do. So whenever Corey is yep. the director or producer, he can pull some strings. Who knows, man? Might break it out during the pro season. Coming up very soon. Keep an eye on it. Definitely appreciate that feedback that you like it, though. Whose bag is it off to the left? Is that Chevy? Yep. This bag's got to be in. We're going to game two. Let's oh go to game two. Oh, no. Let's go to game two, shall we? Zeros on the scoreboard. Here we go. A little shibby belly. Again, if you're just tuning in, man, some exciting action today. Single Sunday, the final day of the broadcast this weekend. Ryan Trader takes down your A bracket. Devin Harbaugh and Jake Gore will battle it out next here for the B bracket on the live streams. Brandon Patterson up 6 to nothing over Justin Burton Jr. in the C bracket finals. Game number two starting here for D bracket. E bracket, Ethan Walker and Derek Holland tied 12 to 12. Chris Kingsbury in the lead, 8 to 2 over Fisher Hamilton for F bracket. G bracket, Jordan Power takes the lead, 9 to 8 over Alex Hicks. And then Travis Purser waiting for his opponent. Right now, Tyler Poitras in the lead, 20 to nothing over Jason Fleischer. See if Scheibner does anything to go after this bag. He is, cannot grab it. Doesn't get enough of it, had a little piece. No love on the red zone. I am more nervous than I thought I'd be for this match because I do not want that ice pass so bad. I'm not nervous at all. I feel like we should only go to two. <laughs> Two nothing. Good enough. Call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed the awkward knuckles replays. 100%. Yeah. It's really hard to get awkward knuckles from these different camera angles, but I will take the camera quality and the, the better storytelling over the awkward knuckles replays. We still get a few, but man, we had a lot of them with that straight on camera. Yeah. It was easier to hold that angle. Whenever you, on this angle, they take two steps, they're out of the picture. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Hopped over the hole. And one. Stop it. We just go in. Andrew checking in. So, have been watching as Devin in today's singles. Yes, he'll be next on the live feeds. He will take on Jake Gore. Devin is sitting in the king seat. Oh, shibby off the back. Struggling with the speeds on this board. You can hear him saying, slow then fast, slow then fast. Jeremiah wanted that one in, but I like this position a lot better, you know, taking away that collect, making Shibby cut around it. He doesn't get it. 10 to 5. And that round's going to make it 7 to nothing start for Jeremiah Ellis. Haven't been watching his Devin in today's single. Oh, you bet he is. He will be coming up next. He is in the king seat. Going to try to double. Uh, Going to try to avoid the double dip from Jake Gore. <laughs> That's like six or seven times. You haven't paid attention to me. Did you say it already? Literally two seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, killing me. Look, the only, uh, the only thing I'm worried about, because uh, uh, I keep thinking, do you prefer uh, cubed or crushed? 
know which one's worse, really. <laughs> I think there's going to be a certain point where you don't feel it. Like your body would just go numb, right? Yep. Uh, T-Port is in H bracket. He's up right now 20 to 2 over Jace whenever that one gets Travis Purser. I think Chris Saxer smells two ice cream cones. Do the players know about the wager? I don't know. Do they? I don't think so. You told you, said you talked to Devin about it. Not about the wager. Oh, you did. I'm talking about. Um, I did, I mean, I just asked if he was feeling good. I never went into detail as to why. I, about, I thought you. Oh, I thought you said you asked him. Should I pick you first against Wally or something? I don't remember. I don't think I did. Well, I, did, I said, should I pick you today? And the, that, that was it. I didn't. I didn't explain why yeah. I should be picking him. Yeah, I don't think they. I don't think they know about the wager either. It's funny because it is both of our first picks. Our number two, our second round picks are both eliminated, so it is our original first choices, which is nice. Yeah, makes us seem like we know what we're talking about. Somebody wants a PPR check before the seventh round PPR, uh, tenth round PPR check. How dare you? Are you crazy? To be patient. Grip in. See if Shibby can collect this. Oh, I'm gonna get a rake here. I thought he started walking down. I was like, no, 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 no. The round's not over yet. Saw this earlier today, kind of taking you out of your rhythm. Difference here is he has to collect to avoid giving up points this round. He's we went airmail. Air do it, and the same wow. thing happens. Another five spot. I would have thought a slide would have collected it. I think so too. But he's just not getting any love. Maybe getting a little frustrated. It's been all Ellis here, twelve to nothing. Wally, yo, we're up to 230. We are 20,000 likes away. Uh oh, <laughs> you mean 2030? 230,000. Oh, 230,000. Let's go. We should do something for 300,000, too. We're close to that already. I'll play shoeless. No, I won't. Never mind. The rubber <laughs> fellas would bother the hell out of me. <laughs> Immediately thought about that. Look tired. I'll tell you what, dude. If we get to 300,000 likes, we will go to the casino. I, I can't. I'm leaving after this. Without Jake. Yeah. Okay. Brandon Patterson, 20 to 1 over Justin Burton Jr. I'm not 100% sure if that's game number one or game number two. I think it's game number one. But man, double dips or at least two games everywhere, huh? Chubb McGrubb wants to know how Devin Harbaugh is doing. He's in the king seat of his bracket. He needs to be double dipped. What's up, mom? Mom's in the chat. Derek Holland and Ethan Walker, nine nothing. Derek in the lead. Dude, will every bracket go to game two? Has every bracket gone to game two? <laughs> yeah, Ryan Trader went to game two. Yep. Harbaugh and Gore up next. We'll find out. Patterson up twenty to three over Justin Burton Jr. This one's in game two. Derek Holland and Ethan Walker in game two. Kingsbury and Hamilton tied 10-10. Hicks up 18 to 11 over Jordan Power. And that then game Tyler Poitras, I think that's game two. Not 100% sure, but man, that would be interesting.
Hicks took it down, Jackson Remick says in the chat. So he can tell us that Hicks, Hicks that took it down. That is game number two. So Alex Hicks pulls off the double dip over Jordan Power and joins his pro partner in the single elimination eight-person tournament. There's Tice Cobb. Good to see you, man. So you're telling me that Jackson can tell us that Hicks took it down, but he can't tell us if he can how fast he can run a 100-yard dash. That's a good point. He never answered our question. Jackson, what's up with that? Baby Goat is back. Brandon Patterson. Did you say <laughs> Brandon Patterson was already in game two or is that still game he, he one? He was winning 20 to one, I think. It's 20 to three. Is that, is I that game one? I think that's game one. Gotcha. That's the one thing we need on this uh, bracket. This little tab tells game one or two. You know? Sub 11. That's what Jackson said. I am shocked, man. That's the, that's the, like fast people know. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, we, I asked Noah, Trzynski, myself. Like we're all trying to think like 15, sec, 20 seconds, like, all fast people are like 10.6, 10.9, 11, you know. All right. We're going to we're gonna have to schedule this, Jackson. You're going to have to get in there. And uh, we're going to make it happen, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to Cat this week and figure out what events the rest of the year are being played on turf. And we're going to figure it out. I mean, I don't care if it's turf or football. I don't care. I just want it to be a nice track that you guys can run. Either a track or a turf or something. It's better viewing if we do if we do a football field, but I don't care. I want to make it happen. Oh, PPR check time. I can't do it on here because it's game two. What's the PPR is, Wally? Give me a Munuto. Um, that's not the right one. I got to refresh. Was it 15 nothing? Really? Wow. 11.4. <laughs> For Jeremiah, 9.9 .9 for Shibby, 11 total four-baggers. Jeez. Big time airmail coming from Ellis, going up. Oh, he hits it clean. Oh, I can't get a clip out here, bro. Wow. <laughs> Gosh, I can't get a clip out here. What the heck? <laughs> Shibby just goes bored. <laughs> exciting. Exciting eight-on-eight eight wash there, Jeremiah. Let's take a look at this. Reaction. <laughs> he, he knew he hit it. <laughs> he says, I can't get a clip out here. Come he on. Got, he got gore since Anthony Ione. Double gore. <laughs> what up, Brandy? Welcome in. Look at the youth go. You ain't lying. Oh my gosh, he cannot get a break. It's going up, going to try to land on top of the pile. He rolls in on top. <laughs> hey, you want a clip, here you go. Nothing's falling. You want a clip, here you go. Bar of soap plus two, no. nothing. Hey, that's a solid clip. <laughs> Should be going slick side, hard at the pile, and again nothing falls. I think it's clogged. I think it's clogged. Nothing going, nothing falling, nothing moving. Four, four, wash. I don't know why Shibby went after that. Was it, wasn't that better for Ellis? Yeah, <laughs> two way for one. <laughs> wow. Baby, don't hurt me. Oh, no. Four nothing now. Brandon Patterson, wow, over JBJ. This is game number two. Derek Holland up 12 to 10 over Ethan Walker. Not sure if that's game number two or not. Fisher Hamilton takes the lead over Kingsbury, 13 10. What's up, Tibbs? Prediction Devin Harbaugh wins it all. Okay. Oh, I'm torn on that. Yeah, who, you, who you got, man? man Hardball, I think Hardball versus Hamilton wins me fantasy. Do you have Fisher, too? Yeah. Oh, shoot. 
but I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to risk that. I, I, dude, there's so many storylines I want to see in these final eight. Like, you know, I would love Ellis versus Trader. I would love Ellis versus Harbaugh. Harbaugh versus Hamilton. Trader versus Hicks would be cool. Trader versus Hicks would be really cool. JBJ going for another one. Pitcher Hamilton up 13-10. He's taking a timeout. I'm going to go for a walk. He gone. <laughs> he's just sitting He's sitting over next to us. Do some, do some push-ups or something? <laughs> he's going to take, take two timeouts, he says. Hey, man, when you're in game number two, you got a chance to go single elimination. You're getting stomped 15 nothing. You got to do something to switch it up a little bit. Not necessarily even for yourself, but maybe even calm Ellis down a little bit. Yeah, something. <laughs> Ellis is about to step up and throw another bag. He forgot it wasn't even his turn anymore. All right, so Shibby's timeouts do not work. That bag is off to the side. Ellis in again. Uh, no, Ken, T-Port's already playing right now. He is up 5-2 to two on court 63 against Travis Purser. Next up here on the broadcast will be Gore against Harbaugh. Trying to woo saw his way back into this one, but being down 17 to nothing, his back is against the wall. Hey, I'll take one if you do the wave. Come on. <laughs> no way. He, Jeremiah is taking a timeout the to wave. get the crowd to do a wave. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeremiah, I've seen it all. Jeremiah Ellis takes one of his four timeouts to watch the crowd do a wave. This man is good for the game. This Tell dude you. is awesome. Love I love him. him. Cannot wait to see him on the pro circuit. Expect big things from him and Ryan Hart in doubles. Expect huge things from him in singles. It's no coincidence that he's selling a whole bunch of Ellie's t-shirts. I'm telling you. Right. How I, got, I got one coming. There you go. How could I have gotten the wave on camera, Corey? I don't know. I'm not as good as you, man. Social. It's a, it's a pre, pre reg six. <laughs> oh, I got it. Do it again. <laughs> I got it. I got the back end of that wave. Do it again. <laughs> awkward knuckles to boot. That clip had it all. <laughs> I want to be a pro when I grow up. Pros want to be Jeremiah Ellis when they grow up. Is, is Jeremiah Ellis going to become the Chuck Norris of Cornhole? Oh, for sure. He wants another wave. He wants another double four-bagger for a wave. That's the new thing. We're not socials. We're the double four-bag waves. Apparently he didn't want it that bad. Misses bag number four. Chance for Shibby to get on. He, he does. <laughs> Zach Shibby <laughs> on the board. <laughs> Let's take a look at this last round. Hyped up the double four bagger, getting the crowd to do the wave. Awkward knuckles at the end of it. I mean, that had it all. Seventeen <laughs> two. So glad you're broadcasting this, mirror casting on my 70-inch TV. Let's go. That's awesome. Glad you can watch it. You on can your check out this brand itty bitty TV. His awesome new camera quality. Shout out Corey. Looks great. Mm. It's okay. 
Meh. It's a little zoomed in. <laughs> Can't even get the top of Sebastian's head. I know. We're up to 1.1 1 .1 thousand on TikTok. 1483 on YouTube. 1,000, just under 1,000 on Facebook. And I missed another wave. He said, I wanted the, or somebody in the background said, and when he said, I heard you, I wanted to. Score updates, Justin Burton Jr., 10-6 over Brandon Patterson. Ethan Walker, 20-14 now over Derek Holland. Fisher Hamilton, 13-10 over Kingsbury. Travis Purser down 15-4 to Tyler Poitras. go. Can we see it again? We got it. Where's the wave? Where is it? There's, yeah, that was a bad wave. That was a, ba that was a bad wave. If my chair scooted, I would get it going. I'm afraid to knock over the monitors just do the wave, though. <laughs> Every time you switch that cam, that's the TikTok cam. Did it really? And I get yelled at for you. Nope. It's all good. I got you. I got you. Want another PPR check real quick, Corey? I mean, uh, Wally, can you help us out? Mm, no. Because I got something more important to tell you. What? Ethan Walker takes down the E bracket over Derek Holland, 21 to 16. Nice, good for him. Oh, no. In for the win. Book it. Jeremiah, Jeremiah Ellis. Ellis getting the ice ready. How about that? PPR check was 10.89 against a 9.94 before that one. Crowd clapping it out. Jeremiah Ellis to the final eight. When we come back, let's keep this fun action going. Jake Gore against Devin Harbaugh right after this.
What is up, ACL Nation? Welcome back. Here we go. Another bracket finals. Devin Harbaugh sitting in the king seat. Skunked Jake Gore the first time they played against each other. We are ready to get at it. Nope, wrong camera of it. Trying to get there we go. TikTok, what are you guys looking at? Oh, we gotta hit that button too. All right, there we go. All cameras where they need to be. Jacob Gore again has to win two in a row. This is going to be for your B bracket championship. Jake Gore comes in as the number two seed of the tournament, the number one seed in his bracket. Frustrated with that shot. He's off the back of the board. Harbaugh stepping all the way out, going for the collect, gets it. And just like that, good collect there from Gore, but just like that, Devin Harbaugh off to a quick start already. Only going to be three, though, as bag number four misses too far to the left. Wow. What up, bud? Welcome back. Hey, thanks. Just in time. I got pulled a muscle trying to push all them buttons over there. I know, man. It's crazy, right? All right, so update for those of you that aren't aware of what's going on. First of all, Life Feeds brought to you by Bust You Up Cornhole. Discount code WVA. 15% off at bustyouupcornhole.com. Make sure you check out Beard Guys. Get yourself some beard butter. A bracket championship belongs to Ryan Trader, defeating Carson Getty. B bracket will be decided right here between these two. C bracket, Brandon Patterson, 17 to 13 right now over Justin Burton Jr. D bracket, Jeremiah Ellis pulls off the double dip against Zach Scheibner. E bracket, Ethan Walker holds off Derek Holland. F bracket, Fisher Hamilton in the lead, 17 to 12 over Chris Kingsbury. G bracket, Alex Hicks double dips Jordan Power. And then H bracket, they are going to game number two, Tyler Poitras in the lead, 2-0 over Travis Purser. Also, every bracket game has gone to a game two. With the exception of this one, I believe. Yep. Brandon Patterson, man, four points away from double dipping JBJ. 17 to 16 there. Gore off to the side a little bit. I've seen him collect that bag before. Harbaugh too far to the left. Or can go in to get on the board, and he does. There he is. A couple fist pumps of excitement to get himself going. Five to two. The first points he scored on Devin Harbaugh. <laughs> two players already in the final eight have won an open singles title this year. Ethan Walker and Ryan Trader. Ryan Trader has two of them. Angel Camarena coming back over here to get his chicken strips and fries. What are you doing? You just leave your you trash doing? here. What are you doing? I'm not leaving it here. I came back for it. An hour later. <laughs> it's got to be cold by now. Harbaugh stepping out here. Wants to go in clean without helping Jacob at all. Instead, he does the exact opposite. Takes in Jake's bag with him. Harbaugh in to increase the lead to five, and he does. Kind of just waiting for this one to drop. Last time, Harbaugh skunked him. Played against each other. Again, Jake Gore throwing nothing but 11s all the way up to that point. And then uh, a little bit of a stinker in that match. Jacob Gore threw a 9.5. <laughs> That's the bad game. Yeah, right. Against Devin Harbaugh's 11.13. Still took 16 rounds to finish it off. But then Jacob Gore right back to a 10.89 against Stephen Bernasette. Finished him off in 18 rounds, 23 to 6 to get back to this point. Now he's got to do it two times in a row. Got that corner, but the bag kind of spun around on him. There it is again, help from Harbaugh. Harbaugh doesn't mind doing that. He's perfectly fine taking everything in the hole with a 12-on-12 12 12 wash. 
He has played some long games, and he is not afraid to play some long ones again. Sean says, let's go over 250,000 likes. Is this true? Is that real life? Uh-oh. Are we playing? It sure is, 252. Oh, man. Let me get my bags warmed up. I think we should play uh, mutual bags, though. I'm not throwing your SIVA bags. Whatever. I'm just saying we get two get the exact same. Why? Corn bags. If you find us two set of corn bags, I'll throw corn bags. Lexi, small front in the chat. Hey, Lexi. Oh, almost got the collect. Make it nine to Devin. Uh oh, Wally, did you block Heather on Facebook? Huh? Heather who? Heather Pierce. I don't even know how to block anybody. I block people on TikTok. That's the only thing I can do. Ain't nobody got time for that. Justin Burton Jr. retakes the lead 19 to 17. Gore trying to sneak around. Gets wow, just enough does. of it without taking Harbaugh's bag. Looked like it was going to go for a second. Stop. Fisher Hamilton 20 to 12 over Kingsbury right now. Out of play. There's no way Harbaugh can get it. Never seen him grab a bag like that before. Oh. Wait, I'm rooting against him. I can't remember anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to bait him into shooting it, but I can't remember if I'm rooting for or against Harbaugh this game. Gore in with a 10, looking like he's going to pick up at least two more. I wrote the hard turn. It'll be. Gets it. Nicely done. Make it 9 6 now. Justin Burton Jr. able to hold off Brandon Patterson. What a battle today between those guys. I believe it took three games for JBJ to finally hold it down. So JBJ owns the C bracket. Justin Burton Jr. came out of the C bracket as the 24 seed. So we'll see where that kind of shakes things up a little bit as far as seeding goes. So here's our bracket winners so far. A bracket, Ryan Trader. C bracket, Justin Burton Jr. D bracket, Jeremiah Ellis. E bracket, Ethan Walker, G bracket, Alex Hicks. Three brackets still to be decided. This is game one here. Sheesh. Harbaugh in the lead, 10 rounds in, 9 to 6. We'll do a PPR check brought to you by Beard Guys right after this round. Check them out and get your beard butter. Good bully from Jake. Makes this push. From Harbaugh, more difficult, but not for him. He could still step out and get it, no harm. No matter where you put that bag, I think it's still in play for Harbaugh. Oh, yeah. Gore off to the side. Harbaugh in. Awkward, Awkward knuckles. knuckles. I don't even know where to go with this. There's just so much happening. with Awkward knuckles and collects. There's the collect. And there's the awkward knuckle. Here's our PPR check. Devin Harbaugh rocking a 
through 10 rounds. Six four baggers, Jake Gorey, 10-3. John, yeah, 250,000 likes was the goal. Fisher Hamilton takes down Chris Kingsbury. Fisher Hamilton is your F bracket champion. Man, so you got what, two bracket finalists in your fantasy, don't you? I'm feeling good about that. Who's your other one? Uh, Nico was mine. He did decent. Um, and then Caleb Batson. Caleb Bass was my early exit. And then and then you have Jeremiah? Or no, I have Harbaugh. That's right, you have Harbaugh. Shoot. Yeah, I got Harbaugh and Hamilton. And then I have I have Trader, who won his bracket. Jack Gore finished third. Alex Rawls finished fifth. And uh, Almanza finished ninth. So I'm not looking too great unless Trader pulls off the win. A couple people I'll be rooting for. If, uh, if Harbaugh wins, I'll be rooting for Harbaugh. Trader wins. I mean, trade will be rooting for Trader. And the only person I'm not rooting for is Jeremiah Ellis. <laughs> Dang. Do my guy like that? Oh, I'll take it out. I love that pick from Sam. He's watching Cornhole on the big and little monitors as more orders continue to flow in for Bust You Up Cornhole. Love to hear that. Again, discount code WVA for 15% off. 15 to 6 here. Harbaugh trying to take it down. And be the only bracket to avoid game two. Might need to see if we could, if this one ends in game one, might have to see if we can find court 63, Travis Purser taking on Tyler Poitras. And zoom into that court maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like it. Where, Where is it? I don't know. That's why I said I got to find it. Something happening over there. Harbaugh takes a timeout. He not happy with the way this round's playing off. Just mentally frustrated is Devin Harbaugh taking an extra second. Up 15 to 6, however, still in good shape. A little scoring discrepancy or something over there. I don't know. Gentlemen's something, something's crazy. Gentlemen's going on. arguments got Gore distracted a little bit. I think they're probably arguing about who's going to win between me and you, is what it sounds like. Probably. Hey, Jake's going to win. No, Wall is going to no, win. <laughs> Gore goes in for four. And that's what it'll be, 15 to 10. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's only four points, but that looks like an entirely different game, 15-10, 15-6. Just seeing double digits, got to give Gore a little bit of relief here. We standing? We want to stand the rest of the game? I mean, I'm hurting, but I also want to see what's going on. I tried snapping to you to get on camera, but you didn't listen. Again. Oh, my bad. All good. Looks like they got it <laughs> diffused anyway. Chris and Mike over there handling things. Social. Oh, nope. Social. There you go. Cheers. I got a little bit left. I got some. Cheers, buddy. Tap. Tap. Dap. Sip. I mean, look, I, I got to be honest with you. You cannot sit here and tell me that this is better than Gatorade. 100%. You can't, can. man. You cannot. I think they both have their own thing, man. Like, it just all depends. They're, it's, they're the same thing. It's just a lesser it's lesser Gatorade. Corey, put a poll on the YouTube. Gatorade or Powerade right now? This one has more electrolytes, though. If anyone 50 says. 50% more. If anyone says Prime, they're getting blocked. Prime is pretty bad. It's, I mean. It's like very sweet. It's too sweet. That's what <laughs> I said. Yeah, it's got good flavor, but it's too sweet. When I'm craving an energy drink, I don't want sweet. Another double four bagger. Double four bagger. Meow 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 meow. I'm 
We also need Corey to get that button. A score update on court 63, 9-7. Tyler Poitras in the lead. Bag off to that right side. That's probably out of play. Barring a great collect. Oh, he's going after it. It is. There's a little corner hanging. Slick side down. Oh, no. Too far to the right. And now the problem for Jake is he can't afford another miss. This bag has to be. He's going up. Oh, and he drags it. Good bag from Jake to stay in it. Can you imagine if he would have gotten Gord there to give up six? That dude? was gutsy. That would have <laughs> been bad. That's what separates the thems for the us's, though. Yep, there's a reason why they're in front of us and we're behind a desk with a headset on pressing buttons. Okay, there it is. Man, I finally, I was staring and looking around for this court. It's right there. Where? So second row, right in front of all that commotion. Course, oh, I see. Court it. 63. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So still 9-8 nine, nine, now. Purser gets a couple points there. Getting some good runs, though, from these Bust You Up players. Nico had a phenomenal run yesterday in doubles. Travis Purser having a great run here in singles. There's a look at the game right there. Tyler Poitras, Travis Purser. A couple people around there watching as well. Can we do another PPR check? Gosh. Yeah, after this round we will. Uh-oh, maybe not if the game's over. Hardball, right, back look, block. Yeah, looking to play the replace game. That one kind of stays up on the edge. Perfect for Jake. That's exactly what Harbaugh wants, though. If he can cut around this, it's pretty much over, in my opinion. Oh, he's going up. Landed on the pile. Knocks it in. Off the back. Gore could end up stealing a point out of this one now. Up top for the airmail. Bang! Gets the drag. Plus three. Big hit there from Jake Gore. Love that he's not afraid to shoot him right now. Harbaugh was throwing a 10-9-4 before that round. Now a 10-7-2 to a 10-5. Four-point game. This is game one. Jake wins. We do it again. And that would mean every bracket would have gone to game two. Oh, that's going to be two more. 12 10, 17 15. Don't call it a comeback. I'm not. Get the ice bath ready. Stop. Oh, man. I, I get what you're saying about being a little nervous. I'm getting a little nervous <laughs> now. Yeah, I was nervous with Harbaugh sitting in the king seat and Ellis having to battle back. But then once he took down game one, I was feeling pretty good. Can't even tell you the amount of money I had to pay Shibby to get double dipped. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Good bully from Harbaugh. Jake stays skinny, kicks uh -oh. right. Could put Harbaugh on 19 if he finishes. This one's got to be in. It is. Play at least one more round. And we will. 19-17. Harbaugh gets first bag back. It would only be poetic. Devin Harbaugh, Jeremiah Ellis, overall singles final in Tridelphia. Got a long way to go for that, though, Wally. Long Again, way to go. So many storylines to keep an eye on. Good back block from Harbaugh. Here we go. Roll time. Jake sits on top of his other bag. That's not terrible at all. 
Harbaugh, may, you have an angle for a little mini bar of soap. If you can kick that out, he's not going to try it. Harbaugh going to go roll of his own, sits on top of the pile. What is Gore? Wait, Gore's going to go six side bar of soap. He's going big time bar of soap. Knocks him. To work. Oh, yes. He's hanging on the side. I don't know. I'm not sure if that bag is going to stay on or not. You know, oh, it's not. There it goes. A nice and one from Devin Harbaugh to wash out the round on nines. You know, let's take a look at this again. I kind of have to watch it back just to kind of see what happened. Hard into the pile. Gets two for one. Stays on the side at least for a second. Then Harbaugh's bag goes flying off the back. Grab the flag. Call that explosion. Travis Purser in the lead, 15 to nine over Tyler Poitras. Oh, Harbaugh gives it up. That bag drips in. Gore looking to get on 17 and he does. Gore's first shot here is right on the edge of the red zone, round number 23. Do we have any updates on that poll for Gatorade versus Powerade? And my laptop died, so I can't really access anything anymore. Mm, that's unfortunate. I'll do another peeper check because you guys are asking for it. Harbaugh, a 10 6 4. Gore, a 10 5 5. Job bringing that bag in. Gore finishes it off for him. One bag left now for Gore. Man, these guys have had some great battles. Other than that last little stinker, taking all the way back to the broadcast. Double four bagger for another 12 on 12. PPR is going up. Is that for us? The jerky man. Okay. No, oh, he gave me the quiet thing. Shh. That's good, though. With a little uh, ASMR in the final eight, huh? Yep. Harbaugh to the right. Dwar gets a rounded great bag. Looking at a possible tie ball game here. You can tell if he's excited or upset about that shot. <laughs> he's giving us both reactions. Harbaugh goes in. Can Gore sneak around again? Ooh, I wonder if Harbaugh goes after it. Bring it, a little, bring it a little closer. Put a little angle on it. He's got slick side down. He's going for it. He's going after it. Ah, kind of pushes it out of the way. Such risk. He's got a game to play around <gasps> with. Oh, oh, Gore brings no. it back, and Harbaugh calls a timeout. Now we got ourselves an airmail for the win from Harbaugh as Gore is unable to collect that bag on the side. There's no Jackson way you can Jackson Gore, what? Justin Dermody, Hunter Thorne, all standing up. We all know what he's thinking. There's no way you can <coughs> airmail that without taking There's a way. Jake's bag, right? There's a way. Well, he's got the bag in hand. Gore has the headphones <laughs> off. What is he going to do? If you knock him in and go off, you lose. Bag is he's going, going cut, in. and he just goes in for the 10. He went with the cut attempt at it instead of the airmail. I'm kind of shocked, but might I mean, have been the right call. Definitely the safer call. I like the cut more than an airmail. I don't think if I've you ever miss, seen Devin play safe, though. I know, but if you <coughs> miss left, knock Jake in, and don't go in, you lose the game. Yeah, but the bag right before that, he went slick side cut, I hard know. as can be. <laughs> I, with a, I think, in my opinion, the thought process is, do I have another game to play anyway? Yeah. So why not go for it? Four 
for Bagger, for Gore. And we didn't like it out of his hand. It's off, and we are all tied at 19. Now this is only game one. If Jake scores two more points, we are doing it again. Wally's cornhole strats are wild, says Tommy Slyker. Who this? What are you talking about shooting it? I didn't know Tommy was scared. Tommy scared. Oh, there it is. First bag off to the right. That's out of play. You cannot get that. A four bagger for Devin Harbaugh is going to win him this bracket. First bag is in. Jake's going to have to get a block down eventually. You don't want to let Harbaugh run four straight bags on an empty board. Oh, he gives it back. He gives it back. And but so does Jake. He gives it back again. Nobody wants to win it. Harbaugh wants to win it. He's got one bag left for the couple points. Jake's got to pull something off here. Slick side down Ooh, underneath. Oh, he almost did. And On now. the board for the win. Bag is away. Bag lands safely. That'll do it. Devin Harbaugh avoids game number two. Jake Gore took him to the limit. We have seven out of our eight wow. finalists. We're going to take a break, chat. See what happens with that Travis Purse or Tyler Poitras match. Then get brackets set up. Storylines galore. What will happen when we come back? Try to see West Virginia.
All right, y'all, welcome back in. Sorry for the delay. As we continue coverage, we are getting ready to start the final eight singles brackets. Before it starts, let's run through who the final eight will be. It will be Ryan Trader, Alex Hicks, Tyler Poitras, Ethan Walker, Jeremiah Ellis, Devin Harbaugh, Fisher Hamilton, and Justin Burton Jr. Those are the final eight players vying for an open singles title here in Triadelphia, West Virginia. I believe they are remaking the bracket right now. And what's, once we get things started, we will be good, excuse me, good to go. I'm checking the ACL Fan Zone app right now. You can check it out, download it. You can check to see the bracket yourself. When the bracket gets made, we will be bringing you a match. Tyler Poitras double dips Travis Purser in the final bracket. That's what we were waiting on now that it's over. We'll get the bracket started. Going to take another quick commercial break. When we come back, we will have our first quarterfinal matchup here in the final eight. Do not go away.
ACL Nation, cornhole fans everywhere, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, Ellies and Fellies and Ethan Walker fans alike. Welcome back to court number one, brought to you by Bust You Up Cornhole and Beard Guys. BustYouUpCornhole.com, code WVA for 15% off. I don't know what match I want to see, so we're just going to stay here with the Ellies because there are so many good ones everywhere. Ryan Trader heading to court 69 to take on Justin Burton Jr. Tyler Poitras going to court 67 to take on Devin Harbaugh. Alex Hicks to court 65 to take on Fisher Hamilton. If I know Alex's mom, she's going live for that one. Carson's going live on K9 unit subscribers for the Ryan Trader match. Don't know if anyone's going live for the Harbaugh versus Purser match, but we're going to stay here with Ethan Walker and Jeremiah Ellis. Jake, you noticed something interesting about this final eight bracket. Why don't you tell the peoples? Yeah, for those of you who are not aware, before the day started, Wally and I decided to take a bet on who would win open singles. Whoever lost would have to take an ice bath at the first pro event in Palm Beach. I took Devin Harbaugh. Wally took Jeremiah Ellis. Both players won their bracket. And both players are lined up on the opposite side of the final eight bracket, so there is a legitimate possibility that the overall finals will be Devin Harbaugh versus Jeremiah Ellis. Loser hey, gets an ice bath. Come yeah, on. you're real good. Come on, Tyler Poitras. Yeah, all the storylines all over the place. I mean, you could have Ryan Trader play in the finals against Alex Hicks. That'd be pretty cool. If uh, Ryan Trader and Jeremiah win this one, I got two of my top squad players going against each other. Ethan Walker looking to get his second title on the season. JBJ the same. Fisher Hamilton looking for another title in his young career. Tyler Poitras trying to put himself back on the map. Nice air mail to start things off. 10-10 wash. Let's break down the final eight bracket based on bag manufacture. Bring back a uh, TikTok real quick. Oh, yeah. Sorry, right, TikTok. Based on bag manufacture, we got Fly, BG, Cornhole Scenario Ultra, Titan, Ultra, BG, BG. So you have three BGs, two Ultra, and then one Titan. That's another storyline we could have, Titan versus BG in the final. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> After yesterday's that post. That would be good. <laughs> Heather says Ethan has grown and matured so much. See what Ellis does here. We like a cutter and airmail. He's going cut beautifully. Ethan Walker pushes through. Jeremiah can slide in, take that bag for points and the lead. Stepping out, staying sticky side down, hitting the angle, getting the corner nicely done. Now they're fighting over who's going to put the score in. <laughs> Ethan Walker rocking that new cornhole scenario <laughs> tattoo on the back of his leg. Somebody asked the chat if that was real. It is It is not. Could you imagine? Oh, man. Score updates. Ryan Trader off to a 6 nothing start against Justin Burton, Jr. Everything else sitting at zeros. Sitting on the edge of the red zone. Ethan can collect for two, maybe no oh, more, throw it off, gives give up, up three. three. And Jeremiah immediately <laughs> looks at the line and says, keep that foot planted. The mind games have begun. Man, we need player mics. We need player mics at the first pro event. Well, uh, Corey's got those wireless mics. We can I got my own. I got happen. my own too, so I can bring mine, and we can. You can one hundred percent make, make it. Happen. Yeah. Just Ethan, it just needs to happen. Ethan Walker going for his second open singles title of this season. Obviously, Jeremiah still looking for that elusive first. Ethan to get two. Got it. <laughs> he said it's got as many as Shibby. That's funny. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, dude, I, I made it. I've officially made it in the cornhole world. AJ Sims just sent me a friend request on Facebook. No way. Wow. You must be like me. Gotta gotta delete somebody before I can add anybody else. It does else. say he has 4.9 thousand friends here yeah, now. <laughs> yeah. I get friend requests all the time. I was like, I just talked to you like 10 minutes ago. I was like, yeah, dude, I gotta wait for somebody's birthday so I could find out who I even talk to anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scrolling through 5,000 names. So yeah, well, that's the, after um, the the Mesa Open, I think I probably got. It was the Mesa Open and the Big Ass Podcast, mm-hmm. I probably got about 70, 75 friend requests. There you go, making it, man. But I just, like I have a th- I have a thing where I, I don't accept friend requests if I don't if I have never had a personal conversation with you. Oh uh, no, so me. There's a lot of people yeah. I don't know. Yeah, me owning the company and having to sell merch. Anyone that has That's a fair. cornhole board in a picture, I accept it. And That's fair. First come, first serve, man. I'm too popular. What can I say? Ryan Price, one of them. He said, "I appreciate you making space for me. It only cost me a set of Yeezys." <laughs> hey, man, I appreciate it. The thing is, man, I don't want to dirty the Yeezys, so I'd never wear them. <laughs> Ellis Bangs and Airmail says, welcome to the show. Uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> Ethan making Jeremiah back off. He says, he says, if you don't shoot it, I'm dragging that. I could listen to these two talk all day. Ethan will chirp right uh, back with you. Your, your job, Ethan. It's your job. So you can get the clip. You can get get the, the, clip. clip. the banana. Oh, oh, he gets oh, he almost go. did. The other oh, oh, oh. Come on, Ethan. oh, wow. Come on, <laughs> Let's take a look at that again as he almost got the banana. This is what I'm talking about. Hits it. Woo. Facial expression stops a little short. <laughs> Jeremiah says, man, came real, real Woo. close to getting the fall. Nothing goes. Love it. Dude, what'd you do to my camera? My camera's not switching now. Oh, you're, you got the thing. Uh, you got to go into VMix and drag it. It's like half and half. I got it. There you go. Ryan Trader, 10 to nothing start over Justin Burton, Jr. Hicks and Fisher Hamilton underway, 10-10 wash. No scores there yet either. Man, if you're in the Facebook and YouTube chat and you're not liking and sharing the stream, what are you doing? This is one of the most exciting <laughs> games we've seen so far today. Absolutely loving what they're saying to each other. One off to the side a little bit. Not sure if he wants to go after good replacement. Sitting on the edge. Ellis drives through, frees it up. Begging Ellis to go after. He does not. Goes in for the 10. Walker in for two. He gets it. They are chirping, and I love it. Ethan wants him to shoot that. I'm shooting that every time, too, all day. That's fine. You would have missed. I know I'm going to miss. I know I'm going to miss. I already know. Any Titan players left? Yeah, Tyler uh, Poitras still left alive. He's taking on Devin Harbaugh on court 67. He says, I know I'm going to miss. I just need you to miss more than I'm going to miss. Let's see Ellis and Ellis team up. I actually believe Jaden Ellis and Jeremiah are teaming up for Detroit. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to be a fun one. Tell you what I'm trying to work. I've been talking to the guys about making it happen. A little Ryan Trader versus Jay, Jeremiah Ellis partnership is in the works as well. Honestly, I think we should just stop commentating and just listen to them the entire time. Let them do it. All right. Let's get it. <laughs> This is awesome. This is just this is the level of Jordan Power and Jeremiah Ellis in a Hamilton. Get up. We'll see if Ethan puts his money where his mouth is about shooting that all day long. <laughs> Coming up. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Woo! The board mics drop as far as they can go. <laughs> he says, what do you mean? 
Ethan goes up top. He says, I'm going to shoot that. And Jeremiah says, I got you. Hits it right back. Big hits. Way to entertain the crowd, boys. Oh, wow. How does that fall back in? Ethan Voigt topping out Jeremiah there. Jeremiah does it all by himself. Nice collect. In for a couple, 11 to 6. Yes. Put it on the board. Yes. Plus two. All right, score update. Devin Harbaugh in the lead, two to nothing. Ryan Trader up 11 to 2. And Fisher Hamilton up 10 to 2 over Alex Hicks. Big time drag. He wants that in a clip. He wants that in a clip, Wally. I was texting. I was busy texting. What happened? Take a look at this. Big time three bag airmail drag. Making him clap. It looks immediately at me once that clip. <laughs> 11-6 lead for Jeremiah Ellis. What's uh, what's going on in the other games there, Wally? 11-2 uh, still. Ryan Trader in the lead over Justin Burton Jr. Tyler Poitras takes the lead over Devin Harbaugh, 3-2. Uh -oh. And Fisher Hamilton up 10-4 over Alex Hicks. We will get the final three matches on the live broadcast court here. Brought to you by Bust You Up. So the winner of this match will take on the winner of Ryan Trader and Justin Burton Jr., and then the winners of Tyler Poitras and Devin Harbaugh, Alex Six and Fisher Hamilton will collide. Still a good amount of people here staying. I feel like if Jeremiah stays in it, they're oh, going to yeah. stay too. Well, you said you wanted to see Jeremiah Ellis win and have a big crowd reaction. I, I, I want to do it in Detroit. <laughs> it's going to happen now. I'm Let's not go. Get, I'm not getting an ice bath while I'm not I mean, Jeremiah's it. fired up, man. I know, man. Oh, we missed that one. This could be big points for Jeremiah. He wanted to collect there. Doesn't get it on bag number three. Will it happen on bag four? Devin. Gets the corner. <laughs> Can Ethan sneak in around it? He does no. not. Ellis is getting fired up. Ethan Walker not chirping so much anymore. Yeah, he's gotten real quiet these past few rounds. 17 to 6. Jeremiah Ellis, along with Trey Birchfield, solely putting the state of Ohio on their back, trying to make it an Ohio sweep here in West Virginia. Bang, he's cooking right now. Another roll for Ethan. Side by side for Jeremiah. Roll for Ethan. Push for Jeremiah. Can he roll in without it? He, Ooh, he does not, a good job pushing it in, though. It does though. tap in. That works just as good. Hey, flag. <laughs> I fussed out, guys. I fussed out. <laughs> I love it. Let's take a look at this drag here from Jeremiah. I think another thing that we need besides player mics is we need some heartbeat sensors. I want to see Jeremiah's elevations go right. up when he gets fired up. <laughs> oh, here's an opportunity for Ethan to score. Got to lay behind. Here we go. Ethan going to roll, beautifully done. Washing out the round, airmail off the back. What do you do if you're Ethan, though? I like this. Try to Short rodeo. He oh, he gets them all! Gets them all what go. a bag! Ethan Here we Walker go again. Come on, Jeremiah Come on, baby. Ellis. He's seen that before with Mark Richards. Let's take a look at this again. The only thing better than a plus six from Mark Richards is a plus seven from wow. Ethan Walker. 
17-13. This game is turned. Score updates, Fisher Hamilton 14, Alex Hicks 10, Tyler Poitras 8, Devin Harbaugh 2, Ryan Trader 13, Justin Burton Jr. 6. Uh-oh. Ethan's in trouble. This is a slide shot for the win. This is for the win. Jeremiah yeah, Ellis books it. Big shot. He's able to get it. Let's go. Awkward knuckles all the way down. What a battle. What an entertaining show, Chet. Wow. If you like that stuff, man, hit the thumbs up. Let them know that you're enjoying the content. Jeremiah Ellis, two wins away from having a cool, cool story to tell his family <laughs> when he returns to Ohio. We'll take a we'll break. See. When we come back, more entertainment from Tridelphia, West Virginia, right after this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Trader finishing off Justin Burton Jr. 21 to 6. So I'm guaranteed at least one of my guys in the finals. Jeremiah Ellis will take out Ryan Trader. Tyler Poitras in the lead over Devin Harbaugh 10 to 7. Alex Hicks in the lead. I'm sorry, never mind. Fisher Hamilton in the lead 14 to 10 over Alex Hicks. So what we're going to do, chat, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, Ryan Trader versus Jeremiah Ellis right after this. Woo, woo, let's go.
Oh, man, chat. Whew. Proud papa moment here. Two of my big dogs getting ready to eat. One of them has a little bit louder bark than the other. But they both have a good bite to their bags and their cuts. It's going to be rough for me to determine who I want to win because they're both my dogs. Okay, oh, we, we get it. it. Are we done? Okay. okay. We get it. We All get right. it, man. We get it. All right, let's get some updates, though. Fisher Hamilton, 14-10 to 10 over Alex Hicks right now on court 65. Devin Harbaugh comes back and takes the lead 17-12 to 12 over Tyler Poitras. We're going down and back a couple times. They spun for sides. Ellis ends up on the same side he was on. Trader takes that side over there. Interesting to see how this one plays out. We will get all three matchups. We'll bring back the TikTok cam right about meow. Red Nate in the chat says, let's go, Jeremiah Ellis, get hot boy. How many we got on TikTok watching? 398 on TikTok. Bit. Numbers are going down a little bit, Wally. I almost feel like I should end it and start over. But we got a we got a good like thing going on. I want to keep that little oh, keep that Oh, man. All right. I, th I think I'm just going to have to sit back and enjoy the show, man. We're not going to get as much trash talking as we I know. had last month. Ryan will chirp a little bit with you. Airmail off the back of the board. Was that Dang live? It. That is live. We are underway in a big way. 5 nothing start for Jeremiah. This is double implications for us, Wally, because you got Jeremiah in the bet. I, also, I have Ryan Trader in my fantasy lineup for this oh. weekend. So I really, I really need Ryan Trader to win this game. What's going on in the other matches? I can't see that how far. 14-12 uh, now. Hicks scored a couple points. Tyler Poitras is coming back. 17-15. to Harbaugh still in the lead. Oh, God. Nice. Four bagger for Jeremiah and a four bagger for Ryan that just got up the board. Social. How much you want to bet Angel Camarena doesn't come back for these chicken nuggets? Uh, I, and, and we have to end up throwing away. No shot he's coming back. Now there's a certain point where this starts getting fun, and then there's another part where it starts getting serious. There's going to be a point where Jeremiah Ellis is going to start thinking about being able to finish. Same thing with Devin Harbaugh on the other side. Fisher Hamilton has a title. Ryan Trader has a title. Devin Harbaugh, Tyler Poitras, they all have titles. Can Jeremiah finish? One off to the side there, a couple points for Trader. Let's go, Ryan. 5-2. I guess now's a good, as good a time as any as we were waiting for one of the semifinal matches to finish. I, I had a chance to throw a couple bags against Jeremiah Ellis, and I outscored him. He threw an 8, I threw a 10. So, um, you know, just goes to show that I am better than Jeremiah Ellis. Mm. Where's my sponsorship, Wally? I got you. I'll give you a power 8. And a bottle of syrup. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Social. I can't remember in Ohio if Trader played Ellis in the final eight. Or was it Candler? No, Bag? he played Hayden Gonzalez. Landon Bass. What? Or Jaden Ellis? Who played? He played. No, no. no Hayden Gonzalez eight. was his Myrtle Beach. Um. Yeah, Hayden Gonzalez got him in Myrtle Beach. It was. It was either. Hay it was either Landon Bass or Ryan Trader. It wasn't Landon. He played Landon in the bracket. Yeah. Well, no, it couldn't have been. Yeah, he couldn't have been. Man, now I don't know. I think he got him. He played Jaden. That's what he, somebody says. Nope, and somebody says Bass yeah, took yeah, him I think out. It, I think Bass took him out on the side court, and they had, like, man, I want to say it went 40-some rounds or something. Nuts. Good collect there from Trader. Ellis stepping out. Oh, not enough on. He's still got, got a bag, bag left, left, though. That's a perfect block for if you're yep. Ryan. Just baiting him now. Drives through it. Gives up a couple. Awkward knuckles.
technically never extended the knuckle. So it's not as awkward of a knuckle as you might think. Alex Hicks up 19-17 now over Fisher Hamilton. Tyler Poitras now takes the lead 18-17 over Devin Harbaugh. Dude, emotions just teeter-tottering right now. Dude, I'm stressed. Got my fantasy stuff going God on. I got, I got the ice bath wager going on. I'm so <coughs> stressed. Haven't been this stressed at an open since I've been playing in them. Social. There's the wave going, and it's going to stop right there. We got like five, and then it goes back. We're going to have to work on that wave, guys. We're going to have to work on that. Five, four. Alex Hicks now 20 to 17 over Fisher Hamilton. Oh, how about so the board, guys? How about the board? Jeez, I would never make such mistakes. Wally, remember, remember, Wally, remember when you used to do 16 of these a year? 15. Never did 16. You never did a full 16? No. Nope. Always missed the first one, Cancun, or just missed one somewhere or something. Yeah. But, yeah, that wore on me. Actually, I think I'm doing more now because <laughs> I'm getting hired to do more weekend gigs on my off week, so it's just Sorry. nonstop. Where are you going next weekend? I don't even know what next weekend is. March, St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day weekend. I think, I think I'm off that weekend. We're going to make a whole bunch of posts, do some streaming, have some fun. Warzone Brooks stuff Miller like that. Out. Brooks out, my dude. All right, man, appreciate it. Be on the lookout for those Nighthawks from SIVA, boys. Yes, sir. Hey, why don't you? Um, somebody use to beat uh, Jake Brandon later. Why don't Another you? Another double four bagger. There's the wave. Kind of got it going around. And we're done. No, we're, we, we still got to work on this chat. We got to work on this. It's good. Oh, it's, it's gotten good. That was a good it's one. Better. Okay. That was a good one. Six to five. Trader in the lead. That bag off to the side a little bit. Let's see if we get a slight bully here from Ellis. What's uh oh god your your laptop died what's going on I'm nervous <laughs> I'm so nervous bro tied up eighteen eighteen Poitras against Harbaugh let me click on this get some PPRs for you ten point one nine twenty one rounds in over there Alex Hicks twenty to nineteen Fisher Hamilton throwing a ten point four Alex Hicks with a ten point four four that matches twenty five rounds in now this picks up a couple got another lead change. Oh, he had one on the ground. Oh, did he? That's a five spot. 10-6 oh, now. We'll do a PPR check after this round. We only do it after 10 rounds. Corn in the chest says, have fun in your ice bath, Jake. Stop, man. What up, Jessica? Welcome in. I'm trying to find their match. I can't see it anywhere. It's probably way over there. Looks like one match is over. Yeah, Hamilton, uh, Hamilton and Hicks is over. Wait for them to put that in. Hicks takes it down. Alex wow. Hicks, 22 to 19 over Fisher Hamilton. Social. So, so that storyline still alive. One of my fantasy picks is out. Nope, nobody did this. The one time I had the camera ready, nobody does the wave. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Just we need signs. Devin at 20, is that what that says? Devin is at 20, 20 to 18. <laughs> so looking at bag manufacturers, we have Fly, Ultra, BG, and then either Titan or another Ultra rep. Ellis finishes off his four-bagger. Ryan Trader's fourth bag is in as well. Another four-bagger. And the wave is just gone. Wave is just dead. Nobody's doing it anymore. Wave is, wave is dead. Man. 
Hayden says, Wally, get ready for that ice bath. Oh, man, Hayden. Get is, that out Hayden here. is that Hayden Gonzalez? Or get out of here. Regular. Who's? Thanks, Hayden. Uh, no update on Harbaugh. Still 2018. I will update you the second they update the score. Your boy is nervous over here. Ellis mad that he brought back Ryan's bag. Let's see if we can get a good block out of him here. Right on top, nice little cover. That bag moved, though. Yep, I think just a normal drive through, maybe even a roll attempt. He's going to slick side down, trying to bar clean it soap. all up. Ooh. Got the soap, but not the bar. <laughs> Boom. Plus one, 11 to six. Uh oh, Harbaugh's over the throw. So I'm just kidding. 10-10 wash. They continue. 20-18. Hardball in the lead. Winner will play next against Alex Hicks. Blocker right there in center lane. Is it over? Devin Harbaugh go, takes baby. it down, Let's twenty-four go, to eighteen, over Tyler Boyd. There's airmail on top, gets one to fall. The other one's sitting right there on the edge. There's a lane here where Trader can push through and collect both of his. He only gets one and ends up washing out at eights. Devin Harbaugh will take on Alex Hicks. And a. Confirming what you said, we're, we're going to be bringing you both semifinals, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Both semifinals and the finals. So coming up next, Devin Harbaugh, Alex Hicks. Winner gets this winner to play later for, later for the, the championship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a commenter uh, noticed that, and I've started to notice it, too. Jeremiah's kind of slowed down his game a little bit compared to what we saw with Ethan trying to take uh, Ryan out of his rhythm. Well, yeah, because, well, I think not to take him out, but you get your adrenaline going whenever your person chirps back at you. Ryan's yeah. not going to say anything to him. Nope. It's an entirely different form of trash talk. Oh, no. The sun has made it to the board. I can see clearly now the sun is here. We did not get the 10-round PPR check. That's on me. Jeremiah Ellis throwing an 11 right now. Ryan Trader, a 10-6-4. Ellis right there on the edge of the red zone. First bag, back block there from Trader. Decision time now. Roll, beautiful. Trader misses the cut around. Ellis, airmail time. Bang. Hits the airmail clean. Wants the in one. Can he do it again? Oh, he missed it too. Too far to the side, in for the wash. Trader off the hook, 10-10. Devin says, if Ellis and Devin make the finals, it'll be interesting to see which player has to change back since they're both throwing their red Vipers. All going to come down to seeding, I believe. Well, I mean, and, and really. And Jeremiah they, is the higher seat. I mean, and really, they have differences in the bags. Um, Jeremiah has this teal striping down the slick side of the bag. Harbaugh, I think, is just white. So there is a little bit of a difference in the bag. So we will see. Maybe they don't do it because where was it earlier today? First match of the day, Gavin and KB, they mm -hmm. threw in the same color bag, just had different colors on the top of it. Yeah, restrictions for live feeds are a little bit different than yeah. restrictions for ESPN and stuff like that. We don't care. Well, they do. Oh, Pops on the pile. Trader's bag falls. Let's see if he can get over this hill. No. Fight stays on the board, though. Another 8-8 eight, eight wash. Zach says these cameras are legit fire. Good job broadcast. Thank you, Zach. Appreciate Heck that. Yeah. Jake sounds nervous. I mean, I'd be lying if I said <laughs> I'd, I would prefer Harbaugh had to not switch bags. I mean, a new element that we haven't seen the entire weekend, the board. 
Wow. Getting a lot of sunlight on it now. That is bright. We will try to <laughs> talk you through what's going on as much as possible. Trader pushes through that pile. You can see Ellis's bag perfectly fine, but it's, it's Trader's bag. Nice bounces bite on over that it. one. Ooh, gets the drip to fall. Trader in for a double four-bagger. That's what I like to call cheater bags. <laughs> What's with the camera exposure? It's not camera exposure. It's called sunlight. We got mm. some. We got some windows in this giant building. It'll go away in just a few minutes. That one on the edge of the red zone behind the hole, more than likely out of play. Let's keep an eye on it. See if it inches back. Oh man, if Ryan misses the bag, he's 100% going after it. He may still go after it. Nah, not with an 11 to 6 lead. Don't want to give up five in this situation. You're okay giving up a couple. Uh oh. A couple misses, I mean. <laughs> in for four, 11 to 10. Round number 19 coming up. How are you feeling, Wally? How are I'm you Gucci, feeling? I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci. I'm fine either way, man. Harbaugh wins. I think I win fantasy. Oh, Ryan, yeah, Ryan sure. wins. He's got a chance to go for, you know, his uh, third title of the season. Jeremiah yeah. wins. Sponsored player plus you get the ice bath. I mean I'm Gucci no matter what happens. But is the uh, is the is the couple of dollars you win from fantasy worth getting in an ice bath? Or? Hey man, the way I look at it is if I make whatever I make, I don't even know what we're playing for, um, and then I only got to sit in the tub for sixty seconds. That's the equivalent to like thousands of dollars an hour. So I'll just I'll just play it off how I need to play it off. Trader has a bag in front of the hole. I know it's hard to see with those white bags. Ellis back blocks. Trader hits Boom. an airmail. Ellis. Boom. Answers for the 10-10 wash. Let's take a look at these again. Back-to-back -back hits. Ryan Trader first. First back in. Jeremiah to follow. Hits the same. 11-10. Score does not move. Wyatt says counting baby goat out already. Nah, baby goat wins, and I don't have to take an ice bath. I'm fine. And like, neither do I. That's, yeah. an easy, that's an easy one there. No, I mean, it could be baby goat versus Ellis. But if baby goat wins, you know. The whole thing, yeah, yeah. You don't take an ice bath. And I've been a baby goat fan for a long time. I would not mind seeing him win. I mean, there's nothing better than seeing baby goat and Ryan Trader both going into the pro season with confidence because it's been all Ryan Trader. I don't know if there is a shadow or any type of, you know, doubt or feelings or anything like that since Ryan Trader's been having the success, but I think it would be awesome to see them going in with the basically best mindset possible for the youngsters. Let's keep an eye on this. Only 11 to 10 already round 21. This has the potential to go 40-plus rounds. Let's see if he can bully this. Either bully or land right behind it without going in. He is able to sneak around, kind of spun the bag, didn't necessarily get the bully he wanted. Slick side down there from Trader, ends up going side by side. Perfect. Perfect for, tr uh, for yeah, Ellis. Fit that block in there like Legos, man. Going up. Bang. Brings it closer. Ellis. Layout looks short out of his hand off the back. Trader again. Off the back. In for two. Bang! Back side. Backside. Good adjustment there from Ellis. Misses the first one deep. Took a little bit off. Gets the second one to go. 13 to 10 as we head into round number 22. Tyson, welcome in the chat. Ellie fan, let's go. AKL checking in. Harbaugh and Hicks on deck. Then the winners will collide for your open number 11 championship. Hey, baby goat sneaking behind me like a ninja. What up, my dude? How you feeling? You good? Feeling good? Yeah. If Ryan hits a big airmail, will you give me that bang again like you did in Iowa? That was that was good stuff. What did he do? Uh, was it? I think it was Trader against Windsor, and I think Trader hit an airmail, and then out of nowhere, it's dead silent, and then baby goat goes, bang! <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, what was that? Oh, no. Open board slide off the back to wash out on nines. Was it three? Oh, my bad. He has two bags off. 
Oh, that's why that's what I get for paying attention to Alex Hicks. Baby goat ruins everything. Me. He distracts me. That ugly bright whoa, yellow whoa, whoa, sweatshirt whoa, whoa, whoa. Carson calm Getty's down, wearing. Calm down, calm down. Steelers colors. Look. Camera, Jake. Camera. Yeah. Yeah. I'm no, just kidding. Come on. Come on. It wasn't even wrong. <laughs> side by side right now on the edge of the red zone. Traders in better position to collect. Ellis stepping out. Slick side down into the pile. Kind of splits him. Brings his other bag back a little bit closer. Again, Trader in better position here. Nice collect. Ellis going to try to do the same thing. No. Bounced on him instead. Hopped oh over the hole. Oh, my word. What a turn of events. We're looking at at least four. Make it six. That's nine points in two rounds for Ryan Trader. All of a sudden, it's 19-13. And I am two points away from kissing that ice bath. Bye-bye. I'm just going to be quiet over here. <laughs> <laughs> Wally is down in the dumps. That was, that was fine for a while. Now it's starting to hit it. Now yep. it's you getting cold in here there just it thinking is. about it. Oh, oh my, gosh. my word. This is it. That's it. <laughs> Ryan Trader waves bye bye as he knocks off Jeremiah Ellis oh my and goodness. is into the overall finals <laughs> here in Tridelphia, West Virginia. Wow. Ryan Trader a, has a chance to get his third open title. What the heck? I mean, that's 11 points in three rounds. Has anyone else gotten three open titles in a season? I wonder. I don't know. Maybe, we, maybe we'll see him coming up next. Alex Hicks versus Devin Harbaugh when we come back right after this. All right, ACL Nation, welcome back here to court number one. We're down to the final two matches of the evening. Devin Harbaugh taking on Alex Hicks. The winner gets Ryan Trader for your open number 11 championship. Man, storylines galore. Devin Harbaugh trying to finish. Ice bath on the line. Alex Hicks trying to come back to the relevant topic as he will have to take on his pro doubles partner in Ryan Trader if he's able to defeat Devin Harbaugh here. 
What do we have in store, Jake? Predict this match. Give it all to us. What do you got? I think the match goes 27 rounds. Okay. I think Devin Harbaugh starts out with a little bit of a deficit. And then I think he comes back and wins this match 21-17. First live round of the game. Here we go. First bag off to the left. I'm off to a good start. We'll get the TikTok camera back up and running as soon as Jake is ready. There we go. Try Why can't we see what's going on? See, everyone's yelling at me. It's all, it's all Jake. Hashtag blame Wally. How far are we into the brackets? Uh, just the beginning. Just getting started. Yep. Now we're down to the final three players. Ryan Trader already in the finals. Trying to find out right now who oh, his opponent high. is. Ooh, oh, bad luck for Hicks. 2 nothing start here for Harbaugh. <clears throat> I think I was on around the ACL like two episodes ago, and somebody said something about Harbaugh has a closing problem, take it or leave it. I said, no, I'm going to leave it. I think he's going to win one very soon. Good for you, man. <laughs> Did you actually say that? Yeah, and you took this from me, man. This could have been my moment. Been. <laughs> That's what you get for le letting me have the first pick. I don't know what. I was I being generous, man. I you should have we respected your elders and be like, no, you go ahead, we, sir. I thought we were going to do some sort of competition. But you said, no, Jake, you have first pick. I said, okay, Devin Harbaugh. You didn't even want Harbaugh. You don't even like him. I love Devin Harbaugh. You said Harbaugh. you hate him. He, does, he is still mad at both of us for not, him, not picking him for anything. Slick side down with a hard cut on top of the pile. What do we get here? On top of the board, nothing going to fall. Hits that gap just enough. That might have fell back in if he yeah. didn't get deep enough. Yeah, Sebastian made a good point. I'm, I'm kind of upset that Alex Hicks is growing. Last two years ago, he was tiny, like four feet two. And now he's, now he's big. Now he's almost as tall as me, four foot nine. I can I can do I can do it myself, Wally. Don't no, don't need you to walk into that one. Man, I don't know if I ever bit my lip harder. <laughs> Gotta change his name to the medium sized goat. Or the baby goat. <laughs> you just fake laugh at your own joke. I did. Roll. Bang. Harbaugh pushes into the pile, not able to get that one to fall. I think another situation here where Baby Goat just goes bored to wash it out. He's going to actually give him the point instead. Smart. I would have taken a timeout to look at it. I don't know if it was smart. Everybody has a closing problem right now because it's, everybody is so good. So does Jake and Devin play next? No. Devin has already eliminated Jake about an hour and a half ago. <laughs> they played in their bracket finals, and Devin took the bracket down. How great is it to see Alex Hicks back, though, in this situation? Baby Go going for the collect. Stops a little bit short on bag number four. Seven O start. I'm digging that uh, that uh, Zuka bags hat Harbaugh's wearing. I keep thinking it's the Uber logo. It keeps messing with me. It's not a Zuka. It's an Ultra. The hat? It's an ultra cornhole. That's a weird logo. I it's a cornhole board. Oh, that was a Zuka, the Zuka logo. Oh, it's a cornhole board. Never mind. Wow. Nice job around. cutting around. That bag was already halfway in from Baby Goat. Stops a little bit short on bag number three, which is what he wanted. 
Harbaugh goes airmail way Ooh. short. Hicks can go in to make it a two-point game, and he does right back into it I've just like that. I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. Sometimes pros get in the way of pros. You don't want to give up two. You take a risky shot. You end up giving up five. Seven to five. Probably should have just drove through that or back blocked. Make Baby Goat hit the shot. See you Thursday, Wally Castler, says Henry Mendoza. Hey, a boy. I will be there. Back running the show. We got our new boards this week. Cornhole chemistry boards have been delivered. Man, league is going to be awesome this week. I'll be there. Let's go. Nice collect. Maybe go hops over that bag instead of pushing through it, staying sticky side. Harbaugh steps out, sticky side down and around and in. Let's take a look at this collect one more time from Harbaugh. Man, doesn't really need too much of it. Just pushes it up the pile, lets the bag do the rest of the work. Nine to five. Maybe it looks like he should have a mustache. Pretty cool, a mustache. Like a pencil thin one? That'd be cool. To a point in the corners. I know we can hit up beard guys, get some of that uh, beard growing kit stuff. Oh, yeah. Is that what you'd use? I've been using it for three weeks. What do you think? It's, uh, it's I mean, listen to this. That's a lot, dude. All right. Oh, nice rollover by Alex Hicks. And again, Harbaugh misses an airmail. Five on five as it sits. Hicks going up off the back. That was a great professional round of cornhole right there. I would have liked to roll there from Baby Goat just to get the first throw back. Even if you miss the roll, you're at 9-6. You hit that roll, you're at 9-8. Keeping Harbaugh with momentum. Our ball is taking the sweatshirt off. He means business. Can't even make any more ice bath jokes. No, you can't. Now you just got to hope that this dude doesn't win. Social. Cheers, everybody. Nine to five, round number nine. Do a PPR check here in just a little bit. Heather says Devin means business. Playing with a chip on his shoulder, man. He thinks he's mad now at me for not putting him on my list. Wait till he beats me and has to uh, keep, makes me do an ice bath. He never go on my list after that. Right. <clears throat> Don't forget after this, because we reached the like goal, Wally and I are going live on TikTok mm -hmm, playing mm -hmm, singles. Mm -hmm. Make sure you check that out. You reach the like goal. You have to. Another social. Ethan Suther's got 100 on me over you, baby. Let's go. Locked. <laughs> Locked. Want to split it 50-50? Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, Andy, the only way there's going to be an ice bath will be if Devin Harbaugh wins the entire tournament. I had Jeremiah Ellis. He had Devin Harbaugh at the beginning of the day. Jeremiah Ellis falls just a little bit short to Ryan Trader. Devin Harbaugh here up 9-5. to five. So if Alex or Ryan Trader win, no ice bath. All right. As they put this in, let's take a look at this PPR. Devin Harbaugh throwing a 9-6 right now. Alex Hicks throwing a 9-2. Do all eight get paid? If they do, how do they figure out the picking positions three through eight? So first place gets first money, second gets second money. The two losers of the semifinals get third place money, and then everyone um, that's left in the single elimination will get fifth place money. Yeah, this is it. So two, two matches left to go, this one here, and then the next one, Ryan Trader in the finals will play the winner of this. Overall, number 11 singles champion will be crowned. Our ball off to the side. Baby Goat able to go in with the final shot there. 9-7. Devin's been in some battles today. Baby Goat really hasn't had much TV time here on court number one, but adjusting quite nicely. Looks like the sun has gone down outside, so no more of that bright light peeking through. Harbaugh with a blocker. Baby Goat's starting to get that pop out of his bag these last few rounds. Hitting his landing spots where he needs to. He has 100% found it. Another four-bagger for Hicks. And another social. Um, that's got to be a that's got to be a couple in a row for Alex. At least twelve in a row, I'm pretty sure. Once he puts it in, refresh it as he puts it in. Look here, man. You're not gonna talk to me like that. You're gonna start saying please or something. Please. Okay. No problem. One, two, three, four, five. That's twenty in a row for Alex Hicks. Absolutely on fire. Yeah, since that five-on-five five wash, only one bag has been missed. I wonder what Devin is listening to right now. Probably, probably Taylor Swift. Twenty-four consecutive bags made in a row for Alex Hicks. Another social. How about the fact that Alex Six has made 24 consecutive bags in a row and has only scored two points? That's two more than you're going to get later. Boom. I don't, I don't know about that. Oh. I thought it was your phone. <laughs> I was like, you want to turn that up a little bit? First time in a tournament? <laughs> <laughs> this will probably end the streak for I Alex Hicks. De Devin's not going to hear that. It's his own sponsor player that's going to hear it, if anything. Too far to the left. Harbaugh still has to hit this shot, but if he could, could be four points. Oh, wow. wow. That was almost incredible. Is it sitting on top? Are they going to rake it out, or are they just going to give it to him? And there it goes. That's a great push for the four-bagger for Devin Harbaugh. Pretty sure I saw Harbaugh reach his hand up in the hole and bring that in. I mean, <laughs> Here I don't we know. Go. We're going to have to get a replay Here on that. Here we go. 11-7 <laughs> or 7-11 if you look at it the other way. What if I look it up upside down? Parallel line and uh, acute angle. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
Where's your flag? We should have thrown the flag. Where's your flag? I just don't even know. <laughs> oh, crap. So oh, it's under there. It's under so there. you lost your flag. How much that cost the ACL? Five dollars. Round number 16. Just kind of waiting for this to drop. I don't even think we're halfway done with this game yet. I'm pretty sure we're going over 30. Calling it now. Calling it right now. Over 30 rounds. How much you want to bet? A nice bath. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Off to the side. If you go once that one in, I think it's pretty much in good shape, though. Should go. Still got a couple bags left to finish it. There's the collect. Doesn't help Harbaugh out. See how Harbaugh wants to go. Slick side down. Too far to the left. Looking at plus four. Might have a tied game after this shot. It is in. Another four-bagger for Baby Goat. 11-11. Round number 17 coming up. I don't know if there's a bigger Baby Goat fan in the building right now than you. Pretty sure mom over there's got something to say about it. I don't know. It's pretty close. 11-11. Make a wish. She had to walk away. She's getting nervous. <laughs> She's listening to us. <laughs> Shut out, Mama Goat. Back block into the pile. Oh, wow. wow, nicely done. I don't know how he even got around that. That was a deep 3 o'clock cut. Wow. And that was a 9 o'clock cut. We're just covering the whole clock. Yeah. Might as well go backside air mill, finish it all it's off. 5 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Off the side, baby goat with a chance for points here. Hard tilt on the bag, nothing over the top. It's fine, though. I'm not sure if Harbaugh can drag that without. Well, why don't the Hicks is sitting on top. I'm not sure if he can drag it, period. I mean, airmail here just for damage control. Give up one. Oh, he hit Hits it, too. It clean. Does give up one. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see if we can figure out how this even goes in, man. This is such a hard cut on this bag. All the way over to the right. Goes in. That was like the 1 o'clock position. Takes away the back of the hole. Going in, 12 to 11, Baby Goat takes the lead. Disgusting. That's disgusting. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, are we calling that staying? Like, what is staying? <laughs> very, very good. Hi, Stephanie from California. Hi. Hi. Harbaugh with another miss. Alex has complete momentum, complete control right now. How fun would it be to play against your pro partner in right. the finals for a title? Alex Hicks did not win a single open event last year in the single side, trying to get back into that score column. Nice cut around. He does it again. Hicks stepping out. Slick side down. Going for this push. Pretty. Hicks is in with another four-bagger. And that's another social. I'm running out. Baby Goat looking for his fourth ACL Open Singles title, his sixth overall. We'll do a PPR check after the end of this round. Uh-oh, that's two bags on that left side for Hicks. Harbaugh wraps around it again. Hicks avoids it. 
Harbaugh, three for three on wraparounds. Hicks going at the pile and gets two out of three. Harbaugh is in with a four-bagger. Fourteen thirteen, PPR check. Alex Hicks staying hot. A ten two. Harbaugh a ten one five. Eleven four baggers for each player. Twenty two total. Oh, well, how about changing the cameras, bud? Back block. Maybe attempt of a roll, but it wasn't. The end of the world. Harbaugh going up. Bang. Catch that one. Baby Goat already stepping out before that shot. He knew what he wanted to do right off the bat. He's in reverse cut maybe. Now he's going to go roll. He rolls it over. Perfect pop on that one. Harbaugh going up again. Backside it drips in. Good bag from Harbaugh. Hicks taking a timeout. What are you looking at here if you're Alex Hicks? Want to see if he can go with that reverse angle to try and get that collect. I mean, he hit that last roll perfectly. There's the roll and then the backside airmail from Harbaugh. The problem with this is I don't think Alex knows what he wants to do yet still. You don't want to go into a shot unsure if you're okay with it. He's stepping out slick side. He's going hard at it. No, it's not terrible. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, tops his bag in. We get lead change. It is a lead change. Harbaugh is going to retake the lead. 15-14. Again, Ryan Trader waiting for the winner of this one. Hicks off to the left. Ooh, drips back into the hole a little bit. I wonder if that'll tempt him. He does a great job trying to collect it. Harbaugh in. Will Hicks go up here? Nope. He's going to take his 10 and move on, give up two more points. Harbaugh on 17. Now the winner of this will play Ryan Trader for the overall open singles title here in Tridelphia, West Virginia. Four-bagger for Harbaugh. Social. Here you go. Does the same thing. I was just doing some math over here, uh, Jake, and if Ryan Trader is able to take down this tournament, <coughs> excuse me, that would be his third title this season. If he does that until he becomes a senior, he'll have 165 titles, okay. which would be first on the list. Yeah. <laughs> How many titles does Harbaugh have? Uh, four, I believe. Four, and then Double Hicks check. has, what, three still? Five. Five. I believe Windsor in doubles, Trey Birchfield in doubles, and then three singles. Mm -hmm. Well, does he he uh, swept a weekend, does, didn't he, one week? Uh, mm -hmm. So he should have three in one weekend. Uh, that was a blind draw. Doesn't that count towards titles? No. Okay, gotcha. It's another two-spot. Harbaugh going to put himself on 19, two points away from a date with Ryan Trader. Yeah, Harbaugh's got four. He's got one open singles title, two open doubles titles, and then one round limited doubles title.
Harbaugh in with another four-bagger. Baby Goat's got to be in here, and it is. Score is going to stay 19 to 14 as we enter round 26. Sheesh. Ryan Trader makes his way back to the front row. 10-4-4 for Harbaugh, 10-2-4 for Baby Goat. See if Harbaugh goes cut or airmail here. I like a cut. Yep. Way too far to the side. It stays on the board, though. Yeah, Hicks has a lane now. Oh, he stops a little bit short. Let's see if Harbaugh can block this and force Baby Goat to hit an airmail. Or a very, very difficult shot. Harbaugh, the only player to not have lost yet today. Let's see what he does here. I mean, either way, I think you're, you'd be lucky if you don't give up points. Harbaugh going to do something crafty here. He's going big roll. Does not get it over. The question is, does Alex want to go airmail, try to drag all three, or step out, cut around it? One bag has to be in. He's going up. Lands on top. One falls That's in. That's going to be a point for Harwell. He stays alive. I am very shocked. He did not take a look at that and step out and go to the right side because I think there was enough there to get that collect. Who holds the title for most single open singles in one season? Is it? Hicks with three? I believe Hicks has three, and I believe Richards has three. Richards has three in one season as well. You're right. Last last year. So it's, a, it's a trend. 2021, here we go. 2022, Mark Richards. 2023, who knows? Well, I'm missing a year. I'm missing a year, aren't I? I don't know how the math works. Oh, man, Hicks slides in without Harbaugh's Viper R. He will maintain first back for the remainder of the game. Five, Four-point game, 20-16. to 16. That could be it. There is a little corner hanging, so there's a little bit of hope. Got a little bit of help from Harbaugh. He's going up now. Taking hits it, shot, doesn't hits the move corner. it. No love yet. One bag left. He's going to have to grab it to stay alive. No. Too far to the side on the board. And Whit that the is and it. one. That'll do it. Devin Harbaugh advances to the finals. Pick your storyline. Which one do you want? Ryan Trader going for his third. Devin Harbaugh trying to get his first in a while since Wes Wego. And, oh, yeah, there's a little ice bath on the line, too. Let's go. We'll be back for the finals here in Tridelphia, West Virginia, right after this.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cornhole fans of all ages, open number 11 ends after this next match when we crown ourselves a singles champion. The sun is back. Devin Harbaugh, Ryan Trader, everything on the line here in this one match. Here we go. Devin Harbaugh in the ultra jersey. Ryan Trader in the fly K9 combo. Harbaugh's first shot down the middle and in. Ryan Trader with a nice little blocker. Let's, act, let's actually leave a little bit of music on in the background, man. We're going to vibe out here on this one. All right, Jake obviously wants Devin Harbaugh to win, so I have to take an ice bath. Ryan Trader, his pick, though, in fantasy. We'll see how this actually plays itself out. Yeah, this is a win-win for me. I'm, I'm Look, I'm just excited for a great game. These are obviously two of the best probably the two best players in the room all day long. And they're finally showing it off. Can Harbaugh finish? Or yeah, is Ryan Trader going to tie Alex Hicks and Mark Richards for most open singles titles in a season? Well, let's see if that doubt's starting to creep in already as Devin Harbaugh gives up two. Throwing an eight to start this game. Ryan Trader sneaking in. Gets first toss. Yeah, Raleigh really rooting for Ryan Trader. Not only oh, yeah. does he want to not have to get an ice bath, but Ryan Trader, a canine-sponsored player. Other, oh, I got, it. I got the switch. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. And then, after this, the grand finale. We know this is what all you viewers are sticking around for. K9 versus Jake Brannon. Bragging Holy. rights game. Appreciate the 250,000 likes on TikTok. If you have not hit the like on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Make sure you do that right now. Let us know that you appreciate us by hitting the thumbs up, commenting. All that stuff helps us out. Tied now 2-2. Two, two. Something tells me this one's going 22 rounds. You taking the over under? I'll take over on 22. Are you okay. crazy? I feel like I feel I may, like I may take the over on 42 rounds. I feel like we're getting some haymakers at some point. Pacing definitely going to speed up a little bit here with baby. I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Baby Trader. Ryan Trader. I mean, you have to think if the sun's going to affect them at all. Right, those sun looks like it's right in their eyes. Get a little bit of squinting. Good back block. Let's see how Trader wants to play it. He's going up. Oh, wow. Great bag. Nice banana. Harbaugh rolls it over, but then he pushes Trader's bag closer to the hole. Trader going to go up again. No. No, doesn't get anything to go. That's a 7-7 seven, seven wash. Wow. After all that. It ends in a wash. Good job. Landing right on top of the pile. Peeling it off there, but missed the next shot. Washing it out. So is Trader throw technically a foot foul or not? Let's bring this discussion back. <laughs> By rule, Ryan Trader's throw is not a foot foul. Yes, he steps over, but the key is he keeps that back foot planted. As long as that back foot does not come off the ground, it is a 100% legal throw, as you see right there. A double four-bagger wash. It will remain 2-2-2. Two, two, two. See what I did there? 2-2? Two to two. Exaggerated a little bit. Oh, National Director Michael Gonzalez comes to join to watch the last match. He's ready for bed. He's ready for bed. Hey, can, can you officiate our match between me and Jake, please? Oh, I'm going to foot foul. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> Trader's bag might be out of play, not worth the risk. Still early in the game. Harbaugh finishes bag number four. Trader gets his to go in as well. Four to two. Rich says it's coming off the ground here and there. Nope, not at all. I, I pr I've i been watching him all day. I haven't seen him do it once. No, I haven't seen him flip so we'll one watch, time. We'll watch every throw this round, see what happens. Stayed down that time. He's good on that one, too. Harbaugh, good back block. Here comes a roll. Well, he's good on that one, too.
Harbaugh, ooh, almost gets it over. Let's see what he does here. Airmail. Yep, backside. Kept the foot planted as well for the 8-8 eight, eight wash. Yeah, he's upset he didn't get the peel on that one. Roy, there won't be an ice bath. Trader's going to take this one down, and we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Everything is fine. And that'll be fine, too, because I should that may, should make me win fantasy. But we'll see. Who had Harbaugh? You have Harbaugh in fantasy? Yep. Dang. So it could either be a double win for you or a double loss. We'll see. We'll see. Well, no. It's a win-win no, no. win for you, too. Apparently I'm already out of it. I don't know how. Nice push through from Harbaugh, looking to score a couple. My only fear with Ryan Trader in this new throw is that one day he's going to try to go for it, and he's going to just, like, snap an ankle. <laughs> or, or not snap, or, like, roll it. Well, I thought the it's same thing for Fisher Hamilton for a while with his knee, the yeah. way he was doing that stuff. Hayden Gonzalez in the chat wants to know where we can watch the ice bath. What ice bath? That's if Harbaugh wins. By the way, guys, we were just kidding. <laughs> there's no, there's no ice bath. <laughs> Hayden, your dad will go live. You say you're just kidding? We were just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on we a second. We were just kidding. I don't know about that. You're a man of your word. <laughs> Because you know dang well if it was Jeremiah Ellis in this position, he would be all <laughs> over it. I'm bringing a scuba suit. <laughs> 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 I didn't say it had to be naked. Oh, come on. I'm going to show up in my deep sea diving apparel, the 150 pound metal suit. <laughs> Man, it's ice bath, nothing, piece of cake. <laughs> I'll spend $2,000 at a pawn shop oh buy one of these God. suits just so I don't get cold. Up top for the airmail again, lands on the pile, knocks in one. The other one's still kind of sitting there. And Harbaugh cleans everything up. He's in a position to get a couple. He's perfectly fine taking two at a time. He's going up, and he'll take four. Big time shot. Make it 10-4 Harbaugh. Feeling it now. I fired up 10 to 4. Good buddy. <clears throat> if you're a trader, what are you trying to do to stop Harbaugh? I don't think he's trying to stop him. He's just trying to run bags with him. He's just missing a little bit. Yeah. I'm not worried about Harbaugh's game at this point. The air mails are really the story of this game so far. Another double four bagger. Harbaugh's wild playing with his keys in the pocket. He always does it, man. That's his little thing. It's not on his throwing side, though. I don't know how you could do that if you're still on your throwing side. Scott Londro says, for a jersey, I'll take the ice bath for you. You want to do that? Hmm? Huh? Scott Landro says he'll take the ice bath for you for a canine jersey. Bet. Although there's no ice bath. You don't R think so? No, Ryan's going to win. All right. I like your optimism. Nice roll. Nice job getting over that and leaving Harbaugh on the edge. I was going to say, I'm surprised he's not going to slick side. He did turn it over last second. Shooting at the pot, cleaning everything up. Good job popping over that there on the roll, and then Devin Harbaugh over on the other side, driving through it, collecting everything. First toss again, down and in. Yes, this is the finals. Welcome in. Is the replay fast forward? What? 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 Jake and Wally all having fun? We sure are. Eric, if you want to come over and help us tear down when we're all done with this, you're more than welcome to. 
Nice roll. Harbaugh going roll as well, way off the back. Now does Trader want to go airmail, try to grab one of these bags? Yes. Short. Short stays on the board, though. Ten five. Too far to the left. Not worth the risk, in my opinion. No. Nope. Harbaugh immediately muddies it up, throwing a blocker center lane. Ryan kind of sneaking around. Wow. Good nice replace. Wow. Good clean up there from Ryan. Willing to give up the two after that first bag miss. Nope. And too wow. far to the left. As soon as it left his hand, he knew. Yep. What up, Mike? Appreciate that. Maureen says, Devin makes those pushes look so easy. Facts. You guys can get some advice from Devin if you're interested by signing up for the ACL hey. Academy. He will be giving out instructions here in the uh, what, next two weeks or something like that. I just got the email today. I believe today is the last day to sign up at a discounted rate. So make sure that you check that out. I will be signing up when we get back to the room. And then I'm going to come out and become a pro and dominate the division and beat Devin with his own lessons. How do you like me now? Trader going up, backside airmail. Harbaugh can go in to limit the damage to two or not. Never mind. Bang. What? I don't know. I was, I was making a segue in case he missed it, but he didn't. 10-7 lead now for Devin Harbaugh. Didn't you say he can go in to limit it to two? And then it's exactly what he did, and you said no? I said or. <laughs> anyway, back here in the action, <laughs> Ryan Trader, nice push. <laughs> Confuse me, I don't even know anymore. Wish you could replay audio, man. We'd sound like idiots. Harbaugh going up, backside, bang. Trader rolls, does not get over. Harbaugh again, bang, almost got the drag. These airmails are starting to hit now. This is where it gets exciting. The ACL Academy, yeah, check it out. iPlayCornhole.com or iPlayACL.com. Should be able to get all the information that you need there. Let's see if Harbaugh can sneak around. He's all the way out. Lands right in front of... Ryan's bag. Ryan's already got his decision made. Yeah, wasting no time throwing that bag. Now Harbaugh, if you aim at your red bag, you're going to push Trader's bag out of the way. We get, goes around it instead, which is just as good. Trader going to take a timeout. He just wants to double check to make sure that his bag fell, and I believe it did. Trying to see how much of the hole is left. Might get another airmail attempt. Went with a roll instead, too far. Stays on the back of the red zone, does not drip back in, so two more. There we go. AcademyACL.com to learn more and sign up. There you go. Thank you, Mish. AcademyACL.com. Harbaugh looks like he's on another level right now, up 14 7, round 17. Do it. You know you want to do it. Do it. You know you want to bar soak this. He's going, oh my God, he's going for it. 
to the moon. Part of the pile. No oh, worst case scenario. It's the wrong one. Off the back of the board it goes. Harbaugh in. Now Trader's got to be careful. He's going to have to. He can't afford another miss. That oh my word. Short. Trader's Har in trouble. Yeah. Ten on two. Trader has to get a bag in the hole. This is a missed back block. If Trader can hit this push, he's only going to get them all. He gets them all. Wow. Plus three. Great bag to minimize the damage. 17 to seven now. In the position there where that bar of soap could have gotten him three. Hits a clutch push just to stay alive. Devin Harbaugh close to his second title. 10 2 4 for Harbaugh. 9 6 5 for Trader. If that game was 10 to 10. That miss might have affected Harbaugh being up 10 points, though. Completely different thought process. Gotta get this roll pretty. Great collect from Harbaugh. See if Trader goes after this bag. He is, and he does not get it. That's two more for Devin. Harbaugh with the replacement. Watch that V. Good back block. Harbaugh sits behind. Trader has to get a bag in the hole. Fingers, Fingers crossed. crossed. Title Going on the line. Up. Hits Gets it. it. Stays alive. Another day. Awkward scorekeeping as this game continues. 10 on 10 wash. 19 to 7. I call 22 rounds. We're at round number 20. Ice in his veins. That's off to the left side. This could be an opportunity. Oh, and again, Trader misses left. Trader does have Devin's bag kit he can use as a bumper. If he goes slick side down into it, Harbaugh with a block now. Pretty. This is... Almost identical to the last round they had down at this end. Oh, but this time, Harbaugh misses the push. Trader going after his bag and gets them all for five. Good bag. Big shot right there to stay in the game and get a little bit of momentum back in his side. Let's take a look at this shot one more time. Nicely done going across. Again, using Harbaugh's bag as a backboard to redirect it in. Plus five. 19-12 now. Blocker. A little bit closer to Ryan's side than he would have liked it. Here we go. Roll time. Trader is 0 for 1. Harbaugh's got the lane that he wants. He could use that bag to He's pull going him slick out. Side. The old pulley bush. Stops. Not That's not terrible, though. <laughs> Hit a roadblock. Trader going to go roll again. That's that is a not perfect bad either. shot, though. He wanted that in, but I think that's good. That could take away the hole. Harbaugh's going to blow this up. Oh. Dominoes fall two for one. Yeah, but if you're Trader, that, that white bag's out of play. This is a pushable bag for Harbaugh. You got you to gotta block this and hope he doesn't peel, right? Yep. Have to sit on top. I mean, not even sit on top. You don't want to, You don't even want to sit on top because then you can bar a stop you. You want to sit right behind because that, that's, that's a hard drag. So you sit behind. Harbaugh's going to have to do some work. Anything else, Harbaugh has a slick side push for the win. Could be the most important block of his career. It's perfect. in a perfect spot. And here we go. Here we go. Short airmail. Ryan Short. Trader at this point can only look up and pray. Devin Harbaugh's shot is away for the drag, and the and wind taps no. it in. We continue. Eight on eight wash again. So many moments in this game. They've had a chance to pull away, but they do not. 19 to 12, Ryan Trader. Trying to get back into this one. Still has first throw. Round 22. 
Again, coming out, firing the blocks. Good roll. roll. Harbaugh goes slick side through everything. Staying alive, one more round. Double four bagger here in round number 22. One last social for the evening, why not? What makes you think that's gonna be the last one? Because I'm out. I'm out of Beveragi. These blockers by Ryan on bag number one are just kind of like teaser blocks. They're not necessarily there designed to stop Harbaugh. Again. Just making him think, you know. Another four bagger there for Trader. Another four bagger for Devin. Nineteen to twelve. Have we done PPR check in a while? Let's take a look at it. Ten point one three. Nine point eight three. Okay. Hardball. That's out of play. Off to the right side. Trader going to look to take advantage. Oh, I would have liked that bag to roll in. Hardball misses again, though. Do not plug. You do not want this to clog. And it does. That's worst case scenario for Trader. He was set up perfectly to score some points this round. It's not over yet. Still got a bag left. Block again too far to the side. And we're going to get a timeout. Harbaugh not happy with that one. <laughs> the problem is I, I don't think that he can get anything to fall. I think if you throw hard enough at Devin's bag, you can get at least one to fall and be sitting in a decent position here. I mean, maybe. It's worth a try. You can't lose. Oh, they don't move. <laughs> Ryan says, that's so dumb. Hit it exactly where he wanted to. I was wrong. Nothing falls. Tell them to hurry, Wally Castle. I have to play zombies. You ain't lying, Jimmy. Harbaugh trying to figure out if it's worth laying up to see if those bags are going to fall. I don't think they will. They are very sticky. Can you imagine going board and all of a sudden everything breaks free? And we'd be looking at a 10 on 4. They do not fall. Not even close. 4-4 four, four wash. It's close. So close. Not really. Not at all. These cameras, though. Right? Let's talk Dude, about these nice cameras. 70-inch TV, if you're watching, you're enjoying it. Actually, if you guys are enjoying it, hey, one last time, hit the thumbs up button. Let us know that you guys enjoy the coverage. Let us know that we're doing a good job. If we're doing a bad job, just keep your mouth shut. You don't need to hear that. <laughs> Make sure you show love to the sponsors. Again, bust you up, Cornhole and Beard, guys. Uh-oh. It's on slick side, though. That slick side is not very fast, though, for a Cornhole That's a good bag. Point. Oh, it moved a lot. Harbaugh. I love that bag Harbaugh by Harbaugh. begging him to shoot it. I think he had to shoot it anyway. He's bag going is up. away. Hits off the back. The back off it goes. One bag in the hole for the win. Devin Harbaugh pushes he too far it. to the left. There's oh life. Oh, my word. 20 to 12. He had it in his hands. We talked about it all day, him not being able to close. If, he, if Trader comes back to win this game, this round will be the juggernaut. Man. I'm speechless. There is wow. life. It's not over yet, though. Trader's still got a lot of work to do. He's going to fire off a blocker. That's fine for Devin. Trader's the one chasing. It worked. Kick to the side. Immediately to the slick side. Going to try to collect it. Beautiful bag. Oh, he's starting to talk, too. Now he's getting into it. Trader feeling it. His second life. Sit behind. Don't go in. Don't go in. Perfect. What does Harbaugh do here? If he, This is an aggressive airmail, but there's a potential he can drag them all. Yeah, I like the airmail here. It's worth a shot. You're up eight points. He's going to take another timeout. 
Frustration on the face for Harbaugh, knowing he had the win in his hands last round. I mean, what are you looking at here? What are you looking at here? I mean, are you shooting this? I'm, I'm shooting this all day. There's enough of a corner there for me to attempt it. And even not, I mean, you get you hit the hole. Ryan's got to at least be on the yeah. board, you know what He's I mean? He's going up. And he hits it clean. Roll for two. Got it. Good roll there from Trader right after the airmail from Harbaugh to stay alive. And actually get a couple points out of it. Good airmail there airmail. from Harbaugh. Followed up by that roll, picture perfect. 20 to 14, Trader has first back for the remainder of the game. Again, just those little teaser blocks. They're not designed to do anything except for just kind of make you think about driving through it. You know, I talk about that game where I beat Trader. He was throwing three bags, I was throwing four. He did that to me all the time, man. <laughs> Just knew I had trouble pushing through bags and just kept it's leaving their teasers. He's going slick side. This is a tough push. I don't like this at Miss. all. Bad decision, I think. And now, same same scenario. Bag in the hole for the win and an open title. He side rails it. What is going on? Oh, my God. He threw the headphones down. Everybody uh, is speechless oh in here about what is gosh. happening. Oh my goodness, 20 to 16, There's two no times. Way. I mean, I don't want to take an ice bath, but oh my gosh, two <laughs> times to finish this. <sighs> it's, I mean, I'm speechless. I mean, like, I don't know if I should, like, continue being loud oh, and excited or just be quiet. There's another, another opportunity. Is. But that's a hard grab, especially if Harbaugh can push this out. He's got the edge of the zone. Actually makes this push a little bit easier for yep. Trader. Still difficult though. Oh, he brings it a little closer, but not that it, much. It bunched. It bunched. You can see that corner kind of pushed in. If it flattens out on this shot, he might have a chance of collecting it. There's corner there. Going at it. He gets him. Nice oh, what a bad shot there from Ryan Trader. And now, man, this one's got to be on the board. Can't throw it off. He gets them for the Ooh, four bagger. Double four bagger, man. Wow. This is insane. <laughs> what a way to end it, Wally. Right, I know I have a replay here. I just can't remember what button to push. I'm, I'm, my, I'm all discombobulated. This match has got me thinking all types of stuff. Holy. 20 to 16. Why does Ryan get first bag for the rest of the game? That is because he has first bag now. And if Harbaugh were to score another point, the game would be over. So he will maintain first bag for the rest of the game. Another bag off that right side. Harbaugh gives it back. Just I don't want you, don't go after if trade if you're trader, do not go after this. Take your ten. He is going after it. And he's lucky that that fell. <laughs> Take your ten. Even if you don't, you leave that bag there for Harbaugh to have to deal with. Round number twenty nine. Harbaugh, little bit of help. Not bad. I like it. Sit in center position. Trader slick side down. Oh, Pushes no. one of each falls oh, it's in. Fine. It's fine. Yeah, you're just, you can't lose. Harbaugh, slick side, gets around it for another watch. Man, Harbaugh needs to take a little 60-second breather here. He is getting very, very frustrated. Had this game in hand so many times as we enter round number 30, 20 to 16. Unbelievable how many times they hit a backside airmail or something ridiculous in those just rare, rare misses. Low blocker. Another one. And again, Trader's going to have to work that into the hole. Harbaugh all the way to the edge of the tape. Gets around it. Trader immediately to the slick side. Uh-oh. That, that bag, both bags are still in play. That it's bag is just there to give us a little bit of extra drama. Why not, right? 
Oh, I like that back block. Trader going push again. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, why not? That's perfect. Why not add some drama? That's perfect if you're Harbaugh. If Trader tries to slide through and they bunch and he sits, the game's over. Harbaugh walked down, took a look at it, if, sees what he needs to see, walks back, starts talking to the man upstairs, Ryan Trader. The question is, are you going slick side through it or are you going up to take everything? That's the only question on his mind right now. I mean, I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows. I mean, he's got to have two bags in, whether it's the bag in his hand or those bags on the hole. Two bags has to fall. What is he doing? Slick side means push. Sticky side means airmail. I don't think he knows. He's going slick. Through the middle. He gets them gets all. Them all to what a fall. shot! Remarkable hit. And Harbaugh oh in to finish God. off another double Ryan, four bagger. The game continues. Ryan Trader is continuing to stay alive round after round, shot after shot. This kid is inevitable. You cannot beat him. This is quickly shaping to be one of the greatest games that I've had the privilege of commentating. Incredible shot after incredible shot. Clutch moment after clutch moment. Harbaugh went airmail off the back. Oh, my goodness. Trader is in and out. No, it's not in. He says, darn it. <laughs> Got to be careful. He takes them all. That's a three spot. Would this be one of the ultimate collapses? Or the greatest comebacks? I can't yeah, right? tell. I mean, M I mean, multiple, multiple chances to there win the game. There are so many people that have their hand like rubbing their nose yeah. or their hairline or their jaw yeah, just look trying at, to look figure at this out. Look at Alex Hicks over there staring at us. This is nuts. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got scared for a second. My screen changed for some reason in front of me. I thought we just went off air. <laughs> Dude, I cry. I'm not touching anything. Oh, my gosh. I haven't even checked numbers. Dude, we got 2,000 on TikTok. We almost have 1,700 on Facebook. Everybody who likes Cornhole is tuning in watching this incredible match. Harbaugh goes back block. Here we go. Trader going roll. Sits on top. And now there is a bar of soap teaser sitting right there that Devin Harbaugh could take a shot at, and I don't I want him so. to do yeah, it. I don't want him to do it either. He's going to lay up. I don't know how many timeouts they have left. Yeah, I think it's only three, but I then what he asked for an official, Devin says, go ahead and take one. Devin wants to look at this too. You get four timeouts in singles, so who cares? All right, there is a clip right here on this back right bag that if he hits that corner, that bag falls. That's the only two points he needs to win the game. I am not going to look at either one but of these gentlemen. I'm going to stare at that corner. Harbaugh on 20. You can't throw it off. Yeah, you no. got to be safe. Does Harbaugh go backside? He's you got, got a free you bag. Got it's 20, not worth it, You got 20% open. Ryan Trader going to let Harbaugh <laughs> take another timeout. You have 20% of the back hole open. If you hit this for the win, I'm going to lose my mind. I'll run a 100-yard dash in five seconds. There are, there are people who could be officials behind us, by the way, for those of you that might be hearing the mics pick it up. Uh, no one has asked for an official. They're letting them play it out. If they ask for an official, then they will intervene. But in the meantime, we're just having some great cornhole action here, guys. Do not ruin this with drama. This is an yeah, exciting right? moment right here. I mean, the smart shot. <sighs> Do not shoot this, Devin. Uh, I'm, no, I, yeah, I don't you can't. You know, obviously, you can. You have to lay up. You have to lay up. He's going roll, oh and it does gosh. not move anything. It's another wash. <sighs> that is risky, man. That bag on the right-hand side did not have much resin holding it up. Ends up being a 4-4 wash. 
but we go into round 33, 20 to 19. <sighs> Ryan Trader still first toss. Oh, man, we, this is what we waited for all weekend long. Incredible match. Oh, my gosh, I thought that was off the left. Every bag, I'm just holding my breath until it lands on the board and stops moving. That one's short. Trader has the advantage, has an extra bag in the hole. Oh, beautiful roll. Rolls over the top of it, letting Harbaugh push his own bag in. And we got a replacement. Now Let's see if we sit. get a back block. Now you got to sit. You got to sit. He missed. Oh, and now Harbaugh, after all of the, the shots he had for the win, has another one. Slide shot for the win. Gets it. Finally gets it. What a bag. over on that shot. Devin Harbaugh hits the push. Finally wow. takes it down. Ryan Trader, wow, what a show. Let's take a look at this again. He knew it was over. The push goes in. Finally, he says. Finally. Deep breath. Nothing else to talk about other than Devin Harbaugh finally taking it down. Ryan Trader, great show. Wow. Falls just a little bit short of the wow, comeback. Wow, wow, wow. Wally. What's up, buddy? Wally, my man. What's up, buddy? Devin Harbaugh wins the Open. That means Wally Kassler is getting an ice bath, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Or thank we you could guys. just say that we enjoyed the show, and we're going to end nope. it on that. Let's not make it nope. about me. Let's make it about these guys putting on a great first, show. First pro event, April 5th through 7th, Palm Beach, Florida. Check out the ACL social media page because, ladies and gentlemen, Wally is getting an ice bath. Let's go. What a weekend, man. Hey. What a weekend. We're back in the saddles, man. We had some fun. Again, thank you to the sponsors, Beard Guys and Bust You Up Cornhole. Check them out, bustyouupcornhole.com. Use discount code WVA for 15% off. Harbaugh signing the plaque there, getting his second open singles title. All right, Chad, we're going to go through the replays on our way out. If you guys want to stick around on TikTok, K9 and Brandon will have a 1v1 yes. match right after this. Yeah, for everybody watching on Facebook and YouTube, check out, well, go on over to the ACL TikTok account. Wally and I are going to go live. Let's do it. All right, Chad, see you guys later. Peace.